Shout out Bruce Gas, aka Token 2. You know I had to drop a track for one boy. Where you at? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Finny, you're rapping boys out here to the bay. All the hardest to the nigga, I ain't snaps so no late. Hey, hey, Bruce Gas, put a little fight on the table. Uh, calling that box since Kane versus A. Smoking the eye, yeah, see the thing that she was famous. All the people sent for like Muhammad Ali. Shut, shut. Bruce Gas, one day we gon' meet. Yeah, we gon' blow it down. We gon' smoke hella weed. Yeah, we gon' blow it down. What's up, brother? Yes, sir. How do we communicate? I, I sent you a link in the email. A StreamYard link. Yeah, yeah, we're on the fight, but uh, but if you want to come on the show, you gotta you gotta click the StreamYard link. I, I I don't know, brother. You know, I I'm uh, I'm watching the fight and I'm I'm on live right now. So, you know. <laughs> Um, well, we're not going to be able to communicate unless you click the stream out link. I guess you can do it on your phone. You know, you, yeah, you can, you can, you can click the link to, on, on your phone to get on the show, right? I, I, I'm there now. The place is filling up, man. We got all the boxing fans coming up. We're getting ready to watch some heavyweight boxing. And, um, and, 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 and Cleopatra called me, in, you know, a few minutes ago, too. So we may have another special guest jump on the show. Um, I don't want to say anything because I'm live right now, but uh, but somebody's daughter called me. Yes. <laughs> My brother, you know you know I'm as stupid on these computers as, as anybody. Your daughter's the smartest one going on here, man. Shania will get you will get you on here. <laughs> All right, my brother. Um, click click that link and jump on here, okay? All right, bye. That was, that was my good friend Tim Witherspoon, man. He called me today and he wants to. He, he's going to jump on, say say a few words to us, man. And uh, you know, it's a it's a Saturday night, an evening of great boxing, man. Uh, heavyweight boxing. I don't know how great it's going to be, but it's uh, but it's heavyweight boxing. And um, I I uh, I, I thrive on heavyweight boxing, man. I see the drunk Irishman is in here already, man. Salute to you, my brother. The uh, one of the, um, the, the trivia champions out there, man. He came in a third place yesterday. Uh, I'm sure he was distracted. So uh, we're gonna have a finals one of these days, man. We gotta get, we gotta get some. Uh, we gotta get the thing going first, man. De Niro, my brother. Thank you for coming in here. Ghost one two three, man. Salute, salute you, cats, man. You guys, are, I'm sure everybody's watching these fights tonight, my way. Corpus Christi, Texas. We got some. Um, some exciting heavyweight fights coming on, man. Fight and anytime there's uh there's heavyweight fights that involve fighters in the top twenty, it's worth watching. You know, Guido Vanella Vanelli, is that his name? Guido Vanello. He got beat by Johnny Rice recently, but I think he's come back on the winning track. Or oh, was that his last fight? I don't know. We're gonna check that out, man. But he's taking on Effie Ajagba. Always exciting. 
and then we're going to see the uh, the main event. Of course, we're going to catch the um the Jared Big Baby Anderson. Everybody's wondering what he's doing. This dude Riyad Marie, he's been in the ring with um with with, with Le- 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 Marinara. Is that his name? The dude who fought um Danny Dubois. And we just saw um, where's my where's my train of thought going? You know what it is? It's Saturday night, and I'm not I'm not blasting enough yet. This is a this is a sad state of affairs for me on a Saturday night. We might have some interesting news coming up here for you. You know, one of these like you heard it here first. We'll see how um we'll see how uh how it uh we'll see what happens. We'll see if Tim gets on here, and I got a call today from some somebody that um. It's a, it's a part of it all too, man. This is this is just crazy shit that's happening in front of our very eyes as we speak. The zone had an okay card on. Yeah, that wasn't bad. I caught a little bit of it. I was really busy today. I was really busy. Right now the um the uh ESPN card, Robert Villa. Is it Villa or Villa? I don't know the Spanish pronouncer. You don't usually use pronounce the L's after the I's. Is that the way it goes? Against um Juan Tam- Tamez. This is a four-round middleweight box. This is this is an undercard fight. The um the heavyweight fights don't get on until uh until after ten o'clock. So we're just hanging out here, man, watching the undercard. The the um the fake Alonzo are amazing, bro. Salute to you, man. I got this sucker in clean, clean shape over here too, man. But um, I want to make sure my friend, my friend Tim Witherspoon comes on here, man. Cause uh, I mean, dude, how often do you get a, a chance to talk to a, a former two-time heavyweight champion of the world? Not, not often enough, man. But um, uh, we're watching an undercard fight here. It's a, it's a middleweight fight. Juan Delgado. I'm sorry. This is, this is a Ruben Villa, a Christian. Yeah, this is a 10 round featherweight fight. I had to get to please get this undercard straight out here. This is a 10 round. The other fights are four rounds and six rounds. So uh you know, we'll check out let's check out the records of these guys. Uh, Ruben Villa. Let's see what he's about. 21 and 1, 7 knockouts. He's not a power puncher, but he's got a very impressive record. Been beaten by Emmanuel Navarrete, man. He lost a unanimous decision. Coming off a victory over Brandon Valdez. The uh, biggest fight on his the biggest fighter on his record. He got beat by, but it was, it was a decision that was Navarrete. No, I didn't, man. That's that's man. You know, everybody from this generation is is passing on. But hey, Andre, how we doing, my brother? Thank you for coming in here, man. And the fake Alonzo, see, I I bent you up, bro, but uh, I wouldn't know the difference between a fake one and a real one. So I can't uh, I can't do it, bro. If you change your name, maybe I, I could. But before you do that, I just have to keep you as a is a member of the, the Gray Army. I hope the music is okay, man. Please let me know if it's too loud so I can straighten it out. And also the mic, the microphone volume. I don't want that. I don't want to get that too loud. I get the soundboard. I still don't know how to do it. What I have to do is get a pair of uh, a pair of headphones, wired headphones. I got the earbuds here, but that Bluetooth is always a little lagging, a second or two behind. I got to pick me up a good pair of um, good pair of headphones with some wires and my next stop, uh, my next major investment. Uh, this fight is in the, in the featherweight division. Let's see the uh, his opponent, Christian Cruz Chacon. He has got a record of uh, 
22 victories, six not six defeats. He's been and he's been never been knocked out. He's got one draw and he has 11 knockouts to his name. The, a, lot, a lot of these featherweights, man, they are uh, the predominantly Mexican fights fought in Mexico, and I, and I really I'm not a uh, I'm not really up on some of the modern featherweights, man. So um, I don't see any names on his record on his record that jump out on me. This fight is for the WBC silver featherweight title. It's always a it's always a belt on the line. It's always a sanctioning fee. I don't know, bro. I, I don't know, man. The um, the cat that he's fighting. Hey, PGH Big Dog, how we doing, my brother? Good to see you in here, man. You know the the dude that he's fighting, Riyad Murray. Um, you know he's fought uh, Arena. That's the uh, that's the biggest name on his record that I that I can see. Let's go to his. Let's go to his page. He's got a. Uh, he's got an impressive record, thirty-two and two. He's been stopped once in his career, and that was by Kevin Lamina. Now he lost the decision to Kevin Lamina. He was stopped by Aaron Singuli Amarana, some dude in Paris back in twenty eighteen. He hasn't been knocked out in a long time. He's got at least eight years. Um. Six years of uh, six years of not being knocked out. He was only knocked out once in his career. Hey, we'll see how he does, man. It's going to be interesting. It's heavyweight action, and you know with these cats, one good victory, and they're and they're, they're putting themselves in in position for a, for a main fight. This is like back in the Don King days. Don King would put, uh, "Hey, man, my man, my man, terrible Tim just came in. First of all, let me get him up here. Make sure his his shit's working over here, man." Brother, let me shut this music off, man. Let the band. No, it's, whatever, it's okay. Um, I can't get the fight. I had it on, but Shania. Hold on, let me get my boxing move. Yeah, I'm blaming it on you. Shania tried. Shania tried hooking it up, and we can't get it on the phone. So we just get. Let's just go like it is, I guess. We can't get All it right. on the phone. I can't get it. On, I had it on the laptop, but in order for me to communicate with you. I couldn't get the fight in you. I had to get one or the other, but I was trying to see if I can get it on here so I can go like this. It won't come in on the phone? No. You send it to where? Oh, my he God. He sent it to where? It won't. Stop. He send it. You send it to where? It's not nothing to do with him. It's you. Girl, I'm going to knock you out. I had, no, I had no. 20. I had, uh, what, how many knockouts? 30, 40 knockouts. Don't play with me. <laughs> on Bruce Gas Show, I will hang a sign over your eyes saying "Close for the weekend." You <laughs> this, is, this, this is all in love. It's all in love, and it's in fun. But the, hey, um, maybe I can maybe I can try, drop a couple more links out here, and maybe, maybe she can get one in on the phone because we're gonna okay. try it. try it out. I watched but, uh, a of the, I watched a couple of the other fights, and um, they were pretty good. You know, they were pretty good. And, how about that? I wanted to see what Anderson looked like now. Yeah, oh, absolutely, man. And, you know, how about that, Abdullah Mason? Did you catch him? No, I, I we was trying to get it. I had to go. I went to the store, and then we was rushing back. And I bumped into a I bumped into a individual that was interested in joining our team. Um, you know, he, he, does, he does video and stuff. But we got another young guy that want to do video. So we're going to build up. I know you got your own enterprise, but being together. <laughs> no, you got your own enterprise. But if we could work on some collaborations, like keep doing them, I think we can oh, help yeah. the boxers. We can help the boxers. We can help ourselves. And because um, you're a good guy. You're a good guy, Bruce. Hey, brother. You know, with, with friends like you, I got to be a good guy. I don't. Want, I don't want to lose my connection with the with the two time heavyweight champ, man. My, my my brother, terrible Tim, out there. And and Carlos corrected you on there. He said you got forty one knockouts, not forty. No, I only had thirty nine. Ah, huh? you got only thirty nine. We got we got a boxing historian out there that says you had uh, that says you had uh, forty one forty one knockouts. He says. Let me go look in box. Let me go. Look. Let me go look. Looking it up now. <laughs> I'm trying to get Shania. Um, I'm, I'm all wrong. 
Would you say? 38 to be exact. She said 38. Everybody's wrong. <laughs> 38. Everybody's wrong. Yeah. I'm trying to get Shania um, to get motivated, get in good shape. You know, she's originally from the UK. She has a story that that uh, that you could talk about. A young girl, uh, his dad, her dad came over and got her and then came back to America. She know everybody. She know a lot of people in England and they watched her grow up. You had two Bruce. I think that'd be a little interesting too. You know? Oh, yeah. And she's a, yeah. she's surviving. She's surviving. So I got her when she was uh, almost a year old, and now fourteen months. So that's something you know. That's something that we could teach. And she's fighting hard. She's trying to find out reality. Trying to find out um, where she want to go in life. Her dad's the heavyweight champ of the world. You know, we we'll talk. You know, Shania. Oh man, are you kidding me? You gotta you gotta write a book on her. her. I'm sure you know, and she she's only a young lady. How old is Shania? What's Shania? 15, 16 years 14. old? She'll be 14. 14. Yeah, she'll so be 14. Shania's got her whole life in front of her, man. Hey, Daniel Berry, thank you for coming by. Adam Hurley, man, appreciate you coming by. I'm in here with uh with, with my brother, two-time heavyweight champion of the world, terrible Tim Witherspoon. Hey Tim. I was yeah. on I was on the internet today and this this guy had your fight with um with uh Carla Truth Williams on there. Carla Truth, he hit me with that right in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And anyway, his name is Gary Wilson. And so I, I so I wrote a comment on there and I, I said, Hey Gary. Before. Yeah, he he he's a boxing historian. He puts out uh, the fights on the tube. And I said, Hey, can I show this fight with my friend Tim Witherspoon? And he goes, Absolutely. So we got the green light, man. We can show that fight. We can talk about it. Talk. You can you can just tell us because that was that was a tough fight for you, man. That was a tough fight. Which fight was that? Call the truth. Oh yeah. Um. You know what? It wasn't a tough fight. It was me trying to track him down to get my good shots in. He moved. He moved. I really didn't. He had a good right hand, and I found out because he hit me the hardest than anybody. He caught me. Now I was moving around trying to catch him. And I know how to cut somebody off, but the closer I got, the quicker he moved out the way. And, um, um, you know, so he caught me off guard one time and, and got a good shot and I stumbled. And I labeled that punch as one of the hardest punches I got hit by because he can punch with that right hand. So he was moving and I was just trying to get the right combinations on him. And if everybody watched the fight, you'll see I was trying to track him down. Oh, really? Me, me, me and you are gonna watch that fight together next week, and we'll call it on. Okay. We'll call it on, and, and you can you can talk us through it. Let us know what, what the emotions okay. you were going through and everything it's about it. Man. We don't want to. Yeah. But he caught me with that right hand, Bruce, and it rocked me, and he woke me up. So when people ask me, I say that was the hardest punch ever to get hit by. So how about and the heavyweight you division you today? Hit, sometimes you don't feel. Huh? When you get hit, sometimes you don't feel pain. You just get, you get like, like lose your balance. So there's a lot, a lot of pain sometimes when you get hit. When you get hit and you see guys stumble, some, a lot of times they don't feel pain. They just automatically start losing their balance. Cause I got hit by Carl and I felt that, but I got hit with other people and stumbled a little, but it was no pain. But when Carl hit me, I felt a little uncomfortable. So it's different kind of punches you get hit with. Um, you know, and and then that's what that's how I, I found out. I got hit by him real hard, and I get hit by other guys hard, but I didn't I didn't feel the pain. But I start I lost my equilibrium. I lost that. Now, are you familiar with any of these guys that are fighting tonight? Big Baby Anderson. I mean, he's Big Baby. Big Baby. That, that that's pretty much America's hope for the next heavyweight champion. Yeah, yeah. yeah there might be. There might be some somebody that just blow up as soon as he come out. We don't know. Like Tyson just came. I don't know. People knew him, but he 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 bam real fast, knocking people out. So there might be somebody there. But as you stand, it's like who you said, uh, who you just now said that that's, that's going to fight. So he's the biggest name right right now. But I guarantee you, there's somebody waiting in the in the wings to challenge him. There's somebody that's just there because it always happens. He's not the only one. There's somebody there. He not get, he's not getting exposure and maybe just a little bit of exposure. And we're going to say, oh, who is this new guy? 
And then that's usually what happened, though, Bruce. There is, there is some guy. I can't think of his name. I saw him yesterday. He's on the undercard. He's um. Somebody said something in the private. Let me take a look at the private chat here. Okay. Oh, that, oh, that's you back there. You 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 had a message in the private chat when you came in. Sorry, yeah. man. You. I I, I, th I I thought somebody else was back there. Oh what? Well, well, I got I got one. You want to no, read? No, no, it? no, 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 no. You left you left me one when you came in. Okay. Frank San Somebody says look out for Frank Sanchez. Yeah, Sanchez has got okay. that. Frank Sanchez is another one. But Sanchez has got a victory over a, a Jogba. Now, a Jogba, that's going to be an interesting fight, too. A Jogba, and he's fighting this Italian guy named Guido Vianelli. The African mm -hmm. guy that when his opponent walked out the ring. That's Yeah, that's right. That's he, he act like he was ready to fight, and then he turned around and walked out. The, he waited till the bell rang, and then, and then he walked out. That is the funniest thing that ever happened in boxing. <laughs> And that, that 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 dude's name was Hardy. I think I, I can't think of his, his first name, but his last name was Hardy. And and he's had he's had more shots on the on TV. The promoters have have, get, have forgiven him, and he he's back on he's back on uh he's back in the action. He's getting fights. You talking about you talking about that that, that the opponent that the guy who walked out. They let, yeah, they letting him back after walking out like that. Exactly, they're letting him back. He's he's come back. Let me let me let me find his name in here because I, he's come yeah, he back. He at least fought a little bit and got made it look good and get knocked down. He just walked uh, directly out. That was bad. Somebody need to teach him. They got people to teach those type of guys what to do. So he whoever his teacher was to fall out wasn't that good because he shouldn't have walked out the ring. Is a way he could have made his money good and got hit and got hit and just go down. Mm -hmm. Cur Curtis Hopper was the guy's name. Okay. He, 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 he just walked out. He walked out of the ring. But I since that time, I saw it the other day. Since, since that time, he's had he's had uh, uh, about a dozen fights, okay. and he fought he fought Guido Vanelli, the guy that's fighting a job with tonight. Okay. So what he's happened? Uh, you know, What happened? Yeah. You know, they, uh, he, well, he beat him. He, he got beat. He got he got beat with a unanimous decision. Okay. So Vanelli. These heavyweights are going to be interesting. Van Vanello is fighting um, Jogba, and he got beat by Johnny Rice. You you heard of Johnny Rice? I didn't. I swear. I'm sorry, everybody. I know Bruce and other guys have been trying to keep me on these podcasts just so I can learn what's going on, and I regret it. But I I didn't ever hear of him. What's what's, what's up with him, Bruce? Oh, it's it's hard. It's hard to keep up today, Tim. Man, it's it's oh, almost. Okay. Awesome. But, well, he's a he's a heavyweight out in Vegas, okay. and he, he, he beat Guido Vanello last year, but he can't get a fight. You know, he 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 can't get a fight, and and he's he's working a nine to five job, and uh, you know, I mean, he could be out there fighting these these, these contenders. You got the Richard Torreses, you know, you got the Vanellos. Have you, you seen him fight before? Oh yeah, oh yeah, he's fought he's fought many fighters, and and he's a good good journeyman. But he's he's also he fought Michael Hunter. I not Michael Hunter. Um, Mike Michael Coffee. He, he he's definitely um. Okay. He's definitely uh. He should be on this card tonight. But well, for some he, should, reason, he need the right people around him too. He can't get yeah exactly. He could be a champ. He could be a champ, and they don't realize it. Get him a good teacher. Get him somebody to turn him defense. How to counter back, and, and this, make, let them make the and make their decisions. Uh, much easier when they try to negotiate for him. And in this day and they age, they don't know, Bruce. They don't know, though. They don't know. No, they they, they they don't know. And there's so many heavyweight belts out there. We're you not taking advantage of them by saying they don't know, but it's a fact that um, evidently they would have got the right people in the corner. Maybe they should start. Maybe it's a positive thing where they should start trying to figure out what to get the right team together, right? Well, you know, I think. Uh, I think he might have said something that that uh, Al Heyman didn't like after one of his fights. Oh yeah, he's he had to thank he had to thank Al Heyman before he thanked God, before he thanked his family, before he thanked anybody. And uh, he kind of made like a little joke up there. But after that, he hasn't gotten a, a payday, and it's the sad boxer, because the boxer, the the yeah, you know, if he was if he was good, I still would try to figure out what to do. Uh, Al Heyman and them kind of backed away from him or something. They kind of like backed away, uh, Bruce. 
Yep. They backed away so badly, he had to go get a nine to five job. I think he works in a warehouse now in security. And this guy was a was a good heavyweight, very impressive. He just couldn't get the brakes. He fought. Let me let me let me go back and take and, and, and take a and, and find his record in here. Mm -mm -mm. I wish I had seen him. Okay, here he is, man. Johnny Rice. And um, the last fight that he had, he knocked out Guido Vanello, who's going to be fighting in the co main event tonight. Okay. He's been in the ring with Effie Ajagba. He lost a decision. He's been in the ring with, with, uh, with Dempsey McKean, another, another uh, 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 top 20 heavyweight out there. Okay. He's fought, um, let me see, Tony Yoka. He's fought uh, Stephen Shaw. He's got, he's got, a, uh, he's been in the ring with everybody. Two victories over Michael Coffey, who was undefeated. Michael Coffey. And, and the dude went out, he went out with three wins on national television, and he can't get a, he can't get a fight, man. You got to call this guy up, Johnny Rice. You know, that's the people around him. Is the people around him. We're not taking, the, I'm not taking anything from them. Uh, it seems like when it comes to, to when, in terms of business, things are not working out right. So um, he's doing good in the ring, boxing and stuff. Oh, uh, he was doing great. His last three fights were victories. They were actually upset victories. And 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 the dude can't get dude. He he's in the upset same victory. Upset victory. Upset yeah. victory. Yeah, three three Why upset. Somebody victory? was training him good and everything. Ooh, I like that. Go ahead. Hey, 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 let me shout out who came in here, man. I see, I see my sister, LaJessica, man. God Whatever bless you, you my sister. Whatever Je you LaJessica, LaJessica's in the building, classing up the joint. The Bud hey, Files is in here, man. I hey, see my Jesse. friend rolling, rolling with the punches. What's up, Jesse? Paul Driscoll from Facebook, man. Shout out my brother, Paul Driscoll. All right, brother Paul, you're in the right place if you want to know what's going on. Yes, <laughs> yes right. sir. You know, this is Saturday night. I love heavyweight boxing, and and I'm in here with the with with, with one of the greatest heavyweights of all time, brother. There's a whole bunch of them. I'm just one of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but not too many of them had that green belt you got over your shoulder, plus the red belt that uh that the, he got his hands on again. Exactly. Only 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 two other fighters are in your are in your class, bro, and that's Floyd Patterson and Muhammad Ali. The only other the only other uh, fighters who have who have won. At, you know, at the, uh, until the time, not not now the title's splinted. Everybody's getting shots at it. It ain't no big thing, you know? Yeah, I feel privileged. I'm serious. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh-oh, I'm, I'm, I'm watching these fights now, and I guess we're getting ready for the for the next fight of the card to come up, man. I'll tell you, I, I, I really want to see the heavyweights. Um, no, these fight, these undercard fights are, are decent. Uh, Robson Consankio is on the undercard. And uh, I don't think that's even starting till ten o'clock. This is this is all the uh, this is all the preliminary stuff. Oh, but, so uh, we're kind of early, huh? Oh yeah, man. But that's all right. I, I I'm wired on a Saturday night. I, I like to just talk boxing. So that's oh, it was nine, then ten o'clock. Then when the fight comes on, ten. Ten o'clock, I think, man. I, I I don't know. I could find out when the when ring walk time is, but yeah, they're gonna they're gonna drag it out a little bit. I don't think the main event comes on until. Um, damn, I'm, I'm not, you know, e oh, yeah. easy way to find out. Let me, let me ask the computer. They can I might have help. to come in and out. We mm -hmm. talk and, then I, and I'm gonna leave this on. I'm gonna leave this on. I'll probably go get something to eat and then come sit back down. Hey, <laughs> I'll leave this right like this. Um, fig figure, mm -hmm. figure something out. I'm just trying to figure out how to, how to, uh, um, get this on there. You, you sent it to me. Shania. <laughs> what, is, what is the name on the um, password? Your mom, 1957. Oh, your Y O U. And nobody, nobody can, nobody's listening to that out there, so don't worry about it. <laughs> hey, there's got to be somebody on. <laughs> oh, it says sign in is blocked. What do you mean? It says sign in is blocked. What's I can't stand these kids. They try, they know all they think they know. Hey, no, hey, they, they they have us at their mercy. But, um, oh, but see, I got this other phone too, and I switched. 
I switched these over, and that's what caused it. Or else I would have been, I would have went over on the other side. Shania, come on. Well, see, I I lucked out last week, man. I was on I was on this guy's channel. His name is Cass Sports, and he had a a boxing trivia contest. Yeah. And, and I want I want a laptop. I want I want a laptop on there, so I can see. I got two I got two computer screens. I got the fight on one, and oh. I got us on the other one. You got two laptops. Why don't you get on the TV? Why don't you get on to say hi? She got the glasses on. Go ahead. Say hey, hi. She got the hoodie. She got the hoodie on too, man. Yes, she is. She That's an eye with a spoon. Yeah, she hide. I can't stand the part of the camp right there. Don't keep messing up, Shania. So where's the other phone? The other phone is right here. Hey wow. Tim, I've been, I've been listening to a lot of Mike Tyson in the past couple of weeks. He sounds like he's ready. He sounds like he's gonna make he's gonna make a real a real attempt. And I think I think that that uh, that Mike Tyson will kill this guy if he's half of what he was back in the eighties. You know what, man? Even even out of shape, he hurt this dude. You know, he got to be in some shape because Jake Paul, Jake Paul does get in really good shape. He's got the money too. He has. His people around him to make sure he's at least in shape in terms of skills he ha he has gotten really good but then there's another area where you're going to need help when you fight a guy like Tyson or something you're going to need some help so you get here then it's going to be a blockage you're going to need somebody to say hey this is what you need to do this is how we got to do it in order to get past there I don't think that I don't think that he'll get past there unless he get the right people behind him but fighting Tyson I don't give a damn going what it is. Tyson to just walk right through him. I'm sure that's what exactly what would happen. I'm watching. I'm watching Tyson to get, I'm 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 to get, get like the winner and stuff. And they're talking about me and Razor Ruddick. They gave me. I got a phone call and they talk about me and Razor Ruddick getting together and do a, a exhibition. I'm looking forward to that. It's in the next couple of months. I'm in really good shape right now. Um, and I'm not worried. I'm not sweating. I got skills. I know how to defense. And if anything happened, uh, you know, to me, it's because I made that mistake. But I'm pretty confident with the defense, and I can deliver offense. And and I'm not worried. You know, I'm not worried. So um, I got the skills. I got the defense. I don't got everything, but I got enough. <laughs> You 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 you've been protecting yourself for a long time. A lot of people underestimate defense. I yep. get hit, Bruce. <laughs> I, I, I was watching that on on the um on the uh, Kyle Williams fight today. You had that cross arm going. You you had the shell going. I mean, you real he, quick, he, real quick, real, real quick. Um, he he didn't he didn't. Uh, there was no threat. I didn't feel no threat, and that's how I got hit. I relaxed it too much. I mean, yeah, that, too much. That, right, that right hand right down the pike. That's what it was, bro. I was trying right to walk down. him down and hit him with the right shots. I didn't fear him at all. And I got caught with that shot. Mm. Well, man, I tell you, I, I, I got nostalgia blood in me. I, I, I want to see Mike Tyson beat the shit out of Jake Paul. I, I would love to see that. Well, you man. know he would do that if he want to. So we got to find out what kind of script. If there's a script. If there's a script, put it, put, turn it on. If there's a script, they're going. You'll tell. You can tell. I might have to get off of there. Why? You can't get the fight on your phone. It's not going to work. It's going to keep you set. I was going to keep you set. So if I hit that, ask, ask, Shania, ask Shania if she can get you on the phone on the show. Yeah. Like you, she just did. But and that and that, well, well, why don't we do that? And that way you can watch the fights, and we can and we can call them. We can let the people know the mistakes they're making. Okay, yeah, I, 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 I see you in here, but I don't know if it's is it. Oh, uh, uh, I just I, I just lost them, and, and I, I'm adding them to the stage. I'm not sure if this, yeah, this is gonna work. Okay. Yeah. So we could try to get the fight on the. Uh, you can. Oh, she going to get it on there. So this this is good, right? Yeah, I'm having fun, Bruce. It's work. It's working out okay, man. It's working out okay, man. Adam Hurley's in here listening to us rolling with the punches. La Jessica, we got we got thirty people in here watching us on got a couple more on Facebook, man. Shout out to all you cats, man. I appreciate it. Tim just dipped on me. We're trying. We're trying to get this the technology of a of a cell phone 
And uh, hey, Chad, how we doing? Peace, my peace out, peace out there, my man. Salute to you. Tim will be right back with you. See, Tim's got the laptop at home. And he's got the phone. And we're trying to get him on here, and he wants to watch the fight too. I sent him a link for the fights because I mean we're we're a couple of broke old cats, man. We ain't got ESPN. We got no cable. We just have internet, and 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 that's probably through the uh, through the grace and God of the Obama Act. But um, we're trying to get to, Tim will jump back up here in a second, and in the meantime. I'll, I'll be hanging in there with you. This is Saturday night at the fights. We got we got boxing coming on. We got heavyweights coming on here. Jared Big Baby Anderson is taking on Riyad Murray in the main event. Effie Jagba is taking on Guido Vianello. Another ten round heavyweight fight. So this is this is good stuff. This is gonna this is some good stuff. Let's see, man. Are you guys still on? Yes, we are. This is this is um this is pretty incredible here, man. Yes, we are, my sister. This is somebody. This is a special guest that uh. It just might blow your mind because it it blows mine every time I um every time I speak to her, which I've only spoken to her twice. But let me let me get this uh let me get this straightened out here. Let me get this straight. No, 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 no. <laughs> this is this is this is nuts, man. Working with this Obama phone and trying to get these um. Trying to answer these messages. Uh, yep, we're online. If you get that link, man, come on in. Tim just dipped off for a second, but he'll be back. Yeah, this is um, this is on the air, live as it happens. You never know, man. History may history may be happening. I think we got we got the champ. Hey, champ! I just got a call. We, we, we're gonna have, we might have somebody else come on the show in a little bit. Okay, so I won't be able to see the fight, but don't worry, we'll have some fun. Oh yeah, oh absolutely, we'll have some fun. I, you know, it's too bad I couldn't show the fight on here, but uh, we'll get shut. They'll shut us off if we do that. Okay, no problem. As long as we letting people know we got some good stuff. What? If I ask him, hold on. Go ahead, talk to him. Can you still see him? Oh yeah. Hold on. Girl, I'm not going to. We got to see Bruce. Uh, I'm not going. She, well, what could have happened? No, because you wasn't listening. I could, if I wasn't a preacher, I'd be whipping your butt. You're not. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, 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 yeah, yeah, I, I, I see you I perfectly mean, on on Facebook, on YouTube. Everything's working well. I got the fights on over here, man. I got the two-time heavyweight champ of the world on a Saturday night with me over here, baby. We're looking good, man. And this man, sixty-six years old, and he's thinking about coming back for an exhibition. And uh, man, I'll tell you, I gotta get me a a, a a plane ride and get down and catch that at ringside, bro. If that's gonna happen, man. And um, um, Murad Muhammad is the one behind it. He's the promoter. I fought for him a couple of times. Him and Aaron Snowell, who was my second in in uh, my corner, um, when um, you know, I had a lot of fights. Yeah, wait, Aaron wait, Snowell. He, 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 he was in your corner and called the truth, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And, and and yeah, and then they had a two way or three way, and um, so he asked me, and I said, yeah, okay, because um, Razor Ruddick is thinking about coming, really come back, and, and fighting guys like uh, Anagu and all them. He's he's making a comeback, but um, I, I see it as fun. I got skills. I'm not scared. I'm not worried. All I have to do is get in some shape, um, and I know what he can do. He's he's powerful. He throws that good left uppercut, and I'm I'm confident, uh, Bruce. And then what a lot of boxers should be uh, confident they had trust in the trainer and the guy taught them good defense. So when I go in there, I know exactly what to do. He has a really good slasher, the uppercut with the left straight up, and he uses that left really good. I thought he was left-handed at first because he really put that left uppercut and that left hook. So only thing I got to do is keep my right hand tight here. And this is what a lot of like, – look, it's, it's automatic, Bruce. I know exactly what to do. Keep that elbow tight in so the uppercut don't come up. And keep this, and you can counter back this way or counter back with the right hand. So so I'm perfectly – Hey, hey, hey. I got somebody back here I want you to talk to. Okay. This guy, this guy's the guy that you're talking about, man. Hey, it's how are you? Running. Hey, what's up? Hey, hey my buddy. Hey. <laughs> How'd you get on? Huh? You look like a lawyer. You don't look. You don't, you don't look like a boxer. 
You look like a lawyer. A lawyer. <laughs> what are we going to do, champ? I don't, I, do? oh, 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 I don't know if that's good or what. <laughs> uh, listen, are you trying to come back? Uh, what do you stop that brother from trying to come back? I'm, I never left. Ooh. Yo, man, look, um, I'm just saying like this. It'll be cool if I'm in your corner. I know you got trainers, but I got a lot of knowledge. I'm telling you. I know. Hey, Tim, I know. I know. I know you do. And listen, listen, listen. Listen, I th I think about it, okay? Okay. I, okay. I, I, I think I, I really will think about it because I'm uh I'm serious about this. I know, and I know what it takes. So I know we we scheduled to do an exhibition or something in the future with Mariah Muhammad called yeah. me. Yeah. Okay, so I don't mind. I don't mind. I'm looking forward to it. We can make some money. I told him. That he should try to, I, I text Aaron Snowell and said that they should try to do it in Saudi Arabia under under the uh, Tyson Fury card or something like that. It's more you money. Know, you know, you know, Murad, Murad is a promoter genius. He, I know him. He, he, Murad, I know Murad can promote. So if he, he have, if he have a plan, I, I know it's a good one. Okay. But the bottom line is, is that they're looking for talent. They're looking for somebody to show up and, and to please the people. They don't care how much money they pay. So we could try to get under one of their cars. We could get under one of their cars and you can make two, I, I, you can make you. two listen, three million. I, I said, I'm with you. I'm with you. I listen. Okay. I, I'm, I'm thinking I'm definitely one. I'm uh, considering having you in my corner also, okay? Whatever you want to do, champ. Think about it, and then call me later. It's no problem. I'm the one know. I'm the know. Keep that deep. I, I know. I know. I know. Slash. You're very difficult to hit. I don't want to fight you because you had that slasher. Hold <laughs> on. Hey, listen. Hey, 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 listen Tim, you had Tim. that left uppercut. I, I, the most <laughs> dangerous punch in boxing history. Hey, listen. <laughs> I'm 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 60 years old now. Okay. And I swear, I swear to God, I perfect that punch. My, I'm, I'm strong. I hit harder now. I know, oh. no, no one believe me. They okay. think that um, age make a difference. Age don't make no difference to me. He right. He right. He right. He right. I haven't, eaten, I haven't eaten beef or pork for fifty years. I haven't eaten chicken or fish for five. I've been taking smoothies. I feel like and I'm, same, I'm, like, I'm on the same. I'm on the same journey. What's wrong with you? I'm a vegan. I've been a vegan for years. How long? Ten years. I've been fifty. <laughs> no, no. No, I've no, been... hold on. Is it is it is it is twenty years? Yo, he feeling it's, good. It's twenty, it's 20, it's 20 years. Twenty years. I thought I thought I, I didn't know it was that long. It's twenty years. <laughs> What, what I gotta do the same thing, Bruce. I gotta ask my daughter how many this, how many that. <laughs> <laughs> listen, I'm, I'm so excited, Tim. Listen, listen. I'm, I'm looking forward to do this the, the um, exhibition with you. Let's work right? together. Let's work together, champ. All right, we can we can make this thing a a, a, a nationwide thing. I think. I think so. I, I think <laughs> I think Shmarad should reach out to Saudi Arabia and add us on to. And you, we listen. Let's get it on. I got a good defense, you know. Let's get it on. But the thing is, is that if you reach out to Saudi Arabia, they would probably love it, and you can make four or five million. I'm in touch with all the guys. So why, 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 are you why are we still talking here? <laughs> hey, let me say this to you. Hey, right, Tim, Tim, you gotta watch out. Tim, you gotta watch out for that big left hand, that big smash hook. You, you don't think I know that? Around, you don't think I know that? Hey, hey, I saw him hit Michael Dokes with that punch, man. I said, "Holy shit, this is this guy's murdering somebody in that ring, man." That that was that shot. I, I was worried about that left that the slasher. Is the slasher? The smash. They call it smash. The smash. <laughs> I would. Hey, listen. I don't give a shit. I'm. I'm admitting it. That was the punch that I was concerned about. I seen him throw it. <laughs> I seen him throw listen, it. I was like, I, 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 Tim. I'm telling you, when I when I when I throw that shot, when I throw, that, I can't tell you the secret behind that shot, but I, I'm gonna just leave it alone. Okay. We talked about it before, Bruce. Long time ago. <laughs> I was telling you, you got that big, shot, okay? you got that big muscle on there. No, 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 no. It's, 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 a specific, it's a specific shot. It's a specific shot. I'll talk to you, you about it another time. I know. I was trying to figure out, was he left-handed or right-handed? You don't got to say nothing now. Don't say nothing. We'll talk. We'll talk. Don't say nothing. Yeah. 
I was trying to figure out, Bruce. He has to be knocking guys out with that left, and he's fighting orthodox. He's he knocking guys hands off with that left to me. That is the most pop, one of the most powerful shots I've seen in boxing. I'm not gonna lie. That left uppercut, and yeah. then he still do whip that left, that left, the left hook. You whip your yeah. but that uppercut. I had to re I had to rehab my that sh that left shoulder. It worked so hard for the last forty years that he gave, so I had to rehab it. That's why that's why you haven't seen me in a while. I fought in um uh, Toronto in, in Toronto, Canada in two thousand fifteen okay. when they rabbit punched me. I cannot believe me. I'm fifty years old, fifty three years old, and this little young kid rabbit punched me because I have no backing in in Canada. I will not listen. I have no backing in Ontario. Okay, and I I went to the commission. I said, you know, you see the you see the rabbit punch, and and they said no, they they don't do nothing about it. You mean back in in terms of what? Um, we, we, you you know, it's an illegal blow to, to it's in the back of the yeah, head. Right? Illegal. Oh, yeah, illegal. Okay, so my last fight in Toronto, the guy blatantly rabbit punched me in the back of the head. Okay, and took my um Canadian title. That's yeah. messed up. That's messed up. Yeah, and 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 then I went to the commission. The commission did nothing about it. So I said, I will not go back there. Yeah, I can understand that. I can understand they had the power. They had the power. Um, if you was champ, they would kiss your behind. They would kiss your butt and everything. Yeah, man. The guy. The guy's name was Dylan. The Dylan Common. Yeah, Dylan I'm Common. Right I don't now. know what's going on with him now. Uh, how's I, he I, doing I, right I, now? I, how's he doing? How's he doing? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you how he's doing right now. He's um he's inactive. He retired with a fourteen and six record, thirteen that's knockout. The guy, that's the guy they brought in there to assassinate me. Okay, okay, that's messed up, man. I know. I, and Lennox I, Lewis is the one who jumped in on it, who told him how to do it. Are you trying to come back? I'm not. I told you I didn't left. He never went anywhere. He's never, never left. left. He, I never he's back. And that's why, that's why I got that two of them. My daughter said he never left. <laughs> <laughs> my daughter <laughs> just said he never left. <laughs> he never left, baby. I never and left. You know, I'm honest. I'm a lady. You know, my last fight was in Toronto when, when they did that um, a rabbit punch, right? Yes, sir. I, I took I took time off and I started training. And I got my body back in shape, Tim. I'm down to 240-something pounds right now, okay? I'm 244. Oh, I'm the same place. Oh, oh, we got, we got an even match. We got an even match up over here. All he has to do is tighten his defense up, and he has to keep his jab. I, I, I don't want to talk about what hand he is on on the network. I'll talk to him about that in person. All right, too. he has a good, he has a good <laughs> left hand. Now I'm always thinking he left. I'm always thinking he left because of the way he fight. I'll talk to him later about that because that's a secret. Now. <laughs> And he just got to use his jab, and all he got to do is develop that right hand and tighten his defense up. He can beat hey, some. I'm, I'm, I listen. I can't wait to see you. I'm gonna. I'm gonna surprise you. You're gonna be so shocked when you see me. Okay? I'm moving like a formula, a Formula One race car. You don't have to move. <laughs> you just gotta hey, hey, you hey, 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 All you have to do, Bruce. All you have to do is you got to have the right defense and miss a punch here, miss a punch here, step here, step here. You don't need no road racer. I know, you but I love to move. I love, I love, I, I love, listen, Tim, I don't take chances in the ring, eh? So I run my miles, I get my legs strong, I make sure that I'm in the best condition. I don't, I don't take you, no chances You would get myself. confident, you would get confidence. If you know somebody can't hit you, you'll forget about all that other stuff. If you know you can control the way a guy throw his punches at you and you block them, you that's wouldn't my, even run. My, you won't even my run. Style. That's, my, hey, style. I that's my style. I got, I, got, I got one question for you, Razor. You've been in the ring more. You've been in the ring with Mike Tyson more than anybody. How do you think he's gonna do against Jake Paul in this exhibition? This oh, he killed Jake Paul. I, I think. I think. I think Jake Paul might be underestimating Tyson. If it's a real fight, I'll go with Tyson. I'm being honest with you, hundred percent. No, if, if it's a, okay, okay, he right, yep. Okay, if it's a if it's a real fight, Tyson okay. to do the first minute. And they don't tell me. Okay, remember when I when I did my fight in um, Jamaica, I, I had to be um, I can't knock on nobody. Yeah, James Tony. Yeah, the James Tony fight. Yeah, you can't. We can't knock on. So we can't. They tell he us. He fought Tony. He fought Tony. 
Oh, that, that was interesting. That was a good fight, champ. I watched that fight. I did a live. I called that fight on my show. That was a great night of entertainment. What happened? What happened? That was a draw. It was a draw, but it was. Yeah. It was no, no. Okay. What it was? It was an exhibition. Okay. Literally, I, I can't. I couldn't. They told me I can't go hard, anyways. But listen, James Tony is slick. He's slick. He's smooth. Okay, and and I and I and I have another guy I'm sparring with right now who is very smooth. Also, you remind me of James Tony. What's his name? Clear again. John what? That his name, but he he was a world champion, and he's he's he's. he's Where's he from? Where's he from? I, I think he's from New, up in um, New York area. I'm not sure. New York. John. John. Huh? You're gonna give all, you're gonna give all your secrets away, champ. You gotta be careful, man. You guys no, might be. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not giving guys. away this secret because what I do, I train so hard. You can, you you. First of all, in boxing, people think you have to be tough. Okay. You you have to be tough. Yes, but. You have to be smart, intelligent. There you go. There's so much. There's so much thing going on in the in the ring at a given moment that you everybody think that boxers are stupid. You have to be so smart that you gotta know when to move, when to run, when to go and, and go in. This thing takes so much thing going on at the same time that boxing is the hardest sport, more harder than um uh, UFC. Okay, because the UFC they lie down on their back and they win. We 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 have to stand up. We can't, we can't hold, okay? So it makes a big difference. It makes a big, big difference. There's so, some people that need intimidation, that like to intimidate the opponent, and that goes so far, and then it ends. Because then when the bell rings, everybody rumble. So there's some guys that, that, that intimidate more than others. And me, I just look in the eye like that. And But to go any further, I don't know what that is. When a person go real further, like, going more than what they're supposed to when you try to intimidate your opponent and stuff. I do enough, but then some people go overboard. They go overboard. Oh, yeah. And... Well, that's true. That's true. But I, I, I don't I, I, I don't even try to intimidate. No, I, I see you. You're a perfect gentleman. I, I, I know. I'm so excited that I'm, I'm so excited that I'm, I'm, I'm getting a fight. <laughs> oh, I'm you're so going to actually have a fight? You're going to actually get a fight? Are you kidding me? Yes. Okay. Listen, okay. I, I listen. I, I, you know what, Miles? I run Tim. I, I, right now, I'm taking a week off because my legs are, are kind okay. of falling. Eh? Hey, hey, hey! Can you? I run, you, can I run can 14 you, miles a day. 14 miles a day. That's too wow. much, champ. That's, 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 huh? that's too much, champ. That's too no, much. No, 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 Tim. I don't lift weights. I don't lift weights. I don't. I don't put. I don't do not, nothing else but gym work, road work, skipping. Speed bag, and that's it. Fourteen is a to me is a too long, but if you feel good, then keep on doing it. All right, Tim. What's wrong? That's right. Okay, man. I'll I'll tell you though. I, I never expected to see you here tonight, Razor. Man, and, 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 bro, I, I feel Razor, I feel. Bro, bro, I, bro. Listen, my daughter. My daughter is my. Razor running. <laughs> hey, Tim, you look good, though, Tim. I'll be 67. I'll be 67 in December. Are you lying? Are you Are you lying? Stop it. Stop lying. I haven't eaten beef or pork for 50 years. And I think stop fish. Hey, Tim, I cannot wait to meet you. <laughs> I love that dude. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, you know I cannot wait been, to meet you because we, you're on the same path as me. Where was that when we was together? We was in Florida somewhere. Remember? I forgot. Yeah, he can't remember. <laughs> I know we were somewhere together and stuff. I know, you, I know, I know, Tim. Was it with Larry Holmes? Was it with Larry Holmes? I don't know. But but this is the thing. I'm, I'm, I'm I not think he was. We were sparring. We were sparring with Larry Holmes in Florida. I fought Larry Holmes in 83, but that I was I met you later on. I oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, but I, I used to spar with Larry Holmes. Hey, uh, hey, Jay, uh, Razor, somebody, somebody, one of my, one of the fans asked you a question out here. Did you ever get it off in a fight with Evander Holyfield? Um, no, they, um, they, they didn't want to fight me because I, I hit too hard. They, they didn't want to fight me, and I'm a mover. Yo, yo, yo the fighter would have fought him, but the management was scared. Like, yeah, I, yeah. Listen, I'm not saying Evander Holyfield is, it would be scared of me. I, I mean, it's, it's a fight that would make sense to him, okay? Because 
I'm not like Tyson who come in and fight. I'm a mover. It makes a big difference. You understand? Hey, look, I always thought, champ, I always thought that if you tighten your defense up, you won't have to move like that. I, I'm a good I, teacher. I'm a you good teacher. You got to see it. I, I tell you, you got to come and see. You got to see it. I'm so excited. It's tightening up. It's up. Because the last time I got it in the back of the head is because of I over I overextended myself, eh? And they 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 watch my they watch my flame and they they wait until I turn and they hit me right behind the ears. Those two fights, Lennox Lewis and Dylan Carmen, those are the only two fights I want revenge on, and they, I can't get it. But Tyson and I have unfinished business, so that's what I'm training for. Now listen, my thing is, my thing is, I do these exhibitions. I, I do need a couple of pounds, a couple of dollars in my pocket. But what, what really that I have is this hair. And the thing is, like, if you either, we could do an exhibition, but if you need some some help, and there's everybody out there. Oh, I'm a trainer, this and that. Everybody knew I had a good defense. Everybody knew I had a counter back. There's you some things I can help you with. You couldn't, you couldn't be talking to me like this if you didn't have a good defense. <laughs> <laughs> okay let's just keep in touch and if we will we will hey, hey listen you you have my daughter's number right anything keep in touch with her okay well, well, it's it's not, my... you got the number i got i got, I got the number to me i got okay. the number okay all that's right, my little second I, i'll see you when we get i see you when we get there okay if anything i can do you help Raise it, just let me know, okay? All right, Tim. All right. I right, love you, man. Right. Love you. Love All right, you, man. love you too, man. All right. Take All care. Right, talk to you later. All right. That was bye. beautiful, Bruce. We had the razor on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bye. Bye. He's from Jamaica, hey. Shania. We that was hey, Bruce. Man. Bruce. Hey, hey, I, you know, I, I told you there was going to be a surprise on here tonight, didn't I? That was beautiful. Yeah, oh. baby. Yeah, man. I mean, you know, hey. I'll do the exhibition with him, but I can help him more and 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 and, and teach him certain movement. He there's nobody around. I'm telling you, there's nobody around that could deliver the stuff that I got going. You know, the defense and the, and how to counter back. Boom. Listen, I'll be give me give me two minutes. I'll be right back. Ugh. All right, man. Hey. What can, what can I tell you? Hey, th th thanks for all you cats for, for coming in here, bro. The, 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 the card really hasn't even started yet. That was that was an appetizer. Yeah. You know, you know, I, I, I reach out to these people. I, I go on to Facebook and, and to um and to Instagram, mostly Facebook though, because they they uh they they, they reach back and um you know and, and Trick Nolte, Trick Nolte gave me Razor's number. I want to give Trick a shout out on that one. And uh, you know, hey. I'm a I'm I'm a risk taker, bro. If you if you, if you don't risk, you ain't gonna have nothing. So I I make it's only a phone call. I talk to Razor's daughter, and this is the first time I ever talked to Razor, man. You know she uh, I told her I was going live tonight. She called me up, apologizing that she didn't get back to me last week, and I told her about Tim, and uh, you know I I heard about this possibility of this exhibition will be happening, and man, and and, and shows enough, bro. We get. I, I think this is uh, this is almost a uh, an exclusive here. I don't think there's been a show on the internet that's had Razor Ruddick and Tim Witherspoon on at the same time. In fact, I haven't seen Razor Ruddick on a show. Last time I saw Razor Ruddick is when he fought James Tony in um in Jamaica uh, last year sometime. I think that was in Jamaica, wasn't it, man? I don't know, man. I was I was I did the live on it. I was blasted on here, and I, and man, I got. I got my my brother Tim Witherspoon on here. He told me today there's a possibility of an exhibition with with of all people, Donovan Razor Ruddick. And I yeah. said, you know, I I'm I'm kind of in contact with him a little bit. And bango, he comes right on. He comes right on the show and speaks to us. And it was a lot of fun, man. I think we got a lot accomplished, Tim, because I think you're going to get a phone call from uh from well, somebody you know, with a contract. Is, the, the thing is, Bruce, it could either be teaching or doing an exhibition. People will probably love to see. What what I used to do back in the day, I'm in already shape, you know. So I I can help the brother, and I can help him as far as injuries, how to last. He's a certain age. I think the way he running too many miles at his age, he's running too many miles. El Cuatro, yep. I'm gonna call them fights, bro. We just um we had a we had a, a legend that came on here a legend speaking to a legend so it was like uh man i felt beautiful that was 
that, that that was definitely it was a. Uh, Who did you get in contact? You get in contact with him. You got in contact with him. Yeah, I reach out to everybody. That was beautiful. Mm. That was beautiful. I can help him. I can help him. His longevity, um, because you know he he was retired, and now he has to come back. He has to tighten his defense up. They didn't have defense, man. I'm telling you, defense and offense. Or really make you look good. Look well, at me. You better, I've been forgetting a little bit, but look, I look no cuts, no bruises. I keep my defense tight. Those little things, Bruce. That's all. Those little things, not no whole bunch of other stuff. I think I think you you should uh you, you shouldn't give them too much information because you're gonna be the next guy in the ring with them. Oh yeah, but that I'm not worried about. That's no, that I think, not worried. Yeah, that I ain't worried about that. But. But man, you never know. You never know. You, those exhibitions. Look what happened with uh, with Dra with Ivan Draco and Apollo Creed. Yeah, that was only, that was only supposed to be an exhibition. I'm okay. So whatever punches he throw, I'm gonna guarantee you. I'm gonna have my defense tight. I'm not getting hit. Uh, now, if I try to uh, like let my my arsenal go, there's a chance of me getting hit. But if I like like coordinated like jab jab maybe two punches then right back to defense stuff like that i'll be all right keep my defense is be going to be the, the main thing if i was to do exhibition not hitting them with punches my defense will, i know i'll be able to hit them with punches but my defense is going to be what's going to be emphasized on for sure bro for sure yeah, i know what to do slim taught me some real good stuff I'm not gonna go in there at, the, at this time in my in the game and get hurt when I got to take care of my children. No, I'm, I'm going in there because I know that I can block those shots, and my main goal is to not get hit and look good. For the people paying their money look good. Throw a couple of punches here. If I can see that right shot, take it. In other words, people want to see a beautiful defense. They'll be satisfied. Ch Chet wants to ask you a question, man. He says, is it, true, is it true that Tim's purse was $5 million and Don King tried to pay him $50,000? When was this? What fight? Um, I, I got 50000 for the Tubbs fight. And then the I, IRS came and took all that, so I didn't get anything. I had to borrow like 10000 from Don after the championship fight. Damn. I was broke. I was broke. And I had to borrow money from Don. The IRS came in. I was only getting fifty thousand for a championship fight. That's it crazy. Really bad. So IRS came in and took it. I, I borrowed like nine to ten thousand from Don. You know I got to pay that back. You know, so I borrowed that from him. After a championship fight, I won the heavyweight championship of the world. Yep. That's that's, what that, that, that's insanity. Fighters today, even if you even if you want to scale. Fifty thousand dollars back in back in mid eighties money is peanuts to what these guys on the undercards are making today. In Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, I, Georgia. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna find out. That was that was nineteen eighty five, right? Yeah, that was Martin Luther King's birthday, and we had to fight down in Atlanta, Georgia. I really didn't get in the top top shape because I know what the fifty thousand dollars in nineteen eighty five be worth today. I'm gonna I ask this. Hey, Shania, do we have a speaker for this? Where's that speaker at? We can't could, speaker could you hear me, uh, Bruce? Yeah, yeah. $50,000 $50, today would be $145,000. 50000 and eighty five would be 145000 today. But that's okay. still, for a heavyweight champ in the world, that's a joke. You know how much Tyson, I heard this today. I don't know how true it is, but I heard that Tyson Fury is getting $80 million when he fights Usyk in Saudi Arabia. $80 million. Yeah, they got the money. Man, that's what you that's where you are. You, you can run a small country. No, that 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 does he's saying he thought Tim Sudan and won. Yeah, there's something in, and, and you can no, read we that. Didn't win. We didn't win. He you know it was a settlement. They told me that if I didn't take the settlement, there's a good chance that we would get nothing. So I don't know, I don't know if I don't know if we um, I don't know if we hold on, Shania, hold on. I don't know if she messed me up on that. So 
I don't know what was going on. They was trying to get me to settle the lawsuit because I knew if we had went and been through court, we would have really wiped Don King out. We had so much evidence and everything. So my, one day my lawyers came to me and said, hey, I think you better settle out. So I thought I was getting sold out in a little bit. It was Dilworth Paxson uh, 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 Law Firm, Dilworth Paxson in Philly. So they came to me. Maybe Don King was just... And mess and like they was like tired of it because Don King got a good thing with this, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hmm. So maybe it was that. Um, come back here, Shania. And 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 so that's what contributed to the, to me making my decision on that thing. So I wanted to fight or lose. I would I wanted to lose everything. I didn't care. I wanted justice to be justice. So we was going there. I said, No, I don't care. And then I sensed a little shift in what was going on. I was like, I better take this settlement and get this little bit of money or I might wind up with nothing. That's what was left for me to make that decision. Well, if I try to go all the way, I might get burned out of everything. Or if I make this decision and take that money, you know, um, so that that's what happened to me. I had to yeah, make no, it, was, it, was a, it was a different time than it was, man. We right could have beat Don, though. We could have beat him. Something oh, happened. oh, oh. Today, 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 you'd be set for life. You'd have you'd have money for you, for, for Shania's generation, for her kids' generation. It's a it's a different you know it's a different ball game today, man. You know it's eighty million dollars. Can you imagine that? And you know, a prime Tim with a spoon would beat a prime Tyson Fury or a prime wow. Alexander, in my opinion, bro. You know, you know. You know but I hey, still love everybody, Bruce. And oh, oh, definitely, 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 man. I want man. my mom to be proud of me. I want everybody to be proud of my family. Um, I should. I should have a lot more, and everybody else's family. Well, I'll tell you, a nice little exhibition with Razor Ruddick would be would be financially nice for you, and we would enjoy seeing that, man. You know, and the other stuff. I would like to get involved with the boxers if they still want to box. You know, and um, that's my daughter. Keep and she's interrupting me about some stuff. Yeah, but I would like to. I would like to truly get involved. I gave a lot to the sport. A lot of things happened, and for. Our legacy to just be like planted away. I mean, you keep on going forward, but um, I think it can help learn by some of the mistakes that we made and other boxers made. And here it is. I'm getting ready to maybe do an exhibition with a Razor Ruddy. I'm still motivated. I'm doing real good. I'm, I'm not. I'm with my daughter. I don't go out and party. Um, I'm really concerned about what's going on in the world, um, and I want my kids to prosper and try to. Uh, be an asset to America. So, so yeah, I'm not just sitting around um, partying and stuff like that. I'm concerned about what's going on in the world and, and the boxing game because we need to keep get this boxing on the right track. Keep it going. And just in case all this stuff that's happening in the world with Ukraine and all that, once it settles down, boxing could boxing pick right back up and, um, and um, everybody have a really good feeling about what's going on. Um, so that's slowing things down. The war, things, the economy, people trying their best to love boxing, love basketball, love other different sports. But it's affecting everybody, Bruce. What's going on in the world is affecting everybody. So it would be a beautiful thing if, if, if when that all that slowed down, they figure something temporarily out so we could come back and fight back and 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 make our work make make the world a, a better place. That's what yeah. I think about all the time, Bruce. All the day, I be saying, "Wow, why this happened, man? Come on, man. We got." Yeah, I, I, I can't. I'll be honest with you, man. I, I pretty much gave up on it. I'm just living day by day. You yeah, don't give I'm, up, Bruce. Well, hey, man. But yeah, but 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 there ain't nothing to fight for. It's it's it, 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 it's it is what it is. I stay in my lane. I love my boxing. I love to listen to the jazz. I love talking to the champs. I love smoking my weed. You know, hey. I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna try to change the world because I I lived through the generation where we tried we to change. Trying to change. We just let yeah. people know how we feel. Well, hey, right now I feel pretty damn good. Okay, okay, that's all that's I can hear. That's, that's all, all I can hear, and that's what everybody watching your show should be doing, saying the same thing. Don't let nothing hey, yeah. down. My, my my friend Chet out there is, is asking that that age old question on what was your toughest fight. With my kid's mother. I'm gonna there tell you, we go. 
<laughs> Let me tell you this. She had a good no, no, my toughest fight was let me see, my toughest fight. Pour some in there. Pour some in there. This is draft. Okay, my toughest fight was with a boxer that wasn't really that <laughs> Yo, come on, Sonia. What you gonna do? Just a little. Okay, put, no. All right, that's okay. She cheating me. Um, my toughest toughest fight was with somebody that I should have knocked out, um, and uh, really took advantage of, but I underestimated him. I wasn't in come in no shape, and this was probably around the time I was dealing with the promoters, Don King, and all these different guys. And so, just because I really believed in my skills and stuff, that I could just play around with certain people, but they came in the fight. So it's a couple of fights. I'm sorry, everybody, I belts. So when they came in the fight, they were serious. But when I came in the fight, um, these were about four or five fights. When I came in the fight, I, I figured I'd get the win. I'm out of shape. I got more skills, and that's just some things you just gotta deal with when you know, up and cup and boxers. If you're going to get in that ring, make sure you're in shape and everything. But I was going through a whole lot of different things. And I figured that I just, you know, beat the guys because I did have good defense and stuff like that. So you just got to be careful out there, guys. Talk to somebody with experience if you want to make a, uh, make a decision on certain things. Guys that's honest like me, I'll tell you the truth. I won't tell you no lie, you know. I've been through a lot of things, and I know there's other boxers been through more than me. But um, a lot of things happen, and I'm here to help if you guys um, have a little problem. And and you know, and another thing we gotta do too is we gotta we gotta get your old your old your old homies together. We gotta do a show with the, uh, you know, the Raiders. With, yes, yes. With, with no, the no, we doing, we're in the process of doing it now. We're in the process. Me and me and. Um, me and Bruce, we, you know, and we in the process of doing that because these other boxers, it's just not, it's not just me. It, we got a whole bunch of other boxers with stories to tell and um, things that I know you guys will love out there. And, and like, these guys are not boxing the way we boxed back in the day, back in the day. They okay. A lot of them in better shape. They got better fitness stuff now. But in terms of skills, you don't see that. No, you know, definitely not. But you know, check your you see the physical fitness and shape, but you don't see the skills. Chet just said he didn't say who it was who was your toughest fight. Oh, with my kid's mother, man. Dang. No, no, no. In the ring he's talking okay, about. In the ring, I would say it was this kid from North Carolina. I underestimated him, um, and really I didn't think of him. Any I forgot his name. Uh, he was tough, but I just – I didn't train hard, and he came in the best shape of his life, and he won a decision. I had it, his name on the tip of my tongue. I went down south, and um, oh, Bruce, this is a shame. You should have the list. <laughs> I can go find it if you want me and to. He outpointed me. He outpointed me. We talked about him before. It's like my, we talked about him before, Bruce. We talked about him before. Was he the decision? Is he is he a top ten fighter? No. And no, and you fought him. Ten. I'm trying to think of his name now. He was stocky and short, and he out hustled me because I what year? I, I just, just, just could knock him out. Morton Martin's. Uh, what the hell was his name? He was pretty tough, and I think he was from Carolina. All right, let me see here, man. Just get the get the record. See if you can get the record down. And we can go from there. Man, you got so many fights I'm going through over here. It's really hot. Every Bigfoot Martin is that's that the him. Dude? That's him. Okay, that's yeah, him. yeah. Auburn, Auburn Hills, Michigan. Yeah, I, he, I think he he fought Tommy Hearns too. I he fought everybody. Every Bigfoot. How Martin. he fought Tommy Hearns? He was a middleweight. No, no, I think Tommy went. No, I, no, I, he didn't fight Tommy Hearns. I'm right. sorry. But he fought. He fought uh, Fresno Kendo. He fought Joe Hip, Obed Sullivan. He's got he's got a, a lot, he's got a lot of experience on his I record. I estimated him, Bruce. I estimated him, and he didn't really do nothing to me. He just out hustled me. That's all. Oh, if dude. I would get in the shape. I would stop him. I would stop him, but he did take a good punch. I'm thinking I would stop him, but if I was in top shape, I I, I do believe that I would get that. I would do that, but 
He could take a punch. Tim, I I'm looking at his I'm looking at his record, man. He fought Kwawi. He fought George Foreman. He fought Francisco Demiani. He fought Bone Crusher Smith. He fought Michael Mora. He fought Riddick Bowe. He fought Tony Tucker, Larry Holmes, Tony Tubbs. I, I mean, this guy fought everybody. He fought Klitschko. He fought Lamont Brewster, Donnell Nicholson. He fought a lot of guys you fought. And I mean, he's got, he fought everybody. He didn't beat them all. He fought Vladimir Klitschko, Vitaly Klitschko. I mean, this, this, this fucking guy, Everett Martin, has got 20 wins and 39 losses. But he, he, he fought everybody out there. He was tough. He was he tough. Was, that's a gate. I underestimate him, and I give him that respect that he had that much heart. He was in the ring with those guys. That now I really give him even more respect. Oh now, yeah, he was a nice guy too. Wow, he was I'll a nice tell you, guy, man. Bruce. You know he's he's been knocked out a dozen times in his career too. It was hard. I was hitting him too. I hit him with some shots. So hey, he got caught solid with some shots. Then yeah, towards the end of his career, you know he fought some real heavy hitters. Okay, he got, he got knocked out by by guys like uh, Klitschko. By guys like um, Dinah, uh let's see, man. Cl yeah, uh, one of the Klitschko's knocked him out. He fought Lance Whitaker. He okay. fought everybody, man. He fought everybody. Lance Whitaker. Tony Tubbs, an old, an old foe of yours. Yeah, Tony. He fought a lot of guys that you fought. He got he he he, he stayed in there for ten rounds with Michael Mora. So this, that's a tough guy. Oh, that's so a, he. Oh. He's fought. He fought everybody. He's fought. He's got more, yeah, he's got more Hall of Famers on his record than I think anybody I've ever seen before. Yeah, I, look, he was tough. He was tough. I do believe if I was in, I'm sorry, guys. I'm just looking down here at these paperwork here. If he um he fought those guys, man, and he tough. He was tough. Oh, I hit yeah. him with a lot of. I hit him with a lot of stuff and. He survived, but I do believe if I was in better shape, I think that um, I think that I could have stopped them also. I just didn't care. They was like a, just an opponent, and I came in. He was tougher than I figured he was. You know, I learned a lesson from it, Bruce. I learned a lesson, and you got to be in shape all the time, or you just make an excuse. He, he fought all those guys. Was he a hard hitter? You remember? I didn't really feel no hard punch, but I felt pressure punches, not – there was weak, but there was pressure punches that you have to watch out for. Um, and maybe if he landed right, um, that you would, you would get dizzy. So he was aggressive. He kept his hands up, and he kept throwing punches when I fought him. So I think he was really up for my fight. He's really up for it, but I wasn't. I was up for an opponent. And even though that I came in the way I came in, I should have won the fight. I should have won it even though I came in the shape – I thought he was just a regular guy that I could just walk over. But I do believe that I should have, I could have, uh, go ahead, Bruce, go ahead. No, I was going to tell, I was going to tell uh, Adam, we were talking about Everett Bigfoot Martin. That's a, that's a, that's a, a journeyman heavyweight who fought everybody in the book. All you're going to do is everybody. go look at his, you, he, his record will blow your mind. But he's got more, he's fought more heavyweight champions, I think, than anybody I've ever seen out there. And I thought guys like Scott Ledoux, and and Coach Sia, I thought they had impressive. You see the list? You got the list. Yeah, I just saw it now, and I'm I'm totally impressed. <laughs> I'm totally impressed. I mean, well, you you and him that were like two veterans in the ring because that was late in your career too. So you were no, it wasn't that late in your career. Yeah, that was. Well, uh, I'm just trying to do with something while we talking. Let's see when when did you fight him? You fought him in um. You got so many damn fights in your career. It's hard to find. It's hard to go down, <laughs> go down the list and find find a certain one. So you fought him in ninety two. Ninety two. What time 92. is the fight coming on? Uh well, the, the main event starts at ten, but we're getting ready to, to, to catch another a fight here, man. I can see that they're uh, that we're um we're getting ready for another one. Let me see who else is on this card because it's uh the the, the the two fights I want to see are the two heavyweight fights. But we have uh, a couple of our uh, undercard fights. Let's see, we got well, well, Robson Consankio. We've seen him around before. He fought, um, I think he fought uh, Devin Haney. Let me, okay. Let me, 
Let me take a quick look at his record. Robson Consankio. He fought uh, Navarrete. He had a draw with Navarrete. He fought Shakur Stevens. Okay. Yeah, Shakur Stevens. I thought it was um, I thought it was Devin Haney, but it was Shakur Stevens. And um, he's taken on somebody named Jose Ivan Godetto or Tez Ortiz, and this is um, it's an eight round fight. Usually um, usually he fights in twelve round fights and in ten round fights, but uh. He's he's like the, uh, on the uh, on the, uh, th the third uh, the third the third uh, uh, the third card on the uh, below the main event, not the co-main, but the one below that. But yeah, man, uh, these heavyweights are going at it, and you know, with, with heavyweights today, any one of them could 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 make an uh, could could make a, a, an explosive, uh, you know, put a put a real real exploration point on the uh, heavyweight division. Explanation point. There we go. And Anderson, he brings his his thing is he brings his dog with him to the fights. <laughs> he brings his dog. Yeah, yeah, he's got his dog with him. Uh oh. Everybody, everybody's got a gimmick here, bro. Well, somebody, whatever you got, whatever works, you got to keep doing it, right? Probably keeps him calm. Probably right? keeps him. Probably keeps him focused. In fact, I, usually, I'm it, usually it'd be a family member or or. Uh, his girlfriend or something like that. <laughs> Does Tim train any heavyweights that have the potential to become champ? I don't Somebody. train. Yeah, I don't train. Um, I do. I, I I was going to my son's gym and, and, and everything and training people there. Um, but um, I haven't really um, trained any heavyweights or, any, or anybody. I've been around just helping people out. Um, they're really infused, enthused about how, how I teach and, and the method that I use. Um, but, you know, if somebody was to come over and say people that somebody was established like a boxer and had good ratings and stuff or whatever, I would I would get involved with that. But other than that, I'll just be going, training, trying to stay in shape just in case the exhibition come on, uh, come on podcasts with Bruce and other, other members of our group just to keep motivated. That's all. That's what, so that's what I'm doing right now. But in terms of teaching, I'm really good. They just don't know it. A lot of people don't know it and um, they got to take a chance. There's a, there's, there's a lot to be offered. I mean, you know, you're looking at a 66 year old guy and, and, and Razor Ruddick couldn't believe it when he told him he was 60, he was 66, you know, 67 I mean, in December, you know, and it's all about taking care of the body. And that's what we do around here, man. You know, we, we stay off of the hard stuff. We eat clean. We drink a lot of water. We take our vitamins when we have to. We see yep. a doctor when we have to. And uh, I mean, you know, just take care of ourselves. Stay active. Stay moving. Get that oxygen in your blood, man. You know, keep those antioxidants. You know, keep keep, keep the keep everything from rusting up. You got to you got to move it. You're gonna lose it. And Bruce, I do it because of my children and my grandchildren. That's why I do it. That's what motivates me. Not just for myself, trying to be in this world. But what I want to do is try to be here and help my grandkids and my kids and, you know, somebody else outside of that. Um, I'm here. So that's one of the main reasons why I'm trying to stay healthy, eat properly, uh, wake up every morning. I got a daughter I sent her off to school. So and and I, I like being a bully to her. I like being <laughs> bullying her because it's going to help her. <laughs> you yeah, know, yeah, your guts to my brother, your guts to. I'm just doing it to stay alive. Oh, I, I, I got to pull out another bud to enjoy during this fight. <laughs> oh, go ahead, Bruce. It's called, it's called the Vanilla Kush. Whoa. Hey, shout out to my friend John McSmith out there. Johnny, what's up, Johnny? Did you have, any, did you have Razor Ruddock on? I missed it. Yeah, Razor Ruddock was here, bro. Razor Ruddock was here it's for a while. Have to watch, the, watch the replay. What I got to do is I got to get in touch with some of my... Um, my edit friends, and they can make a special show on that Razor Ruddick interview we did because I'm staying on for the fights here tonight. Hey, JoJo Jackson. I got to give JoJo Jackson a wrench, man. JoJo Jackson comes in here all the time, and uh, I'm never on stream yet. I'm always on um, something hold else. Up, hold up for a split second. Hold up. We're holding up, man. We're holding up. We're hanging hanging and banging over here. JoJo, let me let me wrench you up so none of these cats uh, time you out. I got, some, uh, I got some real SOBs in here. To get a kick out of that. What you doing, Bruce? 
I'm giving I'm giving my brother a wrench over there. I got some uh I got some vanilla Kush. What's that? What is that? You 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 I'm a young it's man a, and you trying to It's a it's a strain that I picked up. It's a uh it's a predominant indica and it's and they call it vanilla Kush because it's it's a cross oh, with Oh, uh, vanilla Kush. Vanilla Kush. Yep, OG Kush and some other uh some other uh strain but it's got it actually smells like vanilla i smell that jar i smell these buds and I, it smells like i'm at a i'm having a milkshake in the old in the old mall shops you had those shops in south philly that made you a real old-fashioned milkshake of vanilla you could taste the vanilla in there that's what i can taste inside this uh vanilla kush vanilla kush hold on vanilla kush I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is, Shania. Shut up. What is it? Oh, even this young yellow lady know what the, what the, I should beat her butt. Oh, I'm sorry. This is this is a uh, this is not 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 a uh, you got to be PG-13 around here. Only only children allowed with their parental guidance can listen to this show. So, Shania, I don't so know. So, do we have some people on, Bruce? Oh yeah, there's 37 people in here right now listening to us. We got some, but right now the boxing, it's a, it's a four rounder. It's, um, it's just a, it's another preliminary. They haven't even really started the, uh, the main card yet. This is, uh, let me see. J Julian Delgado and Juan Torres, a four round middleweight fight. Let me, uh, let me see what their records look like. Julian Delgado. He's probably a, uh, probably a top ranked fighter. This is one of Bob Arum's cards. Bob Arum's got a whole, yeah. whole bunch of his fighters that he's highlighting on here. And Julian Delgado is a holy shit, man. He's in a four rounder and he's got 29 fights. That don't make any sense. He's your opponent. Is he opponent? Corpus Christi, Texas. Yeah, he uh, gotta be an opponent. I'm gonna have to go back and and see if this is the uh this this can't be the guy fighting in a four round fight, but I think it is. I'm gonna go back and, and check out the uh the guy that he's fighting, Juan C. Jimenez. Let's see. Let's see what Juan C is here, man. Juan C has got a record of. He's a Mexican nationalist. No, he's an American from Laredo, Texas. Mm. He's got a record. This is only his second fight, and um, and, and and it's Julian Delgado. It's not. It's not Juan Delgado. It's Julian Delgado, and this is the other guy's debut. So this is just a. Uh, this is a real preliminary fight. These guys are. Fresh out of the amateurs. Oh, okay. Let me see Delgado. Yeah, he's, Delgado's got a real impressive amateur fight, an amateur record. He's got national national Golden Gloves uh, final on there, man. He won the he won the national Golden Gloves. He's okay. uh, he's yeah, he's a national champion. Uh, 2022 Golden Gloves. So uh, I'm sure he's the top ranked fighter. So this is his uh, first fight, right? This is this is his uh, yeah this is his first fight. A four rounder. So this is so I'm not paying too much attention to this one. Okay. McSmith has got pink rose triple beam dream. <laughs> tell us about these are the strains of herb that they're puffing on out there because you know man, oh, my no. skin, <laughs> jazz and more and one of them more things is that. Is that wonderful herb that I like to puff on while I enjoy these fruits? <laughs> okay. That, it, it, it'll do you more good than it will harm, believe me. It, <laughs> it, it, it reverses uh, cancerous tumors. It wards off Alzheimer's. It wards off other, other uh, respiratory diseases. As long as you don't puff too much, you have to use the edibles or the green <laughs> diet, like I use. But um, but I'm 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 pro, so pro cannabis. It's not even funny anymore. I think it's actually keeping me young and uh and pickled. It's keeping you, you young. Hey. It's it's like keeping you keeping me well that, preserved. That draws something like marks on your face. But you keep going like that. That's what somebody said. Ah, look at my look at my push. Come on. Yeah, you got straight stuff. Yeah. So they tell them lies, then they tell them lies. 
I'm trying. They're telling to... lies. They they read that propaganda from years ago. What does Tim think about heavy, about heavyweights? That's in a coma from Vegas. They say he just got knocked out twice. Well, you know, we we pray for his life, man. We hope that doesn't happen. Yeah, but that's number Tim, one. Let's pray. Um, but um, I do believe that a lot of these boxers today, like like I keep saying over and over again on this this show and and the show that that uh, we produce that defense today is not really they don't is no important and there's a lot of trainers that can't teach you how to block them nowadays when i was coming up when i was coming up early in the boxing game a lot of trainers had a certain way to block and stuff and they do both nowadays it's just all offense so this could be contributing to this person he's in the hospital yeah yeah i, I don't know i, I, he, I really don't know Okay, if, if he should, he could avoid a lot of that. And a lot of people just get a trainer that at, that's with a person that has a name, excuse me, and they'll go with him thinking that that uh, he's a good trainer, but really the boxer that has all those skills and winning is, is helping him win by being a teacher. So he might just teach this, and the boxer that he's training has other skills that's benefiting him. But he's not really doing, if you understand me, guys, he's not really doing, he's just doing regular stuff. And this is what causes that. This is what causes that. You know, you believe in your training and he really doesn't know. And you got guys like me and guys with names that know, that been through it, they know what to do. And you figure these young guys will reach out or these current contenders will reach out to us. You think I don't know or you think I may not know or whatever, you guys better start reaching out. That's the problem. You know, that's the problem. So these are the guys in the coma. I teach defense and offense. Not just all offense. I teach defense just as much as I teach offense. And a lot of trainers today don't know defense. And that's why we're getting this feedback like we're getting this today. Yep. Who's the best defensive boxer you ever saw? McSmith wants to know that answer. I don't know. Benny Briscoe was kind of good. Um, Yo, that's a, a question that I have to, we have to do another show on because that's important. <laughs> that's important. Um, yeah, um, Benny Briscoe had a defense that where he kept his hands up high and he blocked from one side to the other side. He didn't really get hit that much. Um, there might be some videos where he did, people could say he got hit. He fought Marvin Hagler, cut by the guys. But defensively, I, in, in the area where I was raised in boxing, I was born, everybody taught defense and offense. Um, but let me see who else. Joe Frazier had a pretty good defense. Frazier? Frazier uh, had a good defense? Joe yeah, Frazier had a good defense? Even his, his was okay because he moved a lot. But Ali was exceptional. Everybody else, um, Joe did pretty good with, in my opinion. So, so um. You know, Kenny Norton didn't have a really good defense, but he did put his hands up high. Jimmy Young was real slick. He get his defense was moving and slipping. Not so much of putting your hands up and physically blocking. He was good at moving and getting out the way. So that's that's a defense, and this is a defense. This is one, and getting out the way, doing all that is like another defense. So, oh my belt just went down. <laughs> how about how about how about Roberto Duran? Roberto ran, Roberto, in my opinion, and I love Roberto. Um, he did really no. well too, but in the long run, you see where Tommy Hearns and other boxers um it took advantage of him. Um, you know, you know, his deep him not having a, a tight tight. Deep. So when you're fighting guys like Sugar Ray and Tommy, your defense has to be more than what you was doing. So um, I think Tommy got in that good shot, that right hand, and Sugar Ray, Sugar Ray was catching with a lot of good shots. You were fighting the top of the line guy, so you expect that though, Bruce. You expect that to him not to get all those punches in because you're boxing good offensively guys like Tommy Hearns and Sugar Ray. But but I would keep my hands up. I'll just keep mine up, like you know. So he had a defense, but. Against was, was your, and Sugar Ray, um, was, yours, was your defense a, a, a little like Archie Moore's? It was, and and I look at a lot of Archie Moore's uh, uh, movement. I kept mine tighter than he did. 
I kept mine tighter. He did have his hands like that, but it was more looser. I kept my hands a lot more tighter and when I got into stuff like that. And um, I didn't really learn from them. I learned from Slim Robinson. But when I did see them guys executing and doing their work, um, I felt that Slim was teaching me a little bit better defense than they uh, appeared to be on the television. So I watched them, and they were too loose. Kenny Norton was real loose. But my trainer was teaching me more tighter. Kenny was looser with his. But mine was more tighter like that. So that was the difference I seen. Um um, but you're going you to be able to throw punches out of that defense, too, yeah, right? Yeah, it's right. No problem. You got to position yourself like I like this. You can turn this way. And as soon as you feel a punch, you just turn it. Or you can turn this way. As long as your defense up, you're catching it. And then you turn it back. So th that was that's really easy, really. Keep your hands up and move your body. And whenever you wherever you feel that, that pressure, you counter right back from it. Block it and then counter back. So I was taught all these things by by um, by Slim. Joe Frazier showed me a couple of. Uh, and is anybody anybody using that today? You see no. anybody out there? No. Nobody. No, no, and 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 that's the that's the talent that's 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 need. You need defense. A lot of guys getting clocked. It will make you feel more comfortable and 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 stuff. And when you when you're boxing somebody, when you know that they can't hit you if you got your hands up. These trainers are not doing that. They're not doing it. So um, I came from the old school. They taught you both, offense and defense. And they practice hard on defense just as well as offense. Nowadays, you got guys that, that with their records. You got guys, what, uh, 18 and 2 or something like that, training a top not guy, you know. So my thing is, is that, you know, a lot of boxers make it successfully, successfully, um, and they did it on their own. But they'll blow the trainer up. If, if the trainer don't know that much, he'll get blowed up too, which will call other boxers, calls other boxers to come to him, and they wouldn't get taught properly. And I'm not hurting. I'm not down against nobody, Bruce. But that's what's happening. Just because the fighter win, right? The fighter win, the trainer wins, even though he's not a good trainer. Look, look at uh, Sugar Hill. I heard that, and I had, I love that brother. Tyson Fury fought, and then I heard there was a lot of people who wanted to send their boxers to Sugar Hill, and Sugar Hill never fought a day in his life. I love Sugar Hill, but hey, anytime I get on, I'm gonna tell the truth. Don't get mad at me. Don't try to hurt me. Don't try to do this. I'm not trying to. No, yeah, really I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to hurt, but everybody in the boxing world want to know, and I don't know 100. percent They want to really get a good idea of what's really going on. I'm just well, letting everybody you know. know. Somebody's going to get fortunate. Why did Tyson Fury? Why did Tyson Fury get Sugar Hill? Can you? And then you go ahead and talk. I, I want well, you to tell me what well, you. Just, well, he 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 wanted he wanted the power. He wanted the crunk power. He said when he came back to fight Deontay Wilder, he wanted to have power. And uh, a man, and, and Sugar Hill comes from Emmanuel Stewart's gym, Tommy Hearns' gym. You know, that gym's all offense. You've said it a million times. They don't have any defense there. Tyson Fury already had defense. He went to see Sugar Hill. He learned how to turn over those punches. He became I, I a would say this, Tyson Fury, I love, him. I love him, but he doesn't have a good defense. Go ahead. Go ahead. He doesn't. No, no. I, um, Regardless, I think that's why he went to see. Uh, that's why he went to see. Um, that's why he, he went to see. Came to me. He should have came oh. to me. I was with hey, him. Shout out to my brother H Money out there, man. Hey H, you should have been here. You should have been here a little while ago. We had Razor Ruddick in here, man. We're gonna put together a, an exhibition with the great Tim Witherspoon and the great Razor Ruddick, and they were both on here, man. And uh, it was it was boxing history in the that was made over here, man. You look haven't healthy too. Yeah, there's my brother, my brother Conbreds out there, man. That dude's got a channel. He smokes a lot of weed on his channel. He's a he's a cool cat. I met him out there, and and, and you know he, he's my kind of guy. And shout out to him uh, if he's big enough, he's in the right place. If he, and I I know he's, I know he likes weed, and you know that's me, bro. Boxing and bongs. That's what that's what makes my will go round. And we you know we're getting ready for the. Uh, for the heavyweights to step on the stage here, and we're with the, one of the greatest heavyweights of all time, brother. 
Put it in there, but give me that. Uh, ten. The two time, the two time heavyweight champion of the world himself. Who is that you on the phone with? Oh, that's Shania. I'm, I'm a ball on the route. What's Shania doing out there, man? Be in the back on the phone talking to somebody. Hoping if it's a dude, I'm going to punch you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Tell her she got, she's going to give her that Witherspoon overhand right that Frank Bruno went to sleep with. She just having fun, that's all. So what's our what's our uh what's our people doing on the on the chat? Oh man, well hey man, my friend H Money's in here. H Money's got a big chat out there, bro. He's got a big channel. Get H Money to do some Tim Witherspoon promotion. Anybody needs a trainer who, who's an expert in defense, you gotta give the champ a call over here, bro. You know, you get another another dimension into your into your your, your toolbox. You get another another set of power tools in there, the, the tool of awesome defense. Because you got a guy oh, 60 years oh, old. Oh, this is important. Look at this. Fury relies on clinching. That is very important. You only put the clinch for a split second to let go. Um, that's Adam Hurley. He's, he made that. You only put the grand for a split second and punch. But Fury holds on for longer periods, which make the fight boring. I have nothing against him, but when you hold too long, that makes the fight born. When you, my trainer told me, when you grab, do it for like one and a half seconds, then throw a punch. Don't just grab for a couple of seconds and walk around. Okay, there you go, Bruce. That was, uh, who was that we just talked to? Who was that? You no, know, he's catching me in the middle of a bomb. That was Adam Hurley out there, man. Adam, you guys are Adam. Him, man. Shout, out to my, shout out to my brother, Adam Hurley. Yeah, and Thank you that's, you're not supposed Tim, to really. Tim, don't you think? Don't you think that size of Tyson Fury is going to be too much for 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 Usyk to handle when he starts leaning on him, when he no, starts putting no. out two hundred seventy-five pounds on him? No, as long as he knows what to do, weight doesn't mean the problem. If you're in good shape, it really it doesn't make mean the problem. I never really was uh, worried about weight if a guy was heavier than me because I'm a heavyweight, but. They put that with the lighter weights. They really, they really, uh, really hard on the weight situation when you're under a certain amount of pounds. Like when you're under like one nine, one seventy five, everything is crucial. Oh, if you one fifty five, one sixty, they really. What about you fight? You can knock somebody out ten pounds heavier than you if you got the skills. Yeah, but we're talking, we're talking thirty pounds. And Tyson Fury is going to come into this fight in shape. This is the biggest fight of his life. I do believe, and I got the, I got the, I got the, I got the remedy for that. If he tried to go for Yusef head, it's going to be a hard fight. But if he go to the body, Yusef can't move. Wherever he move, he's getting touched here. See, I don't want to give my secret away because we, we know what to do with a mover. He will be an easy fight. If you do one, two, every time you used to go like this, hit him here. Don't go for this. Because you said, get out the way of this. But if you do this, you can't move out the way. So if you said, try to move, one, two. If you move, one, two. Or just a jab. Hold up my belt. Jab him just to find out where he's at. See, I learned that long time ago, Bruce. When you try to hit the head, it's going to make you look stupid. But you can't move this out the way. If you turn this way, hit him to the shoulder. If any direction he moving, Tyson Fury should go to the body. And then after four rounds, three rounds, you're going to be able to knock Yusef out. Because Yusef going to get upset because he can't make that movement with his body because Tyson Fury already hitting him here and stopping his movement. But if Tyson Fury try to hit him here, he's going to miss and look stupid. So the bottom line is if he go to the body, one, twos. He moved his way. One, two. One, two. But this, he could easily miss. Tyson Curry has to go to the body and leave the head alone, and he will win this fight early. And you know, you know, Usyk doesn't yeah, like it to the body. I'm going to give it out, but I'm telling Usyk you. Does, Usyk doesn't like it to the body. No, no movers do. That's why they move. Well, he definitely doesn't. He's been knocked. And he got uh, beat. He got knocked down with body shots throughout his amateur career, and um, and the, the fight he had with with Daniel Dubois, the title defense. They say it was a low blow, but it was it, to me it looked like it was borderline. I, 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 I swear, yeah, I saw that. I felt that he did see, receive a little bit of pressure on that. I, 
you know, I may be wrong, but it looked like he, he, like, he doesn't like those body shots. And if Tyson Fury concentrates on the body, I think, and I think, I just think the size, I think 30, 30 pounds of muscle, and you know, the boxing 101 will tell you a good big man is going to be the good little man. And 30 pounds is a difference between a big man and a little man. Well, Bruce, the bottom line is, is he go to the body, jab him to the body, one, two to the body. Yousef is going to forget about it. He's going to get frustrated because he want Tyson Fury to try to hit him in his head because that's easy to get out the way. And that's going to confuse, not confuse Tyson, but it's going to make it more harder for him to deliver the punches. I did this before. All he got to do is go to the body. Give me two minutes. Give me two minutes. I'll be right back. All right. Oh, oh, oh I'm getting old. Uh, Are you guys done? Wait a minute. I, I got. I got to just send a quick, a quick response here, man. Hang on. Go All right, I'm back again, man. I'm I'm multitasking here. I'm uh answering answering texts, getting ready for the boxing to start. The, the main event card doesn't start for 15 minutes, but um, but I'm here with the with the champ of the world, a two-time heavyweight champ, my my good friend Tim Witherspoon, who who comes on my show. All I gotta do is give him a call and tell him we want to talk boxing. And bro, this is a man who who was born, bred, lives, and he'll die by boxing. And uh, man, I, I'm I'm fortunate enough to to uh, have him come on and, and share it with us all. But um, like I said earlier, we got 14 minutes to go for the main main card to start, and we have we have two heavyweight fights that are of, of extreme interest to uh, to guys like me who like heavyweight boxing. We're going to see Effie Ajagba, who, um, who, who, who kind of came on the scene as a can't-miss heavyweight. You know, Effie Ajagba was beating everybody. I appreciate that, Adam, bro. I mean, this is... It's it's hanging out, you know. Um, you never know who's gonna bop on here as the show goes on, and uh, it's a uh, it's a trip for me. I'd be sitting there by myself watching these fights, and uh, I'm fortunate enough to have boxing royalty stop on here and share some of their wealth with us. That's how we're gonna keep boxing moving. We got to stick together and try to figure out what's going on all over the world. And deliver the the information just like we're doing now. I'm looking at Effie and Jagba, the African in here. Born in, born in Nigeria. In, uh, he's living in Texas, so he, he's pretty much a home a hometown fighter here. We'll see how Texas takes him in as one of their own. And he's 19 and one. 14 knockouts, man. The last time we saw him, he, he's been on a winning streak. He, he got beat once in his career by, by Frank Sanchez, uh, one, you know, one of your top 10 heavyweights out there. But um, he's been on he, yeah, he's what's, been the, what's, what's his name? Effie Ajagba. Oh, we seen him fight. Yeah, yeah, he's been he's been well promoted out there. He's been on a lot a lot of a lot of cards. He's been on a the lot tall, of undercards. The, the tall African boxer, right? Tall, tall African boxer. He's the and one that where the guy walked out the ring when he came on. Yeah, yeah. We we talked about it earlier. That's the one yeah, where the, the yeah. dude, um, the dude, uh, his name was um, Hardy. Yeah, he again. walked right out the ring. You know, Hop, Hopper, C Curtis Hopper. Yep, he walked yeah. out the ring. But uh, but but he's on there tonight, and he's taking on a pretty tough dude, man, Guido Vanello. That but Guido Vanello is is um, he's from Italy. I don't know if he was a, a, a if he was a, a an amateur boxer. Yeah, he, he's got a lot of amateur credits on here. Okay. He's got a, a World Series of boxing. He um he he lost in the finals, but he's got uh he's got some uh, impressive names on his amateur on his amateur record. Okay. Frazier Clark. Um. Frazier Clark. Frazier Clark, who was just on last week, man, a heavyweight out of the UK, who's okay. um. Who, who, who looked pretty good, a, a big heavyweight who uh, who I think is going to be going somewhere. 
but the um yeah they uh, they're going to show the Jared Anderson fight it, okay it, 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 that's the main event and it's only another another 10 minutes before the card starts so um Everybody Man, else I, had it, I had it on the laptop, but I, there's no way I can get it now because my phone. I could, uh, I could, I could shoot you some other links, but 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 the phone's not, the phone's not working as a computer. Um, Shania, I think you sent this the best, the best Shania. Yeah, because I've been. I've been on, I think she already tried this one, Tim, a little I know while she ago. Tried it. You can't get Tim with a spoon at hotmail.com on here. Um, no, because it keeps cutting off. Like All right, how about how about if I do this? I'll put a link right in the chat and you can you can click that. You can click that on your phone. What's the chat? The 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 chat on Facebook. Oh, go to Facebook? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to Facebook on your phone. Okay. You know, go to the show that we're doing now, if you can. Okay. And I'm gonna put I'm, I'm gonna put the, the link to the chat in the the link oh, to the fight okay. in the chat. Okay, that'll be beautiful. And right, I think so if you click, I think if you click that, Janaya, come here for a bunch in the face. <laughs> Yo, come here. This is important. My child is a thousand people it's watching us on Facebook. Oh crap! My secretary, she said crap. I said crap. She, no, it's not gonna work either way. He, she said it's not gonna work. No, because your phone keep cutting off about viruses. Oh, I can't believe this, huzzy. Uh, let me go to Facebook on this one. Facebook. You said Facebook, right? No, I said YouTube. Both got viruses. Oh, YouTube. YouTube. He said viruses. YouTube. What do you mean YouTube? He's sending it to YouTube. No, you, got viruses. Your phone got viruses. It's going to always cut off. Girl, let me tell you. Let me see if he said. Girl, that's a shame you're not helping me. Okay, so I'm on YouTube. What should I do? See what it says. Um, strike out I am boxing. Jared Anderson. Okay. The link I just dropped in there. Oh, wow. This is. Uh, okay, Viking Samurai. Uh, right. All right, I'm down to home. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, where should I look on YouTube real quick? And I'm gonna leave it alone if right, I can. Right, right on, right on the show that we're doing. You go right in the chat. See, see the people in the chat. Adam, Adam Hurley. Adam, yeah, well, Adam. But you said YouTube. Yeah, that's 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 where we're at. That's where we're, at. we're on YouTube. That's where the show's being broadcast on. That's where we have the millions and millions of viewers watching us. It's also on Facebook too, but I don't know if the um, I don't know if the uh, if the link will go into Facebook. Maybe it will. I'll put it on there too. Okay, it says you. you it says YouTube podcast, YouTube downloader. Okay, I'm just gonna. I don't know. This is. Okay. I know, I know a way that we could we could do it too. Well, you, you you want to keep your laptop on there? You could call the show, and I I have a I have a phone a call in, but we want to, you want to stay on. You want to do it, keep it like this, and see. I'm just calling. listening to why you tell me what to tell me what's up. That's all. No, we're just getting ready for the fights to start. We'll, they get ready we'll, to start. We'll, we'll, Is the big fight getting ready to come on. I I think they're going to go right to the two um the two main events, the two heavyweight fights. And okay. in, 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 uh, in seven minutes, the cards, the, the, the main cards getting ready to start, the ESPN card. You know how they do it for TV. They got to get yeah. the commercials in there. They got to get every, everybody on their, on their timeline. I need another glass of water. I'm going to have to get up and fill my, my hey, tumbler. Hey, get, yeah, good. Okay, because I video play all of that. I can't stand tonight. She won't come here and help me. What, what we got to do is get you another laptop, man. We got we to yeah. do We'll do the show, the live shows. We'll get the super chats, and we'll get you another laptop so you can do, have the two of them in front of you. Yeah, I was on it. The fights, and then Shania just cut it off. Okay, so it says switch accounts, Google, turn on lock. Uh, yeah, I don't know if this is going to happen, so switch That's accounts. That's all right. We'll, 
I'll let you know how the fights are going, man. And um, there's gotta be, there's gotta be a way if you can do if you can do two screens on your laptop, that might work. I don't know. I it's know. Okay. Technology today is crazy. Whatever happened? We used to go back in the apartment, just turn on the TV, and watch the <laughs> fight. Now you gotta stream them in. We're doing a live show on the other on the other uh, end of it over here. You gotta do. You gotta do everything, right? Hey, that's all right. I'm loving it. So, how long we got? We have uh, uh, five minutes till the card starts. All right, give me, give me like thirty seconds. I'll be right back. Thirty seconds. Oh, oh, not, not a problem, man. Just keep him with the, keep him with the, uh, the motivation here. Waiting for the, waiting for boxing to start. Like I said, I need, I'm gonna need some more water. And make sure you play. You, you, uh, if you just caught this show, make sure you catch the playback because we had a. Uh, we had the, the legendary Razor Ruddick himself stop in here. Him and Tim talked a little bit, man. Real, real good to hear. Real interesting stuff. Need I say, stuff you won't see on any other channel on YouTube. And there are 70 million of them out there. So if you want to see Razor Ruddick and Tim Witherspoon face-to-face, -face, there ain't no other place. That's Bruce Gass, Boxing Jazz, and more. Please sub to the channel. Give us a thumbs up. If you're in a generous mood, drop us a freaking, uh, what do they call it, cash app. But I just got the authority to uh to um to just lay those out there. So uh hey, tis the season of giving. And uh we're gonna be calling this fight in, in another another uh four and a half minutes. See what if you you're looking looking at time go by, it goes by real slow. So you kinda have to um just kick back, go with the flow. And like I said earlier, I got some vanilla cushion I'm pumping on, I'm puffing on right now, a very high altitude. It's a uh, in the predominant indica strain. Let me see if I can find. See, I, let me see if I can dig this up here. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna show you the uh, the strain that I'm smoking on. This is this is something I I do on occasion. Let's what see. What he doing? What he doing with uh? uh and it could be young kids. Ah, right, let me put the belt up here. Yeah, it could be young kids and stuff. Who's that? I got peanuts. I got peanuts. Oh, yeah. Hey, I, I eat a lot of peanuts, too. Peanuts are good for you. Yeah, they got certain amount of, um, of a certain amount of uh, nutrition in them. Certain oils and stuff. Well, I'm going to Google it right now because I was just reading it the other day. And it says peanuts have a sizable, um, they have insoluble fiber, which is good for you. They have a slew of Hot, healthy benefits. Oh, no, wait, man, what did you say? Peanuts. They lower cholesterol. They have. They lower the uh, LDL, the bad cholesterol. Peanuts also contain niacin, vitamin D, which is a very important for your heart function. I eat peanuts all the time because you know what it is. My wife buys them for the for the squirrels. She feeds the squirrels and she feeds the crows, and so that's all it's in here for a snack. And I eat them, and I, and I get the point where I love them. I eat, them, I, eat, I eat them every day. Yeah, they're good for you. You know, they got the help. In my hand, all kind of peanuts. I got like six different peanuts in my hand. There you go, man. I could, I could go show you the ones I have right now. I got my my wife buys them in sacks like this. I got to get up and get some fresh water anyway. Wow, so that I'll is be, a good thing, man. I'll be, I'll, right I'll, I'll be right back. Hold the thought down. No problem. She's doing the right thing. Your guys got to eat properly. You wake up in the morning, make sure you drink water, and make sure, well, I use egg whites. I use egg whites, and I put onions, red onions. Red onions are very, very healthy for you. Then I put garlic. I just overdo it with the garlic. Overdo it with the garlic. That cleans your blood. Sometimes I put broccoli and stuff in my in my stuff because I don't eat I don't eat meat. It's been fifty years since I ate beef or pork. And chicken and fish is five years. My daughter says six. And I feel a lot I feel really good. So a lot of ginger. I could probably give you a recipe another day. Let me see. Ginger, turmeric, the ginger. Junior, uh, garlic, 
And there's a lot of other things you could put into a smoothie and you will be, it would help you. It'll help you. Um, you can go get those powders like black seed oil powder and put it in there. Mix them in there. It gets banana or strawberry. Um, I even put celery. Oh, I do the celery. I get juice, carrot juice, celery juice, and beet juice and make a whole lot of that and mix it with all these other things, all these other vegetables. And um, I make sure I have a container of peanuts. I got them in my hand. I make sure I have a container of different raisins, peanuts, different kind of peanuts. Put them all together and you eat them. There's a lot of niacin involved in them. Niacin and other things. Oranges, peaches, all those things. I put them in a, a blender. Then there's powders that you get to have that you get to have protein. You add the protein to it with water mixed with maybe some low fat things, and then you you blend it, put it on some ice. Make sure you get the proteins. Like I said, I don't eat I don't eat meat. So make sure you get enough protein that, that so your body can you know can 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 benefit from it. Pour that scoop in there, add it on whatever stuff. You don't have to eat meat to get protein. So that's what I'm no, doing. Garlic, garlic is garlic is huge, man. Garlic, garlic is, is really good. I put like <laughs> three. <laughs> I put too much garlic in with turmeric, turmeric, and all this other stuff, Bruce. Garlic has got so many, it's got the ability to lower cholesterol, blood pressure, really good for you. Raw garlic, not cooked garlic, but the raw garlic. No, I know. The, yep, the raw garlic is some yep. good stuff. It, it's, been, it's been used for, for centuries, for, you know, throughout the, throughout the ages as, as a cure. But it's got, it's got this one thing in there. I can't think of what it's called again. It's called allium. That's what it is. No, what, what the hell is it called, man? I, I heard it yesterday. I was watching because I... I, I, I concentrate on what I eat, especially now. The older you get, because it affects you. It, it affects you in the short term. You know, long term, I could get away with eating McDonald's and all that stuff twenty years ago, thirty years I ago. I wouldn't touch McDonald's. I wouldn't either, man. I haven't been there. I haven't been there since since the nineties. I, I don't go near that stuff. I just don't. I don't do it. But when I was a kid, I could get away with that. But the older you get, it gets you. It gets you sluggish. Your, it clouds up your memory. It makes you think. It's just, it's crap. You're putting such garbage in your body. Okay, man, they're going to show three fights. They're going to show the, the uh, Robson Consankio fight. They're going to show the Effie Ajagba fight. They're going to show the Jared Anderson fight. So they're going to they're gonna go right through these, man. I wish you could be watching these fights, bro. These are going to be good. All right, so what you have to do, cut off? Um, I don't know. I don't know what I have to, I don't know what, what, what you got to do, bro. I, I like the I like the when you came on the phone and you were watching it on the thing, but I, but the phone was a little slow too. All you, right, you know, so what you want to do? Call me afterwards. Uh, <laughs> let's just do it like we're doing it, man. You gotta get the you gotta get these fights tuned in. I don't know how else. I don't know how you can do it. Oh, so you all right? You can see it and everything. Yeah, I can see it. All right, don't worry. But Consankio is getting in the ring. You ever you ever heard of this guy? Uh, Robson Consankio. Nope. He's a, a junior lightweight. He's fought uh, Shakur Stevens, a guy from from uh, the north. You know Shakur. Yeah. He got he got beat by Shakur. Okay. All right, that's good. But he's uh, he's fighting tonight. He's got a record of seventeen and two. He's yeah. taking on a, he's taking on a, a house fighter, a guy named uh, Jose Ortiz. I heard that Jose name before. Jose Jose Gardano, he got he got a bunch of names. Jose Ivan Gardano Ortiz, they just <laughs> called him Jose Gardano. But he's the first time fighting outside the U.S. He's definitely a top rank fighter. Okay, so that should uh, have some type of maybe mental thing on him, or maybe not. Yeah, he he's he's definitely brought in here to win. Ivan oh. Ivan uh, Jose Ivan. Godardo Ortiz. We'll just call him Jose. Jose is definitely the house fighter on this one. Okay. Consankio is, is a veteran. He's got a decent record. 35 years old. 
for a, for a lighter weight fighter like that fighting on a on the big stage. We'll see how he does. Yep. All right, bro. We'll we'll be right here, man. This is um Tim. Did you have did you ever come into some of these fights where you were brought in as, as a guy to lose to an up and coming young fighter like this? I I, yeah. I never was brought in to lose. No, well, not to lose, but to make well to to, to make to make a, a young up an up and coming fighter look good because you had a name, a reputation, you were a veteran. Never. Nah, I know what you're saying. Um, I don't think they took chances with me. Okay. Yeah, they didn't take chances with me. I know what you're saying. Um, um, let me think, because I don't think there probably is a situation where... Well, they, well, they, when, you, when you knocked out that Cuban, um, uh, Gonzalez... Maybe they were thinking. Maybe they were thinking it's right time to get me. <laughs> <laughs> they were wrong. They were yeah, wrong. Yeah, they made the wrong decision. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. They probably but, thought it was... And really didn't have good people with with to think of really about that boxing situation and me and boxing, whether they should try it. So um oh. pretty good for us. I knocked them out. But what what round was that? Oh man, I, it was early in the fight. It didn't last seven, long. Seven or six? It, it, it was it wasn't that late in the fight. You you figured right. him out early. He blew his load, and uh, that overhand right brought him to his knees. It was, and if um, I was training a little bit harder, I could have really made it look more devastating. I just realized how much um, he was, like, kind of arrogant towards, like, people and talking to him, and that motivated me. I said, well, this guy here is getting smart. He, like, he, like, arrogant. And when I knocked him out afterwards, he was humble. He was humble. He was more, like, more attracted <laughs> towards people. Well, I don't. I don't think that, he was like, you know, yeah. shooting up in the air. Oh, he had. They they gave him a, an apartment in Las Vegas. They gave him a hundred thousand dollars and a car. And uh, I mean, you know, it was it, after it was, my fight or before. Um, I think it was before the fight. I think that's what Don, that's how he was set up. And and um, the hookers, the the gambling. It, it, it humbled him worse than that big right hand from you humbled him. He was gambler. Oh uh, man, he was a he was a, a a Cuban, first time in America with a with a big chunk of cash in Las Vegas. You know, figured it out. He he, he didn't have he didn't have anybody behind him. It was they should have gave uh, me the hundred. They could have gave me the hundred thousand. Yep, yep, and you would have probably made it last too. Uh, yeah, but then, yeah. then man, that was that was back in the day. Money wasn't meant to be saved. You know how it was. Yeah. But anyway, I'm watching Konsanko right here. Konsanko is looking pretty good from the outside. Okay, he's good. Show, okay. He's showing the, the veteran moves. Garado was trying to come in with those those long left hooks where Konsanko is 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 doing some boxing, doing some straight up boxing, coming in with a straight right hand, using combinations to keep Garado on his heels. So I figured Kosenko <laughs> should be using his jab more instead of throwing wide punches. He throwing wide punches and everything. Yeah, yeah, he should he should yeah. be using that jab more. I think. Yeah, he should I think concentrate, he keep the defense tight, and start moving forward with the jab. And then when he get inside, put his his hooks and right his combinations together. And I don't mm -hmm. have to watch it. I'm just you know I'm just going by what you're saying. Keep his defense very, tight. Very even first round. But okay. it looks like Kosnakio is doing more of the uh, he, he he's he's more aggressive. You know, first round they're both trying to feel themselves out. It's only an eight round fight. Usually, usually um Kosnakio's in a <clears throat> twelve round or a ten rounder. So you can tell he's not he, he's not in his, uh, his his own territory here. Okay. You know, if he, if he was head if he was the A side, it would be ten rounds. Yep. So they got to figure out. After a couple of rounds, they really know who's who, what is what. <clears throat> and if they don't, they just got to keep going doing what they're doing like they're doing now. So this they is show, the first round or the second? First round. They're okay. showing Jared Anderson in his dressing room. He's all taped up. Okay. Getting, getting loosened up. You know, he's still got uh, this fight to, to go. And then he's and, – and now they're showing Riyad Murray's dressing room, former WBA cruiserweight world champion. So Miri was a Miri was a, a a former world champion. The guy who's fighting um, 
Anderson. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, he had a decent record. He was he was beaten by Kevin Liriana, the guy who fought uh, Daniel Dubois. I mean, this is this is uh some some uh some top twenty heavyweights. It's it, it's going to be interesting. I can't wait to see heavyweight fighting, man. This is this is almost like one of those cards that Don King would put on hey. back in the day, like a double header. And you were involved in a couple of them, you know. I always look forward yeah. to watch Don goes. What they those do, they make a name or something, and then try to build up, build up on the boxers. Just make sure they got an event. Then build up from there. I'm just trying to look around and see a couple of things. These guys are slugging the center ring. Consankio is, is is doing the um is doing a little more scoring. Durano just got him with a nice uppercut. Mm. Okay, here we go. Let me see. So there's gonna be a big, big rumble in the jungle. And thank you, got him on his heels in the corner, throwing some big right hands. Might have him uh, thinking twice, man. The veteran, uh, the veteran just landed a nice right hand. Oh. So this is this Who's is their uh, trainers? who are their trainers. I don't know. I, I I wish I I wish I could tell. You know, I I uh, I can't see really who's training them. I saw the I saw the cut man. I saw that guy Mike Brazil in the in the, in the corner. Yeah, Mike Who Brazil, I heard that name before. But this, Uncle, Uncle Leon would know all these top rank guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, where, where's he at? Oh, uh, he's uh, he's he's home. He's in New York. I oh. talked to him the other day. Yeah, I didn't talk. I, I maybe about three weeks ago. Last time I talked to him. Yeah, he, he wasn't feeling too good. Oh, okay. You know, so, but, but yeah. I mean, he, he, he's definitely the godfather. He knows everybody. He can remember every date, every fight. This you mixed know, little bit of stuff in here got me a little buzz. <laughs> what do you got there, some wine? No, it's just some mix with a beer and it's nothing. There's no wine or nothing. <laughs> yeah, it just give you a little buzz, a little cheap stuff. Ah. <laughs> You know me, man. I like I got the cheap stuff too. No, I haven't had, 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 had a drink in about twenty three years. What? No alcohol. No, yeah. I, had, I, I, I quit don't... drinking. I quit drinking a long time ago, and now I just smoke. I just smoke my days away. Yeah, that listen that. Yeah, that there. Uh, hold up, I gotta get. Yeah, that. All oh, both of them, man. They both of them are dangerous. Okay, I gotta get a quarter, man. We gotta, we gotta wait until, so it come on. So we got time, right? For the heavyweights, yeah. Well, uh, and then, and then, um, I won't be. But you're gonna have to do play by play. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I'm, I'm trying to practice on this, on this this fight right now because the, the heavyweights will be coming up right after this one and uh yeah man I said we do play oh, by play oh People. the heavyweights coming on next yeah oh then we finish after that the, yeah we got we got two heavyweight fights and and and, and that's the uh that's oh, the, who's the second one oh, who's the second one the second one is um is Effie Ajagba and uh and Guido Vanelli okay all right Jared Anderson and 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 Mary, and uh, right now we're in. I think we're in the third round of the um, of the uh, Robson Consencio and Jose Garaldo, okay. Garado, Garadado. He's got. You know, I, I'm so bad with names, man. I gotta listen. I gotta hear from <laughs> Honestly, hey, guys, it's I'll it's bad. Back. It's bad. I'll be back. I'm just gonna go get a little snack. I'll be right back. Yeah. All right, brother. No problem, man. I'm, I'm I'm gonna call this fight and stay in practice. So, uh, you come yeah. right back, and I, you come it right back. I'll be right here, my brother. It looked like I'm sleepy. I better put glasses on. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You look, you look like a champ up there. You look like the champ that you are. I'll be right Keep back. It. I'm right I'm back. Close, I'm close enough to have you sitting there with me. 
ready? Uh, all right, I'll be back. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, Shania, gotta love it. Gotta love it, man. House of the Champs over here. Shania, I could just bust you in the head with something. And um, here we go. Here we go. We're enjoying Robinson. Robson. I keep calling him Robinson. Robinson Caruso. Robson Concesio against Jose Gardano. See, if I if I pay attention to my uh, yeah. ask, now I get these names right. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Tim's tearing the house apart. Look out. Look out, Shania. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'll be back. Oh. Now they're slugging it. They're in center ring. They're going toe to toe. Consenki was trying that one two combination. Godado doing some boxing coming inside. I, I think Godado should be a little more aggressive, land a little more points, get some respect off Consenki because he's getting tagged with those jabs. I want to see how they're scoring this fight. Godado is the southpaw. I just saw him shoot the left hand. No, he's a, he's a, he's going. He's switching around. He's he's back to back to uh, orthodox. Both of these guys in the center of the ring. Kosenko's moving a lot more combinations. Boom! Kosenko nails him with a jab. Overhand right. Kosenko reels him a little bit. Geraldo standing straight up, not moving his hands. Concesio is, is landing his jab, landing his straight right hand, avoiding the counter punches by Godaro. Concesio is uh, is pretty effective in this fight. Godaro move, moving forward now, trying to one two. Concesio spins out, moves around the end of the round. I'd like to see how the unofficial scorers got this fight, man. I think Concesio is doing pretty well, if you ask me, but uh, hey. I'm always wrong, so use your own judgment. Love this water too, man. I drink a lot of water. I buy it by the five gallon plastic tub full. Keep it ice cold. Try to drink at least uh at least a hundred ounces a day. Try to get a gallon in there, but I, I very seldom do. I'm missing the lighter right now. I got a propane torch. Getting ready for the, for the next round of this fight to start. Wait a minute. Enjoy this vanilla push. Waiting for the heavyweights to fight. Waiting for the heavyweight card to start, man. We're watching the undercard here. I like lighter weight fights, but tonight I'm in the mood for some heavyweights. Next week we're gonna have heavy. I mean, this is this is heavyweight central coming on here. Next week, four twenty, we got the uh, the Ryan Garcia, the Devin Haney fight, bro. I mean, this is um exactly what we want to see when we want to see it. And tonight, heavyweight boxing, we had to call it. Anybody who doesn't have the uh, who doesn't have the convenience of watching it on um, a streaming or you know, watching it on ESPN, we'll call the fight for you. I'll try to give you the play by play. I got my co-host, my my good friend. Two-time heavyweight champion, terrible Tim Witherspoon here. Let me check this out. Yes, I'm right here. No, so don't. He's right here. I'm, I'm, getting, I'm, going, I'm, I'm cooking some a real quick something to eat. No problem, my brother. No yeah, problem. Right on. I was, that was just a text from Razor Ruddick saying he enjoyed being here. And um, the pleasure was mine. And Tim is still hanging in here with me. And uh, thank you so much for, for gracing our show. Yeah, that was just a little, a little, a little text from Razor saying he had a good time over here. He enjoyed the show, and uh, I just texted him back. Well, you heard what I said. Once again, man, Concesio and Godado in a um, an eight round junior lightweight fight. Godado, I think, is the top ranked house fighter. Uh, Concesio, it looks like he's giving him a little bit of schooling here in my eyes, man. You never know how judges score these fights. Uh, sometimes they see things that I don't see. Does Tim like jazz? I don't know, man. Yeah, I, don't know. I like it. I never talk too much music with Tim. I know Tim. I know Tim. I know Tim probably likes that um that classic rap style that was going on. I like all kind of music. 
all kinds of music, man. So do I, man. So do I. I, I, I like everything. You know, jazz is my thing. But I, I listen to contemporary. I listen to country western. I listen to um, hard rock. I listen to everything, man. Everything. I'm not big on rap. I just don't have the, I don't have the skills to to listen to that. But um, every other every other gen genre, I have tons of recordings. What's by the matter with him? He don't like rap music. Let's go against him. Can't go against me, bro. I'll block you. No, I love you. I'll be right back. Hey, no, not a problem, man. Not a problem. I'm here for duration. I'm here for some excellent boxing, and uh, it's it, it's where I want to be. Chet says, I, I always like to know favorite musicians, favorite cars. My favorite, I don't even have a car anymore. I, my wife's got one. We got a, just a fucking uh, 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 PT loser cruiser, just a just a just a, a grocery getter, you know. I gave up on driving. I don't like it, man. It's too dangerous out there. Too, too much congestion. Too, too many, too much risk of accidents. And uh, I don't want to get hurt now. If I have to go anywhere, I'll, I'll Uber it. I'll, I, I can call. Uh, I can call my insurance company. Pays for trips back and forth to um, doctors' visits. And uh, if, if I'm going somewhere, let somebody else do the driving. That's the way I look at it. Although I still have my license, I'm still insured, and I still can drive. I do. I probably drive about once a week, but. I don't really like it. I'd rather just uh, I'd rather just uh, have the stuff delivered. I'm, I'm a big Amazon, and uh, I want to get the grocery store to start delivering my groceries. So I don't have to go there and pick them up. The pharmacy start delivering my prescriptions, my supplements. I mean, yeah. I mean, I got my boxing here, and if uh, one of these days I'm, I'm going to, I'll, I'll go see uh, I'll go see some more live boxing before I hang that up. I definitely want to see the. Uh, I want to see Razor Ruddick with his uh, with his comeback fights. There ain't no comeback. He never he never went anywhere. So he's uh, keeping that career going, and we want to catch those because uh, you know we OGs we got we got to hang together, and that's what we're doing here. We're, we're watching the. Uh, to me, it's kind of like this is uh this is the real appetizer to this uh, the two heavyweight fights because I think people that are tuning in here they're heavyweight addicts, much like myself and the champ, former two time champ. Of the heavyweights. Oh, now I see. Um, I see the uh, Godado is, is coming alive. Trying to, trying to rip some body punches. Trying to put some put some points on this card. Just for a big, big overhand right. But Concesio is hanging in there, man. A lot of toe to toe action. Very, very entertaining fight. Entertaining fight going on. Boom! Upstairs and downstairs by Concesio. Same same combination again. He's looking pretty good on this car on this in this fight. Moving his hands a lot, trying to confuse, kind of confuse um Godado. Boom, just landed a nice, nice hook on the outside, nice combination upstairs. Casacio is uh is, is scoring the points in this fight. Whether that's according to script, I don't know. Oh, I just missed a big right hand, big looping right. Still sucking that jab out there. The thing is about um about Dugato, he's just not uh Godado. He's just not doing anything to, to he's not scoring any points. He's getting just got whacked square in the face with that jab. Jab is pumping to the face. Concesio is using his experience, pumping that jab like a piston. Godado has no defense for that jab. He needs a guy like Tim Witherspoon in his corner, showing him how to move, showing him how to stay away from that jab, stay away from that right hand. Because right now, man, in his in his short career, he's really not uh, he's really not advancing at the hands of Robson Concesio, who I think was running here as a, a stepping stone, possibly a test, and he's not passing him with flying colors. Concesio trying that big right hand, just missing it. Doing a lot of feigning, doing doing a lot up, oh, trying to up, uppercut from the outside and the right hand over the top. Big scoring punches, hard hitting punches. Concesio is trying to get him into the corner. He's trying to corner. Got that though. Taking his time though. Very veteran moves. 
And like I said earlier, this is a fighter that's used to going 12 rounds. Say hi. Hi who? Say hi to Oh, big right hand. That right hand landed. That's the one that we wanted to see. All right, let me put the... Uh, I'll put Tim on, on mute here until he comes back. So, uh, although it doesn't really matter. I don't even know why I did that. We'll put it back on there. We'll listen, we'll listen to it back. There we go, man. All right, wait. That's the end of the round. Another video in my book. Bring him back, Shania. You on live. You can't do I'm on live. Yeah, but that's all right, man. There's a, there's only seven there's only seven thousand people listening to us. All right, I'll talk. Very to you. very small audience tonight. Okay, we're between rounds okay. here. And this, Have fun. This, um, this junior lightweight fight that's 130 pound fighters. Very very uh, interesting division right now. A lot of, a lot of hot fighters in that 130 pound division. Junior right. lightweight. Super featherweight, whatever you want to call it. Maya. All these fights, all these fights are important. Just believe it. Maybe because the um. Come here. Fighters fight so infrequently. Real quick. With these fights, uh, you're you're only as good as your last fight, and as long as you're winning, you're in contention for a title fight. There's so many titles out there, range titles, uh, silver, gold. I mean, you know, it's not hard to get one of those belts. As you can see, my. My, my my brother Kumbles has got that WBC heavyweight champ. That's the belt that Larry Holmes, Muhammad Ali, Joe Frazier. That was the belt. Still is. That's the same belt that uh, the Tyson Fury wears. It's the uh, it's the pinnacle of, of achievement for a heavyweight boxer. And um, there were only, there were only two of them around when that when Tim was fighting, and he had both of them. He wore both of them. But anyway, man. Right now, good Gildado taking on Concesio in an eight round junior late. I, I got a couple of more minutes. A couple of more minutes. Well, no, no, no problem, man. Okay. No problem. I'll, I'll be back. It's all right, brother. Love him. Love him. Oh, Gildado just got that counter, counter right hand over that jab of Concesio. Still in. Oh, Cassesio with a beautiful combination. Cassesio moving forward. Landing that right hand almost at will. Shooting a combination where Godado is just coming forward behind the he's got a, a high guard up, trying to land that trying to land that left hook, throwing a looping right hand. Is this Bruce Gas? Yeah, hey Shania, what's up? Hey. So what's going on in boxing? Hey, we're, we're in the middle of a of a, a junior lightweight fight going on right now. From uh, we're, we're we're in Texas, we're in Corpus Christi, Texas. We got action going on. We're waiting for the heavyweights to come on. This is a preliminary. Robinson, Ro Robinson Concesio against um, Ivan Godado. Oh, Interesting wow. fight. Concesio is uh is showing that experience uh, is kind of uh, taking its toll. It, it is uh, is showing out showing out over the uh, the young kid, the up and coming. Interesting fight. So what's up with you, sweetheart? What are you doing home on a Saturday night? Um, I'm just about to eat tacos, honestly. <laughs> tacos. Tacos. Yeah, tacos. I make these good tacos. Trust me. They're good. The champ doesn't eat tacos, though. No, he don't eat no meat. He don't eat meat. But honestly, I'm just trying to say who I, who I am right now. I'm Shania Witherspoon. I'm Tim Witherspoon's daughter. And in a few years, I hope that I will be the next, <laughs> the next you know, coming in line. You gonna box, Shania? Of course I am. If my dad did it, yeah, I'm gonna do it. Too. There, there we go. There we go, man. Right. Ladies, ladies boxing, women's boxing is, is very big today. It's, it mean, is and, really big. And, uh, and and who do you like? You like Clarissa Shields? You like Amanda Serrano? I think she's really Clar Clarissa Shields. 
about, how about Amanda Serrano? What do you think of Amanda? Mm, she all right, but I really like Car Clarissa. How about how about Alicia Bumgarner? I think she good, yeah. Mm -hmm. There's some there's some exciting women out there, and I, I hey we're gonna we're gonna keep track of it. We're gonna we're gonna watch you go through the amateurs. Yeah. We're gonna pay attention because you know you got that blood in you. You 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 were born to box, sister. You know that. You got everything. Yep. You got everything. You well, I'm gonna go now because I oh, got. No, don't go yet. Yes, I am. I gotta Wait, go. Wait about five more minutes. Go I gotta go. Because you don't. Five minutes. <laughs> for five minutes, five more minutes. Hey, 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 uh, hey, Joe's out there. I sent him a cash app today, $25 cash app. And uh, we had a, a trivia contest last night on my show. And mm. Joe won the contest. And Joe told me to give the 25 to Tim for a pizza. And I want Tim to know that that's Joe. Joe's in the chat right now. No, and, uh, no, my dad said thank you. And then I went over to go get him. Tell him I'm cooking. I'm going to thank him. He said he cooking. He's cooking right now, baby. And uh, yeah, it's again, 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 it's it. heavyweight boxing, heavyweight boxing will be cooking. Look, Consensual, they're showing, they're showing that right hand in slow motion. Boom. Right on the, she looked at between the neck and the jaw. She's not as cool thing. Devastating, devastating punches going on here, man. Both of these guys are putting on a good show, but Consensio is definitely, uh, is definitely showing out inside Dono's trying to throw those short uppercuts. But Consencio has got that experience, man. He pushes them off, nails them with a combination. Good stuff going on here. You watching this fight, sweetheart? I'm not saying right. now you 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 got to get this in on your phone. What does it keep saying? You're getting a virus when you go on this site? Yeah, on my dad's phone, it says it's like a virus keep popping up, and it won't let me uh, get the fight. I think it's yeah, only yeah. on laptops. It works. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes the phones are, are, are don't 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 uh, get the reception too well. I know what you mean. Right? Yeah, that's why that's why I got the, that's why I got the laptops going on over here. My right. phone. I just I, I just keep my Obama phone there for important calls. I don't I, I don't watch too much too much uh, sports on there or anything else. I use it. I go out in the morning. I put music on. Put the earbuds in. I love that. Well, here we go, man. Consencio is uh, we're in the uh, the seventh of, of eight rounds. Oh, he just knocked him down. Consencio just put just put Guardado down with a body shot. I think that was that left hook to the liver. He I don't know if he's going to get up. Yeah, he's getting up. He gets up at the count of eight. Shakes his head. He wants to continue. I mean, like I said earlier, man. Robson Consencio, the the, uh, the um, experience is just too much. He's going forward. He's beating this kid up now. Got him against the ropes. Just nailed him with a double hook to the body and the head. Working downstairs. I think the ref's going to step in there. Dropped him again. Ref just stopped the fight. TKO. Robinson Concesio over Jose Godado. I mean, bro, we just saw some great fights. Some great fights, my sister. And it's a it's a pleasure having you on here watching them with me. Joe says, great, great kid to chip off the old block. <laughs> then Chet says, "I wonder what she, I wonder what he's cooking. He wants to know what Tim is cooking. Um, vegetables and garlic. Vegetables and garlic, I think it is. Garlic. One. Hey, man, garlic is so good for you. You eat a lot of garlic. Uh, what I heard about garlic a few years ago is that it messes with your eyesight. Yeah, right. That's what I heard. Yeah, get that. Yeah, that's what I heard. That it messes yeah. with your eyesight. Yeah, right." Nah, you know, I eat a lot of eggs. Eggs have lutein in there. Lutein is oh, good for you. Go. So, um, I, I I heard nothing but good things about garlic. I never heard it was bad for your eyesight. Oh, yeah. I, you hear everything on the internet. You got to do your research. You got to check it out. Yeah, you got to do you your gotta, research. Yeah, you got you to go to sites like the Mayo Clinic. And, you know, no, really, no, on the internet, you can, you, you can go there. You can get good information. You got to watch out for sites like WebMD. You know, What's but the egg. Oh, uh, the, uh, the the Mayo Clinic, M A Y O. There's there, there's several mayo, of them. Like mayo as a mayonnaise. Yeah, yeah like like mayonnaise. Oh. Mayo Clinic. That's where Muhammad Ali went to get to get tested before he had his fight with Larry Holmes. He had oh, wow. He went for a, a bunch of um of uh, tests, to make sure the make sure he was he was in, in good enough condition. But yeah, well, that's that's uh, known throughout the world. But um, 
But yeah, man, the old veteran came through on this one. That was a, that was a good fight, and uh, that's why you, you can't count those OGs out. They always got another fight in them, especially this guy didn't have to fight for 10 rounds or 12 rounds. He let it all hang out, and it was too much. Um, so Gerardo. that's the, the, big, the big fights not coming on. Oh, the big fights! Yeah, there, there were two. There were two heavyweight fights coming on next. Oh, okay. Yeah, man. Who is? Who is it? Who are? Who are they? <laughs> they are. the uh, The next fight is going to be Effie Ajagba. You know, big baby. You know, mm. from, he's from Nigeria. They call him Effie Ajagba, and he's fighting this Italian guy called Guido Vianello. He just got beat by a guy that I that I talked to, Johnny Rice, a heavyweight. That's going to mm. be the next. That's the next fight, and then we're going to see Jared Big Baby Anderson, and he's taking on this other guy who was a former cruiserweight champion named Riyad Murray. So it's going to be a, it's a, it's a fun night. Hey, it's Saturday night. I love boxing. I couldn't be any more honored. I had I had Razor Ruddick on here. I got Terrible Tim on here, and I got I got the second generation, the third generation. Shania with a spoon herself, man. Future nah, woman. That's champion. my nephew. Ooh. My nephew is a third generation. He's gonna be good. Tim with a spoon the third. Oh, right. He's gonna be good. I'm not the third generation. I don't consider myself as a third <laughs> generation. I consider him as a third generation. Because it's three of them. Tim with a spoon, Tim with a spoon Jr., and Tim with a spoon the third. All right. I consider him. I don't want to take his name because that's him. And that's what he represents. So that's his name. Third generation. That's what he's going to be. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. You're good. I don't know. A thousand pardons. Bad habit that I have. Anyway, you're getting. Right now they're gonna they're gonna be talking up the heavyweight fights. They're gonna be starting very soon. I can't wait for this to, to go down. I mean, really, I love heavyweight boxing. You don't know how much I love heavyweight boxing, my child. I watch your dad in all his fights. I watch Larry Holmes. I watch Mike Tyson. I just I just love heavyweight boxing, man. And and right now it's happening. I'm fortunate enough to be able to get these fights over here on the internet. And um I got about 60 people in here listening to me call the fight. It's a beautiful thing. It's a great place to be. Thank God for YouTube and the internet and all my friends out there joining me. So um, all I can, I can't say anything else. That's about it. That's about it. Let's get the action going. You're the greatest of all times. Dad. What? My dad just said I'm the greatest of all time. <laughs> He just said I was the greatest of all time. Yeah, oh, come on, man. He may he probably right. But hey, I, I did a I did a boxing I did a boxing trivia last night. I, I, I got I found this I found this new this new um this new website and they and they, they, they have a, a program where you can do trivia where people you can put like four answers in there, people can guess the answer, or if they know the answer, even better. And I did 50 questions. Mm -hmm. And uh, and Joe, who's out there now, Joe won. Joe won the whole thing. I think he got like forty questions right out of fifty. Wow! But and, and they weren't easy. I think I used your dad in a couple of those couple of those questions. I used some of his achievements. But like you, I, I did questions like, um, you know, who was the movie somebody up there likes me about? And then you know, it was Rocky Graziano, Rocky Marciano, Joe um, Joe Lewis, or or Tim Witherspoon, and you press the answer, and it computes the scores, and it's so cool. At the end of it, it you know, you, it, it asks you the questions, and it computes the scores. So all I got to do is really sit here and, and read stuff. Right. But it's cool, man. At the end, we had a, we had a good hour and a half show. I got a bunch of views, and um, and it was cool, man. People loved it. I, I'm gonna try to do it every Friday night. I just gotta put just gonna put together them questions. And that's what all this. All these years of watching boxing does for me. Right. Well, he coming on soon. He's just cooking his carrots and stuff. <laughs> That's not right, man. We're just waiting for the fights to start over here, man. Pleasure to have pleasure to have the lovely Shania Witherspoon on here. The first time on the Bruce Gas Boxing Jazz and More. She's been in the background a few times, 
She's always a, a an executive, a, a technical producer for her dad, because she's the one who knows how to handle the computers over in the house. And um, this is the first time she's graced us with her beauty and her presence online here, man. And I'm I'm honored. And I tell you, you you, you look like your brother. I, I I do a show with your brother, Tim Junior, a lot, and and you got that that you, you can tell you're you're a little fool. I right look here. like Tim. You, you look like your dad. You look like Tim. Yeah, I've seen your mom's picture before. She, your mom's beautiful. We all look like the Witherspoons. Oh, uh, you're not a Witherspoon. You're in London. <laughs> I'm almost finished. He said he almost finished. Yeah, she, she she's a great kid. I had breakfast with her out in Pennsylvania one morning. I, I met her out there at the Legend Show. She sang the Star Spangled Banner. Yes, I Red did. Show. And it was beautiful. There was a there was an amateur con an amateur uh, show there. Plus they had a meeting of the legends, some of the greatest fighters in the world, the living fighters were out there. And the place was the place was sold out. There had to be three thousand people in there. And Shania got up and she sang the national anthem, man. And I'll tell you, there was not a there was not a, a dry eye in the house when she let when she hit that the home of the brave. She she did not miss a note in there, man. And uh, you know, you had to see it. I wish my camera was working. I had my old Obama camera and I couldn't get it on there, but that was definitely uh, definitely a beautiful thing. And I'm sure you're gonna see it again. Maybe at her dad's her dad's exhibition with um with Razor Runner. Maybe she'll be able to sing yes. the uh, thing of banner at that, man. I hope that comes through. And that will be the greatest of all times. That will be. Tell us, tell us, tell us about that. Go ahead. Tell us about. Tell us yeah, about your I hope, I hope it comes through to where they can't fight and get a little, you know, get a little of that. But I hope that comes way. through because that will that will make history. Oh my god, that will make history. Did you ever see Razor? Did you ever see Razor Reddick fight before? Did you ever see Razor Reddick? I think maybe one time, just one time. That you met him? Like a glimpse. Okay, yeah, because he, I mean, he's a, he's a tough guy. I'll tell you, I wouldn't want to see him and your dad in, in, a, in a fight in their prime when they were both mad. That would be a, be oh, a hard fight. Oh, yeah, that would be a hard fight. And damn, the consequences could be devastating in that fight. Your dad with his overhand right. And his great defense and laser running with that big crazy left hand to smash. He, he calls it the smash. It's like somebody with a snow shovel just picking up the shovel and boom, big 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 load of of that of that fist of his. And he I, I saw him paralyze people with that with that right hand in the ring, with that left that left smash in the ring. So uh, man, that, that that would be a great fight. We hope it comes to fruition and uh. Hey, if it does, you can say you heard it over here on Bruce Gass's show first, right? She got to watch Tyson and Ruddick. Oh yeah, that you can watch those on YouTube. You can watch Razor Ruddick in action when he was in it when he was um thirty years old and um the devastating, devastating stuff. I heard but he was a hard hitter. Uh, the hardest, the hardest man. Let me see if I can find. I, I, I forget. I have, the, I have the power to do this. It says, what does Tim think about Tyson fight, fighting again? What, what, uh, Tyson fighting again? Yeah, what do you think, think about he, him fighting again? Really that much, that much uh, uh, skillful guys out there. He, I think he'll really do good. I think he'll really do good because there's just not many good teachers out there. No, no defense. If Tyson is in good shape. He'll knock anybody out that he fights. Yep. You heard what he said? I'm almost finished. What? I'm, I'm going to bring this up. Just just before the fight starts, I want to I wanna share this. Said all that for nothing. No, you heard what you said. Uh, Check this out. This is, this is Razor Ruddick against Michael Dokes. Watch, watch this left hand. Dokes is a former champ, tough guy. Yeah. But they're introducing Guido Vanelli here. I'm just, I'm going to just show this for just another second. We're going to see the, the devastating yeah. right, the, left, the devastating left hook by. Uh, yeah. uh, Let's 
Got some hard hitters out here. You chump dog making some hard hitters. <laughs> Yeah, Razor had a tremendous, a tremendous hybrid left hook, left uppercut. And anyway, the net, the, the fight is starting, so I want to. It's they're introducing Effie Ajamba, twenty-nine years old, six foot six, two hundred and forty-one pounds. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull this off the, uh, off the screen. Oh, right, my dad's gonna what? come in now, so I'm, I'm leaving. Bye, Bye everybody. Hey, sweetheart, I love you. I'll see you later on. Love you too. Thank you. Look forward you. to your channel. Look forward to my channel. Absolutely, absolutely. Peace and love. Okay, wait a minute. All right, man. See, I, I had to take that off because this fight is starting. Lawrence Cole, the referee. And here we go, man. We're uh, we're, we're we're getting ready. To, the, the the bell's getting ready to ring for this heavyweight contest. We've got. That was good. Guido Vianelli and Effie Ajagba. This is going to be a great fight. We were I can't say that. We were anyway, saying that. Here. Where? In the microwave. That anyway, was going to be my food. Oh, no. Go ahead. There goes. They're, the they're, they're in center ring. They're in center ring. Guido Vianelli is, is coming on with a left, right. A jog was standing straight up, shooting that jab. Both of these guys are in center ring, man. The fight's only been going on for less than um, less than 30 seconds. Vanelli just had a combination upstairs. A jogger ducked in, inside. A How do he look? How do he look? They both look in really good shape. Okay. Both of these guys, they look tight. They, I don't see any flab on either one of them. They both look in fantastic shape. Vanelli is coming up and knocked out by the hands of Jonathan Rice, Johnny Rice. So he mm. definitely wants to. He wants to show out in this one. And this I, can still, I, I, I didn't want. I didn't want to do any bombs when Shania was here. And I, I I slipped one time, so uh. It's okay. It's okay. This is the turning point. It seems like for both of the, both of these boxers, whoever win is going to accelerate to the next step. Yep, so, I want. A lot I want of to see what's going on. We want to see a job, but, um accelerate a little more. But he got he got uh, sidetracked by when he lost to um to uh the Cuban. Uh, yeah. But he's been on a winning streak since then. This is his toughest opponent. But uh, Vianello's Vianello's coming off a, a knockout loss. He's got a lot to prove. He wants to stay in the game. He's coming off that the loss to Sanchez. Yeah. The smash. The drunk Irishman, man. He's up late. Yeah. late early in the morning in, in Ireland to see these fights. Oh, I knew he was in there. Can you give me some ice? Give me some ice. All right. I'm sorry, everybody. No, hey, 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 life goes on. Well, hey, this is there's no formal here. We speak as we want to speak, and uh damn, i been I'm honored to have you cats on here with me. Yeah, we're, we're keeping everybody no give me a cup. Me a cup. Did you Vianello, use it? Vianello, I give me that jab. A jab we're coming inside. Both of these guys look in very, very good shape. They're cool. They're, they're both shooting jabs out. I think the first guy that gets hit with a solid punch might go down because they do look a little tight. I'm sorry, Bruce. Bro, no. no. Wait, wait, wait. Put some more in there. I did. It's a lot. Yo, oh, I screwed you. There oh, goes Vianello coming forward. The jogger holds on. Vianello coming forward with a combination. You're going to pick that. You Don't put it in there. <laughs> She's gonna drop some ice on the floor. Yo, where my other one at? Oh, big right hand, big right hand by Vianella. Okay. okay. A jogger, a jogger uh, nails him with a counter punch. Vianella holds on. The end of the first round. Pretty even round, man. I, I would give it to Vianello. Okay. I give him the first round. I close can't wait round. To see, I can't wait to see the fight, regardless, regardless of what the results are. You see how good these guys are. Well, we're between rounds, man. We got we got the uh, first fight of the uh, of of the double heavyweight double heavyweight uh, extravaganza over here on a Saturday night, and and all these guys that fighting at oh that, hey that looks pretty good, man. You got some uh, vegetables uh, and some yeah, it's all vegetables, egg whites, um, 
all the vegetable onions and red onions, red onions, garlic, and a whole bunch of other vitamins and broccoli and everything mixed in it is a beautiful meal. Everybody, you just gotta you, you can eat a lot of it too. Oh, where you go, bro? <laughs> yeah, you can eat a lot of it. You make it to your taste. I don't like. I said I haven't eaten beef or pork for fifty years, and I haven't eaten chicken or fish for like five or six. So this is what I'm doing. You can really enjoy yourself. By you want to look, look like Kevin Tim at sixty six? Eat like that. Eat clean. Eat healthy. The oh, number it's one okay thing now. to do in my life. Everything is good. Here, here, go, here comes the heavyweights back at center ring. Okay. You're gonna show some highlights. Yep, the uh, Vianello got a nice overhand right in the first round. I think he won that first round. Okay. But here we go. We're in the second round. Second round is underway. Both of them in the center ring. Referee Lawrence Cole splitting the fighters apart. Boom. Vianello, Vianello with a nice right hand shooting that jab out there. Nice combination. Much much more uh, much more active fighter so far in the fight. The jogger looks like he's got to get his rhythm. He's got to move. He's got to... Uh, He's got to uh, get get into his rhythm. Well, but you're going to see the same mistakes if you made he made before. And I'm not putting nothing against him. I'm just saying, unless his trainer has enough intelligence to correct certain things, I will watch the video, see where his weaknesses is, and then strengthen them. So so when you fight, you know that you like you're less likely to get hit in that area. So so that's what you got to do. Watch the video. Watch where the weaknesses. Watch where the strengths is, strengths are, and and this this that's how you uh, go forward with it. So let's see if the trainers or the people that sh the, the people that's showing them, um, you know, are really doing some really good work with them. Well, a jogger absolutely has to has to increase his jab. Okay, he's, he's, he's only throwing them one at a time, very infrequently. Uh, Vianella was throwing. It's really much not more. bad unless you can. That's his defense is right. Like you can jab. You don't have to keep doing this. No, he's get, he's getting nailed. He's getting nailed with with right okay. hands, not hooks. I think okay. he's a little. Too, I think he's a little too tight right now. What you mean? Uh, he he just he, he's he's just not not uh he's not moving around. He's uh he he's, he's standing straight up. He's getting nailed with the oh he's just he's not, with he's, not, he's not he's not learning how to counter back. On his defense. No, he's definitely not countering back. Okay, okay. So he's not put. He's putting his hands up, though, right? Putting his keeping his hands up. Just landed a nice uppercut, left hook. But is it? But are, 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 are his hands or his arms tight against his body? Or uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. His arms are tight against his body. Okay, definitely. Okay. Where okay. Vianello's arms? Vianello's keeping his a little looser, but he's throwing a lot more punches. Oh, a jogger just to a, to, to a nice right hand. Just missing another right hand over his head. He's okay. he's he's starting to, starting to move his hands a little bit more. But Giannello got a nice right hand. He got Giannello's got him in trouble. Giannello, oh man, he's roughing him up. He's pushing him against the ropes. Referee separates him apart. Lands another right hand. He's got a jogger in trouble. The bell just rang. Woo! The jogger doesn't know where he is, man. A jogger got his bell rung at the end of that wow. round. Wow. Yeah, he he's walked back to the wrong corner. We got, we got. He all he needs is a little defense. That's all. Him and the well, other I'll guy. Tell you, man, a job was getting getting nailed here. He just got nailed by two big right hands. Hmm. He's got uh, he's got the um he's got uh, Stitch Duran in his corner. Let's see who his trainer is. He definitely needs he needs to uh get back in this fight because he got nailed at the end of the fight. The ref the ropes kept him from going down. Hmm. Very very uh very uh. Uh, I big gotta round. see him. I, I don't gotta see him. I know what the deal is. I wish you could be watching this fight, champ. We're gonna we're gonna figure something out. We're gonna get a laptop to yeah, you. So you can, real, no, I got a laptop. It's just no. Like, we got we got two of them so we can get you on the show and and be watching. Yeah, the laptop fight. Oh, oh, yeah, they're, showing, they're showing a slow motion, and he nailed him with a big right hand, almost yeah. knocked him off his feet, sent him back into the ropes. The ropes held him up. Probably should have been an eight count. So I think the ropes yeah. kept him from going down. But, oh, uh, they got he's walking back to his corner and he's not he's walking back to the wrong corner so you know how that is like you said it don't hurt but you don't know where you are this is where you need experience. Yeah, Vianello is, is is opening up on him right now man the round is starting and Vianello knows he's got his opportunity well, he got confidence. he's got confidence he's got big confidence he's trying to he's trying to set that right hand up again 
But I, a jog was coming forward now. A jog was landing a couple of punches, throwing a couple of shots, clearing his head out a little bit. The, oh, a jog, yeah, a jog was on the offense now, but uh, I, I think he's going to walk into another right hand because Vianello is just uh, exchanging with him. And, that's, and last time he did that, a jog would get nailed. Vianello just tried a one-two. A jog was standing straight up now. I'm trying to think it might be, it's definitely got to be defense. Mm. Now, what is that? They're, they're both hugging and centering right now. Right here. Don't put a lot on it. Don't put it on my food because I bust you in the head with some. Oh. <laughs> she, yeah, she's trying to put some stuff on my food just to taste it. Oh, Vianello just nailed him. A jog got a nice counter punch in there. And these are heavyweights, man. We can't forget. Yeah, no, defense. no No defense from either fighter at all, bro. It's all. I ain't all even got to have the video. I know. All offense. A John was got a now. John would just land a couple of a couple of shots. Vianello is still standing tall. A John was trying to get him into the corner. Vianello comes out with a combination. This is Rock'em Sock'em robots over here. Woo. Oh, they're both slugging in the center ring right now. They should be. They both should learn. How to control yourself and protect yourself with defense and make the jab work. Well, and, and this right now be working, right this should be working all the time, and everything else will come in. Oh, Leonardo just got a nice right hand in there. I think he's got. I think he's got a jog in some trouble. No the jog is moving straight forward. Leonardo's trying to time him. Leonardo's got him in a headlock. A jog has got Leonardo in a headlock. They have. Um, now they're starting. See, Vianello is trying to land that one, two, that jab, two jabs, and throw that right hand on top of it. Follow up with that right hand. Because every time he nails him with that right hand, he's hurting him. The jab was standing straight up, shooting the jab out. Now, who's the, who's the, who, who are they trainers? Who are the, you know, the bottom line mean, is that I you want to see success. Oh, a jab with overhand right. If you want to see success, you got to go back in history. A jog was starting to land that jab now. Yep, they definitely do, man. Uh, they, they, both of these guys would 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 uh, do incredibly better with some defense. There, no defense going on. And they got to keep using that jab. That's the key to open up the door. You push a try to work hard when you're in training. Get that jab off. Make sure your defense is tight. Make sure you know how to block jabs. That's the beginning of the fight. Jabs, blocking jabs, slipping. Unless somebody just come in trying to bully you. You know, so that's mainly you got to learn those specific things first. There's some good stuff on your channel, man. I'm telling you. They got to learn slipping, blocking punches, and that will make them more comfortable. There's a lot of guys in those corners don't know about that. I do. Yes, sir. You can go ahead in there and fight like Joe Frazier all crazy, but long as you know the block and deliver, that's an asset to you. Yep. Okay, man. Once again, here we are, man. The start of the start of round four. Ten round heavyweight fight. Vianello is throwing a lot more punches. He's, he's landed at a 45% rate. Hmm. A jog was only landing at a 21% rate. A jog was starting to move forward now, starting to move behind a one-two. Nice uppercut by a How's jog. How's his defense? How's his defense? How's his defense when he's moving forward? He's keeping his hands up. Okay, when he move forward? And he's uh, he's bringing that jab back in, in, in plenty of time. Okay. You got to keep but that defense. But, but, but he's, catching, he's catching that right hand, though. Vianello got his defense tight. Got to come back. They should have practiced watching their opponent strengths and block it. So if his right hand getting them and training camp, he makes sure to keep his right hand up there. Catch that. That's what wins fights. Okay, so oh. hand, the right hand is really help is helping the guy. Uh, yeah, they're they're both doing some some exchanging in the center okay. ring. Both shooting jabs at each other. Vianello just landed a nice a nice jab. A jog was moving forward. 
Ajaba tried to throw right hand. Mr. Ajaba was throwing that one two combination. Mm. Both of these guys are head hunting, no body shots at all. Mm. All, 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 um, all head hunting, uppercuts, hooks, straight rights, but uh, but no, no body shots thrown at all. Mm. And I, I'm seeing opportunity over here, right? You know, knows he knows he can hurt him, and he's he's uh. He's trying to trying to land that same right hand that he landed in, I think, in the first round. Good good combination by a jogger on the ropes. Okay. He okay. comes forward. They're doing a lot of hugging right now. I'm seeing zero defense in this fight, though, Tim. That's what they ever lack. This one and a little bit of the end of the last one. The end and of the last one and the beginning of this one. Cause when I was training, I they 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 practiced defense. Joe Frazier, um, Ali had a defense, even though he didn't keep his defense tight. He, his defense was out here missing punches. I wouldn't really want to do that. I want to be more secure by keeping my hands in close. But Ali missed punches that hair. Oh, beautiful uppercut! A jogger almost took his head off with an uppercut. Okay, he got hit. Oh, he almost took his head off. Vietnam's got a good chin. Okay, all right. But but he's he's on his back foot now. Now he comes forward with a nice combination. Boom! A jog was he that uppercut. I think a, a jog was getting is starting to loosen up now. Starting to really uh really get into his rhythm. How tall are they? Good fight. Good fight. How tall are they? Oh man, I don't I don't know off the top of my head, man. But I, okay. I guarantee you. That Six two, six three. Wow. I could probably tell if I let me let me see if I go back into my into my records here if I can find out the uh the size of uh of Athea Jagba. Easy enough to do, man. We're in the computer age, right? Yep. <laughs> it was getting ready to start the fifth round. Athea Jagba is six foot six, two hundred and um he's a heavyweight, so I think he's doesn't have his weight in here, but he's. Oh yeah, he's a heavyweight, but he's a uh, two hundred. He's six foot six, so he's big. Okay. He's got to be. He's got to be two fifty minimum. Okay. And and his opponent, Guido Vianello. He's another. He's another big boy too. Heavyweights aren't small today. They're uh, they're a little bit But here they go, man. They're both in. The, they're both in center ring. Exchanging big bombs. Okay. Vianello, Vianello, six foot nine. Holy shit. What? Six foot nine. Okay. okay. I love to fight them that tall. I love to fight them. That's what it says. I'm gonna I'm gonna look again because that six foot nine inches. Yes, he is huge. But man, he does not look. He doesn't look that big, does he? He doesn't look. Oh, I'm sorry, you can't see the damn thing. He doesn't look that big. But yeah, six foot nine <laughs> guys look for that. That's crazy. That's like um, that's Tyson Fury size, mm -hmm. maybe even bigger. Man, he does not look six nine. How heavy is he? Uh, it doesn't. I, I I don't know, man. Just, they just got it listed as heavyweight. Uh, is he skinny? No, is he skinny? He's in shape. He's definitely um. He, okay. he doesn't have any fat on him. He's still bouncing on his toes. Okay. Bouncing on his toes. Moving forward, though, and, a jog is moving way. forward behind the jab. Oh, both land nice shots in the center ring. A jog with a nice combination. A jog overhand right. They're hugging on the inside right now. Now that dude is six foot nine. That's like unbelievable. Mm. Quattro, we will see a knockout. I don't know, man. I don't know. Good, uh, good combination by a jogba against the ropes. Uh, uppercut is very, both of these guys are landing that uppercut. Very, very, uh, it, it may be very uh, important as this fight goes on. 
somebody gets some leverage and lands a big one. Turn it for like five seconds to the screen so I can see. Oh, you got a big thing or something? What do you, what, um. So you don't have a phone? No. Okay, it's cool. No, I don't, no, I don't, I don't have, I don't have it on my phone. I have, I don't, I don't even know if I could get it on my phone. No, I, I have a lap, I have two laptops. It's okay. I thought you had a big screen on the wall. Oh, I, I got that. I got that too. It's okay. Yeah, see, I could. No, no, see that. I got that in the wall, but my screen on the wall is me Don't and worry. you. Don't worry. Don't <laughs> worry. You're talking to Bruce Gash. You don't worry about nothing. We're going to get it together, right? Oh, yeah, for sure, man, for sure. That's, but that's the end of the end of the round. And uh, that, was, that was a fairly close round. Jogma might have landed a few few more punches in that round, but uh, hey, we'll we'll see. But uh, heavyweight action they usually they usually end before the tenth uh, the tenth round, so we'll see if it's going to be a knockout. Let me check out yeah, the. Uh, what round is it? I think that was the the sixth round, the fifth or the sixth yeah. round. Let's check out the um, the knockout percentage on these guys. Yeah, vianello has got a twelve and one record, and he's got. Um, Ten knockouts in his 12, 12 oh, okay. wins. He's definitely, he's definitely a knockout puncher. Well, and, um, and what's his name, man? A Jogba. A Jogba knocks out almost everybody too. He was considered the real deal when he first started his career. I remember. Uh, is who are you fighting? Really, is who are you fighting? You know, they line everybody up to get knockouts when you first start. They be big and strong. I'm almost sure they're gonna get somebody you could beat your first ten fights. Um, then when you venture into somebody more tougher, it's harder to make a decision. Like say, like, well, we're gonna to have to probably get a trainer, or we're gonna to have to probably try to figure something out before we go into these tougher fights. And mostly, a lot of other guys just go right into it because they're confident about the trainer and everything. And um, I'm belching, <laughs> so. Yeah, that's what happens. So first 10 or 12 fights, you get you guys that you know you could beat. They probably down the line get you near the end. They get you somebody harder. They know you will beat them. And, but then after that, it's risky. After like 12, 13 fights, you wouldn't have to fight the guy that has, you know, give you more competition. And the more you move up the ladder as a up-and-coming young star, you got to fight the tough guy when you get down the line. But in the beginning, they just build it up. And the, and the thing is, man, the fighters today they fight so infrequently. When you when you started fighting, you guys were fighting. Oh, we every, fought every, every month. month, every month, twelve times a year. The first couple of years. Yeah. But these guys today, they don't fight that often. They they're so afraid of getting that L. They you know they, they they're holding off. They want to get a title. They want to get a big fight. It's, it's crazy, man. Nobody That's wants to pay the first time dues I heard of that. That's that's something that they're scared to get the help, the L, the loss. Yeah, yeah. They they, wow. they don't they don't pay their dues. You got you got that your first L against Larry Holmes that 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 boosted you on a pedestal, man. Yes, it Anybody, did. It, it did for sure. Oh, oh, they did. They, they're exchanging exchanging in the center ring right now. What's going we're on? In, we're in the sixth round. Okay. Popping jabs off at each other, man. Uh, Jaguar just got him with a nice right hand to the head. Both who of these guys. Are, who do you think is winning the fight? Um, it's a close fight. I, I'd give it yeah. to um to Vianello right now. Oh, Vianello just got a nice right hand in there. Jaguar holds on. I want to give it to Vianello, but uh, a jog. I mean, it's only the sixth round, so I'm gonna say four to two, four rounds to two so far. Okay. Once, Once again, the, yeah. hopefully there's a stop. There might be a stoppage. Ah, uh, uh, it. You never know. You never know with heavyweights. Let's see. Both of these guys, right? Both, both, yeah, both have high knockout percentages, man. Okay. Like I said, um, Vanelli's knocked out ten of ten or twelve in the jogger. I think he's knocked out um, fourteen of nineteen. Okay, fourteen of twenty, rather. You know, lots of the time they build your boxer up, make sure those opponents are winners. When you, that's the truth. You, you know, with me, with me, it was kind of like that in the first couple of fights, but after that, I fought Evers guys in, on my level, third and fourth fight. They were like compatible, um, you know, and and then I fought uh, this guy I knocked them out. I knocked them out after ten fights. I knocked them out and everything. So they we took chances at early stages because I had a good trainer. 
teaching me def defense and everything. So that's why we fought Larry Holmes at only 13, 14 fights because our tr my trainer was good. He was smart. My manager, they all was on the same team. And the force was really strong. Like, we was ready to go. I doubted yeah. it, though. I said, hey, Slim. And plus, and plus, and plus like, Slim, Slim Jim Robinson, he had seen fighters in the past. So yeah. he knew how I knew how you were going to compare at the stage, at your stage of your development. You were as good as some of the veterans he saw from the past. So he knew you could go in I, there with a guy like Lavin. I didn't have the confidence. I didn't have, and he said, you're going to whip his butt? I said, okay. Because I trusted his training. And we did really good. Sure did, champ. We're still talking about that fight to this day. You need a good teacher or, or somebody that you could believe in to get to motivate you in that corner, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of a lot of trainers out there that really haven't achieved anything. And because of the boxer and their friendship, they made it big. And then a lot of youngsters will get the wrong idea because they don't know that because of the boxer won, the trainer's going to win. But he, not, not, he might not be good enough to take you to the title. And that's what's going on. There's a lot of guys that didn't even – well, look. And I love Sugar Hill. Tyson Fury is a good example. He brought in Sugar Hill, who never fought. Uh, maybe he did that because he loved his dad. Or, oh. You know, whatever. And he brought Sugar Hill in. And Sugar Hill, and there was people trying to get Sugar Hill to train him. And Sugar Hill didn't really, don't really know um, how to really make take you to the top. Tyson Fury helped boost it. So, And I love Sugar Hill. But the bottom line is he never had a fight, and he really wasn't involved with a lot of boxing. But what did Tyson Fury do? They got other people thinking that he could carry them to the top um, by having them in this corner because I think he had a good friendship with them. So, so Sugar Hill was a good friend. He let him be in the corner, but he really never uh, showed Tyson anything, I think, and I'm almost positive, and I wasn't around. So... And Sugar Hill's a good guy. I love the dude. But that's really through that era. That's really what happened with that situation. I can analyze that. Tyson did his own. But I saw Tyson in the corner listening to him like, I don't know, was that an act or was that real? He going to listen to somebody that never fought before. And he was shaking his head. He was like, he's doing like that. So I don't know what that was. I don't know what that was. These, these these guys are shaking each other up in the in the ring over here, man. Okay. But, you know, um, Vianello's getting real, real slow. I think he's getting tired. His punches are getting sloppier. A jog has still got some, still got a little more steam in him. He's still got a little a little fresher. I think that's going to pay a big dividend, man. Where we got four more rounds to go. Okay. Three, three rounds, three rounds in a minute. And, um, yep, it really counts when they get the fight uh, goes mm -hmm. on and on. A jogger looks like he's been saving a little bit for the end here, for the last few rounds. Okay, saving. Trying to drop that overhand right. That's that's what he has to do because uh, Vianello is just throwing the, his punches, but they've gotten a lot sloppier. Okay, and, and, and he's fatigue. a lot more, he's a lot more wide open right now for the but counter. That's fatigue. That's fatigue. Yep. Not in a high state, but it's it's kind of like a form of fatigue. Uh, you know, he's limiting his punches and everything. Guaranteed, man. A jogger just pumped him with about four jabs, got him, caught, caught him with the right hand coming in. I think a jogger may uh, make so, so a jogger was in better shape, huh? Uh, it, it looks like it. Okay, Vianello, Vianello just got his second win. He's coming back, but he looks a lot sloppier. You can see he's, he, he's, his, his hands on up, his hands are down by his side. That's the end of the round, man. I, I think a jog was starting to come on last okay. three rounds. A jog was got to got to do something, man. He, he's definitely he got, his confidence. He he got a lot of his confidence back, right? He needs these last three rounds. Maybe okay. even a knockout. We love seeing knockouts in heavyweights. <laughs> this yep. is it's like it's like when Don King used to put those cards on, you know, on a Friday night on HBO. And he, and he just had some some great heavy match had some great heavyweight matchups. Yep. That's that was good old days. That was the good old days. That's what they're doing today. Hey, Scott Gonzalez, salute my brother. Welcome to we have a, we had a great interview with Razor Ruddick and Tim Witherspoon earlier. Me and Tim were just hanging out, catching these fights, man. Heavyweight card coming on here and enjoying a Saturday night. 
How many yeah. minutes we got before the big fight? Come on. Oh well, this fight's this fight's got to get over first. I know. As soon as this one gets over, then the big one comes on, my man. And here we go, man. I don't know what's going to happen in this fight either. This could be. I want to say the other fight's going to be coming on in about. I, I want to say within ten minutes. Um, you either know, way. To, me, to me, is around as, as you know who's with them, who's teaching them. That's who's going to win this fight. The one that's got somebody that's positive, talking to them properly. Nowadays, you don't have the good guys around, and you don't get the promoter don't realize it and won't hire somebody and won't do research. Because if he did, if the promoter did research, he would see there's guys out there with skills and talent that's better than the guys that's in these guys' corner. So this is what the problem is nowadays. There is guys, boxers, former boxers that know more than these guys is in these guys' corners. You know, but these promoters and managers got to reach out to them. Um, you'll see a little bit better uh, skills and and, and you got to keep them in tip-top physical shape too. Like you said, you yeah. see, you thought Razor was running too much, fourteen miles a day. You yeah, thought that, that yeah. was way too much. What, why? What do you think that will? Really? You think that you think running like that will burn you out too? As long as he, we had to build him up. As long as he rests up, that's a lot of miles. He's gonna need a lot of rest. Uh, to recover from 14 miles at his age, but so, that's going to give, but that's, that's going to give him amazing. That's amazing conditioning, though. I mean, that's too it, much. The, that's ten, the tenth round, he's going to be breathing like he's going to still be breathing like you know he's going to have his his wind, his conditioning. At his age, if I if he if his body can uh, can can really oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Sorry. If his body can capitalize on on that all that running. God bless him. But I don't know nobody at his age that recruit running 14 miles, um, you know, to get in shape. I think you should do other things to get in shape. Do run, but do more of the, the gym stuff um, because of his age. Instead of doing long runs, that really take a toll on your body and everything. I'll tell you, man, this fight is taking a toll on both of these guys. Headshots. Oh, they're hitting each other. They're hitting each other. Not, nothing but headshots. And both of these guys have power. They're they're both knockout punches, and they're both nailing each other with some hard shots. Um, and neither one neither one has gone down. I think a jaguar should have went down in the first round, but they mm. but the rope the rope saved them. But uh, man, they're um they're both tired. It's the end of the eighth round coming up. We have two more rounds to go. Nice nice counter punch by by a jaguar. Vianelli is still coming in there with his combinations, but they're really sloppy. You can tell he's yeah. exhausted. And uh, you know, defense is out the door in this fight. And that's the end, end of the ninth round. Two more rounds to go. Good you know, stuff. You tell me, I, I know because there's a lot of a lot of there's a lot of boxers that really down this down nowadays. Yo, it's messed up. Okay, here we go. Yeah, it's all messed up. And all right, I got to get my cards and put it over here. Yeah, I've been through that, though. Bruce, that defensive thing, people. Let me see. All right. Okay, the no, rain already come out. These guys, these guys don't know that 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 lost out of defense. It's not not around today, you know. Um, we're gonna see it, you know. Ryan Garcia, he he's gonna need defense, man. Yes, uh, if he if he if, <laughs> listen, if he don't get somebody that's gonna show him, I'm telling you, man. I'm sitting right there. I'm sitting right there. All they gotta do is call me defense. No, with it's his too, thing, late, it's too late for that today. It's too late for that today, bro. This fight's I next know. week. I know. Oh, Vianello is uh is is once it looks like he's caught his third wind. He's coming out there with his blazing combinations for a heavyweight. And the jogger moving forward behind that jab and that straight right. I mean, it's it's rock'em sock'em city over here. Both of these guys are just going for broke in the center ring. Yeah. Boom, changing power punches. A lot, a lot, a lot of power shots being bounced off each other's heads. A big yeah. uppercut. A jogger with that uppercut. I said that uppercut's going to take a toll at the end of this 
before this fight's over, just nailed him with three right uppercuts, bounced his head back like one of those 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 dogs in the back of a car with the bobbleheads, man. I'm telling you, this is some, <laughs> they, they're hitting each other with sledgehammers right now. They throwing bombs. They throwing it's bombs away here. Yeah. It, it's hard to believe that um that both of these guys are still on their feet. I think the wow. uh, the jog is starting to land a, a, a little harder punches towards I'm the. We get to see the fight when, like, after it's over, like in a couple of days, we get together, okay? Oh yeah. Got to figure it out. I'm definitely, definitely, champ. This is a. I, I want to see the. I want to see both of these fights again, but uh, now you know I don't usually watch fights a second time unless they're really, really good. Yeah, what's going on now? What's going on? Uh, they they they're just ex oh uppercuts once again, man. Uppercut by Vianello. Uh, they're both in the center ring. Vianello okay. just landed a, a one-two combination. A jog was keeping that. Both of these guys have got their hands down low. I mean, his defense is thrown out the door. A, yeah. a little bit of hitting going on right now. Referee Lawrence Cole splits them both up. Um, yeah, Vianello defense is the main. Uh, defense is the main problem nowadays. I know. I'm telling you. Defense uh, is one of the main uh, problems oh, with a lot of boxers today. If the, if if uh, if either one of these guys had the, had the defense, if they had, if they could use that cross arm. If they could get in there with, it's with several the several different defenses. It's several exactly more. several different ones. It's just that they trainers don't know what they are. And they don't want to reach out. You think they're going to stop somebody? You you think that they're going to tell somebody and lose their job or the interest from their boxer, the guy that they're training? Uh, you lose a little something because then he'll start depending on a guy that know more. That's what's happening. That's really what's happening. There is some guys out there that could really help. And and I'm gonna tell you this: it'll blow up the trainer, the person that trained them, even though they don't know that much. It'll blow them up because of the fighter win. Then you get a lot of people trying to get that trainer and don't realize he won be only because the boxer won. No, it's, a big you, it's a big difference. Well, that, that that was getting back to the fight. That was the end of the ninth round. Okay. And then they, both of these guys put it on the line. I got a feeling this tenth round they're going to go for broke because this this could be a close fight. None, not, nobody's been dominant in the fight. It's all coming down to the tenth round. Both That's when they got to be careful. Mm -hmm. This type of round, they got to be careful. Keep their hands up and keep punching. You think they're going to be careful? Well, they got to keep be careful, throw punches, and be aggressive, but you got to don't get hit, being careless. That's what I would tell the boxer. Keep your D tight, deliver your punches, and come right back to defense. If you throw one arm, keep the other one back for defense. So you can counter or hit them back. So that's kind of a lot of information to tell your boxer at the last round with all this excitement going on. But you had it, you gotta have trust in your trainer. And those first couple of lessons or first couple of things he tell you, at least do that. Okay, the bell ring, he told me to yep. keep the defense tight, at least do that. Okay, here they are. What's going on? They're out for the last round, and they're both throwing bombs in the center. Okay. Ring. They're going for broke here. This is a this is a close fight. I got. Yeah, they don't realize they got time if you know exactly what you're doing. If you know exactly what you're doing, you won't panic. You can slip. You can slide. You can block, catch, work yours a little bit, relax. When they throw punches, bing, bing, block. So if that's in them, that will give them the confidence to uh, to try to pull this round off. But I am guarantee you this desperate. This somebody's desperate, or they both desperate. They're going to win. They're being pushed by their corner. Vianello, Vianello, I think Vianello knows that he's uh he's not the A side. He's going okay. for Yeah, he's really gonna make a statement. If a job, over, job was land. No, it's not over yet. It's, it's uh half over. Uh, okay. um, it's um we still got we still got almost two minutes to go. Okay. They're both they're both exchanging. How, how they look? How they look? Uh, Vianello looks like he's he's throwing more punches, doing doing more of the action. A lot of a lot of okay. clutching going on. Referee breaks him apart. Okay. Vianello landing a lot of punches. He really wants to take this round. Okay, 
who's landing the majority. A jaguar backing up a jaguar, a jaguar trying to get that uppercut in. That's that uppercut's his key, bro. He, he lands that right uppercut on the jaw. He doubles it and triples it. Okay. Just tried to just try to throw counter punches over the over the right hand, the extended right hand of of uh Vianello. Now a jaguar's circling around, moving his hands a little bit more. I don't think he likes getting tagged for the whole for the whole round. Maybe he can steal it in the last minute. Yeah. Good. I find finally a body shot. I think it's the first one I saw. <laughs> you said finally a body shot, huh? Mm -hmm. And they're they're just they're just exchanging punches here. It's it's gonna go down to the bell. It's gonna go down to the scorecards. Okay. I don't know who's gonna win this fight. VNL landing more punches before in the last last 25 seconds jogba pushes him up against the ropes there they're having a little bit of a hug the referee trying to break him up and these are big guys too man yeah once again well, it's supposed to be a, a, lot, a lot of hugging going on the last the last last few seconds of the fight uh it ain't gonna be it ain't gonna end like a mike weaver in, uh yeah, I know the last minute thing but that's it. That's the end of it. It's going to go to the scorecards. Okay. And, um, neither one of these fighters are raising their hands like like fighters do at the end of the at the end of a fight. Yeah, you know, they both realize it, it could be it could go either way. And hey, Darius, man, salute, bro. Thank you much for coming by. I appreciate it. And yeah, Tim's defense gave Larry Holmes severe problems. That's one of the things well, that we never stop talking about. That's yeah, why they're, they're, see, I know really, defense. That's why I keep talking about it. I know it. Vianelli's got his hands up. He's celebrating in his corner. That's what you're supposed to do. Once you fight over and the post, the fight is close, throw your hands up and walk around like you got energy. This is some of the things you teach your boxer to do. It's an acting thing. See, this is what I know about the old time stuff. When that bell ring, walk around, throw your hands up, even if you're behind, to let the judges know, hey, man, because they're looking at you. And that could give them that little thing that could – push you over the top. So these are but, the things I would tell the boxer. When that last bell ring, walk around like you won the fight. That's it. Yeah, but 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 can it really make a difference? Because they have to they have to score every round when the round's over. So the fifteenth the, no, the fight ring, close. If the fight close, yeah. it'll help. Well when it's a when it's a ten point must scoring system and you, you you score those rounds one at a time and even in the last round if you if you look fresh at the end of it, it still only counts for one round. You can't you can't sway the whole fight by that because the judges turn their scorecards in after every round. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying I know. I'm saying if the fight is close, if the fight is close, you could put on the acting thing. Um, if it's close, and then the judges like one of the judges is like, wow, they both yeah, like, they both kind of like kind of like steal you know, steal around like like Sugar yeah. Ray Leonard do. Yeah. Ali was great for that. The yeah, that's what, that's what I was taught. Once the bell rang, the last bell rang, walk around as you got energy, throw your hands up. And if the fight is close, that could um, help one of the judges, like, lean your way if the fight is that close. You know, it's because it, it happened before. There's, there is boxers that look that didn't do nothing, and the other boxer was running around doing this after the fight, and they gave it to him. You know, so, in a, and you know, in some instances in that, that could happen. They said, wow, wow, that was a close fight. If you walk around and be an actor in the ring after that last bell ring, be an actor, that can help push you over that one little percentage. All right. Yeah, that's my opinion. That's my opinion, Bruce. Hey, bro, you've been there. You've done that. So you know your opinion is your opinion carries some weight around here. I'm trying to uh, see. Nope, everything is messed up. But, yeah, this is going to be an interesting decision. A jogba does not want neither one of these guys needed defeat at this stage because you know the, the big money, like you said, man. You go, you go to Saudi Arabia. Yep. Yes, they. Hey, they, they got money like that. <laughs> they got money. Bruce. Oh yeah. You know, you know. Today, I don't know if you heard, but but Iran was bombed, was bombing Israel today. You know, a bit, a, a, a lot of conflict in in the Middle East. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This could be the start of another another big war out there. Oh, of, right. 
for the first time in, in, in years since the Gulf War, missiles are fired directly at Israel through another country that's not backed by the United States government. I mean, it's, it, it, it's, it's a mess out there, bro. And especially now, we could see some, um, we could see some really, really bad, really bad comp confrontations out there. Wow, I got to look on CNN. Wow, yeah. that happened, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that happened. I, I saw it today. But anyway, they're showing the um, they're showing the highlights. Real close fight. Both of these guys landed a lot of power punches. Yeah, it is close. It's going to be kind of interesting. See if I can. I'm just scratching these. Put it on real. Guido finished strong. You know, this is it's it's in the judge's hands. Oh, so they're trying to give it to the guy, the Spanish brother, right? Yeah, well, like a son said out there, the uh the jogger is the, the, the house fighter, he's the top ranked fighter. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I, you know, this is this could be a sad case of the referees. Uh, you know, the house fighter winning, he's already got three points in before the bell even rings. Yeah. Yep. And plus, plus a jogger lives in Texas now too, so he's uh yeah. He's no, I heard that on the um, news the other day that he's over there. So here we go, man. I get, they, they, it's going to be a, a close decision. This is uh -oh. this is one of the good things about boxing. It's either and the new or still, but I don't even think this is a title fight. I think this is just a uh, a ten rounder. Uh, on a, this is a, this is for a WBC silver heavyweight title. Yeah. You ever, you ever heard of that one? They pacify the, the young guys up and coming because they know the big title was behind that. So they give them these little silvers, or they give them this little taste because they know the next one's going to be the big one and they got to get ready. So, yeah, I know what they're doing. They're giving them something so they can motivate them. I got this little belt. Now I'm going for the big one. So, and they're making money off of it. Okay, let's, let's see if we can hear this. Split decision. Effie and Jogma by split decision. I didn't. I, I I would give it to Vanella. Vanello. Right. That was that. That's the way boxing goes, man. I mean, you know. I think you know they're behind the other guy more. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, they're behind him. I wish I could have saw the fight. That's why. That's why you need that knockout punch. You, you know, you. Marvin Hagler said it. You can't leave the. You can't leave it in the judges' hands. He could have been the champion, but he left. He didn't knock out Vito Intafermo, and um, he said after that everybody got knocked out except Duran. Duran went the distance with him. Everybody else got knocked out. And you know, people learn out. after the, the decision is made. That's when they start learning a little bit, or try to reach out to somebody that may get help them. And if they now, don't. Let me let me ask you a question. I, I'm trying to say how important that knockout punch is. When you when you when you're training fighters, are you gonna are you gonna look are you gonna try to develop a knockout punch or or do you see somebody who's, who's got it already and and and, and you either born with it or can you learn it? Well, if they don't have a natural power in one punch and one and the way it's delivered, I don't care in what direction. If they don't have it, then you work on. Uh, trying to build some type of uh, power punch. If they do have one, you work on everything else because you know what you got to do is get that 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 power punch that he like to throw. You got to organize that one properly so you can make it land all the time. But you work on the other things. Did you know this dude can punch with this that right hand and throw it a certain way? Work on other stuff and then work on that right hand. And, and so he can have either defense or something first, because you know this is number one. If he hit you with that, he's gonna hurt you. So work on this other stuff, blocking, because you know once you start working on this, it's gonna land. What you need to do is work on defense, because you know that that surprise, hard punch that you're gonna develop is once you get in, it's gonna destroy somebody. So work on the other stuff, and then work on that. That's gonna it's gonna come through. So that's what I would do. I would do work. Make sure that you that he can deliver that from anywhere, anywhere, anywhere. You know, any any position he in that that power punch, but work on his defense so he don't get hit. He don't get hit. Use his jab a lot. You know what I'm saying, Bruce? 
That's what that's what Effie Ajagba needed tonight. He needed one of those big ones to. I uh, seen him fight. He need a little bit more. He need a little bit more. And his management, they need to reach out more. That, that's only exposing his management and how much they know. Really, how much they know. When I was fighting, the managers and promoters, they knew who was a good trainer. They would come to the gym. Now they're making millions. And I'm not saying they do. They don't come or they do come. But they need to pay more attention to what their box is doing or else this wouldn't have happened. Somebody would have dominated uh, Bruce and, and, and um, you know, really looked good. It seems like both of them just did what they only could do at this specific time. And that's it. It took them to the limit. That's all they could do. But there's somebody that could take them a little bit further. So this fight was matched up even, I think. I don't know. You watched the fight. I didn't see it. But it could be matched up even. Yeah, it, it was a pretty even fight. I think okay. a, jogger, a jogger just did not uh, – he didn't do enough. I think if he did, did a little bit more, he could have won the fight because um, because the other dude, he Vanello – Vanelli gave everything got out there. I'm gonna say if he had confidence in his trainer, I'm guarantee you because he's big, he's strong, he would have did more than what he did tonight. But I guess he was confident in his trainer, and that's all his trainer could teach him. He's big and strong. He should have been took the dude out, and the other dude, he should have been took Ugana to just took him out. Depending on. You know what I'm saying? Bruce, the training is the training. That's all. Well, That's they both they both uh, they gave us a hell of a good fight. Hey, Thomas, salute my brother, Thomas from the Bronx, man. I wish I would have saw the fight. Hey, you know, I am really uh, uh, you. You're making me feel honored because you could have you could have went and you could have watched it on your laptop and you said, "Nah, I want to I want to do the show with you." No, and, uh, I know I mean, how much you yeah. love boxing. I know how much you love boxing. <laughs> I know how serious you are about boxing and 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 how much that fight just went on meant to you and all the other ah. fights so that's why that's why i'm doing this no 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 you're the you're the man you're the oh, what you're i'm the, trying to say bruce you you are you are like the loyalist and i'm a loyalist and i know how you are so that's why i hung in there this long not because yeah. i had I had a little beer in there. That don't make me <laughs> what do you got some of that malt liquor in there or you got no. some of that no, no it's just like a little oh, water mixed with some kind of juice, some kind of <laughs> little aid with a little alcohol, and it ain't did nothing to me. Oh, so we uh, wait. So what are we doing now? We waiting for uh Yeah, the yeah, the main event, man, Jared Anderson, bro, big baby. And 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 this other dude, Marie, he was a he's a former um a former cruiserweight champ, WBA regular cruiserweight champ. Yeah. So um, you know, I you know Anderson's gonna win this fight. It's it's definitely a um, you know Anderson is is a side. You know he's he's the main man for the United States right now. He's our only hope for a heavyweight champ in the next couple. Yeah, of years. but you never know. Yeah. Don't never count the cookies. Don't out. never count the cookies or whatever they say. He's big and strong. Yeah. His motivation is a hundred percent. I got a question for you out there, my friend Osanda asked you. Would Tim Style be be effective with the shorter fighter? Did you ever fight a shorter fighter with shorter reach? Yo, with any height, with any height, whatever whatever height they were, I disadjusted. And that's what defense, I'm glad you asked that question. I was really a more defensive fighter, but I, even though I knocked guys out with that overhand right, but that defense gave me confidence because I knew the only way I get hit if I make a mistake or, or relax, I know that punch, I'm supposed to block it. That's not what they're doing these days. Everything is deep. It's offense and partially defense. They fake in defense. They're not really 100% putting it to their boxers. So I would really feel comfortable. And, and, and the bottom line is that if I made a mistake, it's because I know that hand was supposed to be where it was. That's the way I was taught. That's no, no. If, if if you taught a shorter fighter your style, could you yeah. teach? Could you teach a short yeah. fighter how Easy. to fight with a spoon? Easy. Easy. You Easy. make a little make a little bulldog out of him, right? Like a like 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 a pit bull cruise. Just gotta you keep your tight. Gotta keep your D tight, and everywhere you move, keep your hands there. 
We can work on the movement. All right. Keep your hands against your body. I don't care where they at. That's defense. Okay? I'm good at that. So Jared Anderson, 16 and 0. And this other dude is 32 and 2. Okay, that's yeah. pretty cool. He's been he's been beaten by Kevin Lorena. I've seen Kevin Lorena. Kevin Lorena's the guy that fought Dubois, hit okay. him with that supposed low blow. And um and he lost the WBA cruiserweight title to uh, somebody named uh, Gulamarian. See, I wasn't I, I didn't pay attention a lot to the cruiserweight, so our yeah. Arsen Gulamarian, I, I I don't I don't know him. He was, he was undefeated at the time. I gotta do more of my homework on the cruiserweights on the cruiserweight division. But a job was getting ready to come into the ring. He's got a, this is for the uh, the WBC USA title and the WBO International Heavyweight title. So they all got all these organizations. They they, they all want their sanctioning fees with these fights, don't they? That's all. Yeah, that's all. There's, you know, there's a WBC, not the WBBCCFIG or WBA <laughs> CC45 and WBC uh, six seven eight. No. You know, it should be the, just a regular ABC. Let's do it. But you know what? Um, sometimes there's a lot of boxers that's eager to fight for the title, and um, they got to make a smaller title to, to, to pacify them before they can re reach the big one. So there is a lot of that. There's an upcoming boxer who's ready for the title, but you got other guys that's ready for the title. So now, back in the back in the Huh? Back in the day, back in the day, you guys fought for the NABF title and the yeah, US that was a small title. title. And then and then and then you got a shot at the WBC or the WBA, right. then, then the IBF came out. You right. never you never fought for an IBF title, did you? No, I never did. They pacify you with that little one and then they make their plans, they'll figure things out by the time they'll they'll get you ready. So you have that little belt, and you're like, I'm going around saying I'm the champ. And so that'll relax you even more, you know, and then they get you ready for the big one. So I got that twice. I was North American uh, heavyweight champ two times. I was a heavyweight world champion two times. And I had a couple of other belts, too. So they just when get into the boxer. So the, they fight get that, the fight that I was watching today, bro, when, when, when you beat, when you beat uh, Call of Truth Williams, that was for the, the USBA, wasn't it? I think so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I bro. Because, because, because I, I, I'm watching it, and then I see um I see Michael Buffer at the end go and the new <laughs> NBF heavyweight champion Tim Willis going. He rocked me with that right hand. Yeah, 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 for Who's sure. BBO, BBO, my brother, Superman. Welcome. Yeah, go ahead. What's Superman? Right? No, my brother, my brother BBO out there, man. I love the dude. He's got a great channel out there. He he does late night stuff. At the prime time so you know unfortunately everybody's watching everybody else out there he doesn't get a lot of viewers out there i always always watch him i always support him more people gotta go pay attention to what he's doing because he's a he's a true boxing fan and he knows his shit. and what more do we want than that right yes i like that i'm just i'm happy that my daughter got on and talked to you for a little bit she needed to open you, she said she loved you bruce she held me from the back she said tell bruce i love him Hey, hey, today has been, I, I, we had Razor Ruddick on here, we had Shania Witherspoon, and we had the guest of honor himself, man, terrible Tim Witherspoon. This has been a great show for me, you know, Yo, I, I'm having a great right, night, man. We got to get it out the way, they're getting ready, right? They're getting ready for the main event, absolutely, man, it's coming it's on. Ready to rumble. It's coming on, man. Big ba now, now, Big Baby Anderson, this guy's got a multi-million dollar future ahead of him but he gets got he's getting busted for fucking driving around with a gun in his car going on a high speed chase a couple of weeks ago you I mean, he just, yeah yeah you know and on top of all that he stated before that he um that he doesn't he doesn't have a passion for boxing he wants to make his money on it and get out so it's you know people are people are shaking their heads. That? yeah 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 people are scratching their heads they're wondering is this guy the real deal does he really want to does he really want the heavyweight championship? That belt that you got over your freaking right shoulder there, one of the greatest titles of all time. The, he is, he, is, he worthy, is he worthy of that? You know, he if you don't go in that. He actually yeah, said that. Because Razor Reddick just told us, man. Razor Reddick said, it's up here. 
you got to have, you got to have it. And you said it to me so many times, you know, you got to have it upstairs. And I, you know, he just wants to, it seems like he just wants to make his dough and, uh, and, and get out of the game. So, uh, you know, people are going to really take him seriously and support you gotta him. Be the people's champion. Got to be the it, you know, champion. You got to love everybody. He's he's gonna prove something tonight, man. In fact, I, I got a poll in the audience. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring in my poll and see how see how it ended here tonight. Let's check the poll out, man. I had a, which heavyweight's gonna make a statement tonight? And 53 percent of you said it's gonna be it's gonna be Jared Anderson. Nine percent said it's gonna be Murray. 22 24 said a Jagba, and 14 percent said Vianello. We had uh, 91 votes in the poll, so that's a pretty good, a pretty good, uh, a pretty good um, a view of what the what our fans think, our, our audience thinks out here. And I, I appreciate you for participating. So they they said Anderson is going to shine in, in his fight. So this is Big Baby Anderson's turn right here, man. He's going to have to. He's got a lot of naysayers, like I said, with his uh, with his uh, uh, criminal activities, with the car chases and carrying a loaded gun around in the car. You know, yeah, just stuff, uh, stuff that a, a guy in that in that position in life should not be doing, bro. It's yeah, just that's, uh, that's pretty. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna end this poll, and we're gonna um, we're gonna get ready to uh, to watch the fight, man. And uh, I'm sure the majority of people think that it's gonna be that it's gonna be won by Big Baby Anderson. Well, in fact, we'll put we'll put that poll up in the, in here, man. We'll see uh we'll see who, we'll see what the people what the people think. Just put the uh, we'll make it real quick and real simple. Oh, you're gonna put it on the other the, the TV, the other thing? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on the on the um on the YouTube. The, the, you'll be able to, to watch it and vote. What you mean? I'm gonna be able to watch it. Well, you you're you're on you're on the YouTube right now with us on the stream yard on YouTube, kind of the same thing. Oh, I didn't know that. The, what you talking on now? Yeah, what, I, what I'm doing now. Oh. I'm, in fact, M E R H Y. Now we'll just put up to who's going to win. We'll put that poll up there. We'll see how many votes we get. And boom, I got the poll. We don't want that anymore. No, no more, um, no more options. Let's get up there. How can I, how can I get it up there? Keep getting these option things. Erase those. Stop. Oh, there we go. I'm learning as we go. Sugar Ray Robinson said he didn't like, he didn't like boxing because it's brutal. Yeah. It's a, you know, boxing, boxing is a crazy sport, man. It's a, you know, some people are in it for the money. Some people truly do love it. Um, look at Razor Ruddick. Look at Tim Witherspoon. They 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 love this sport, you know. For they, right. they, they they they've made and spent fortunes, but they're still there's still one thing that keeps them together, and that's boxing because they love boxing. And here we go, man. Here comes here comes Big Baby Anderson coming down the ringside. Looks like he's got a motorcycle helmet on. <laughs> he's got the two belts in tow. The um. The WBO international title and the WBC USA heavyweight title. How much do you think they, they they get for a percentage for, for those um for how yeah. for fees? What do you yeah, think it costs like them? WBC, I don't I don't know. I remember before, but I forgot. I don't really remember now. But they three percent, five percent, eight percent. It's it, it kind know, of varies. I didn't know, I did know before. Do, going through that stuff with Don King and everything, so I don't really know what's going on now. They they mm -hmm. get a cut. They wouldn't be in the game unless it was oh, pretty good. Definitely, yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely not. And and fighters are more marketable too when they got that hardware. You know, you got you got that you got a WBO international. You know, you're gonna you're gonna want a few more bucks to, uh, to sign that contract. That that that'll bring people in. They can they can sell that as a title fight. You know, so, I, you know, the day's boxers lack really good trainers. I'm going to tell you the truth real quick to Bruce. Um, and I know that he don't, he, he's like, he's kind of upset. I know I had like a little couple of bears and everything. 
Freddie Roach is a really nice guy, but he, he also, he had help from other people to, you know, people sending him boxes and stuff like that, and he really didn't have a good defense. He got hit a lot. He's a nice guy, though. And I just, you can say what you want, but to me, Freddie was a good guy, but he was with Manny Pacquiao. And Manny Pacquiao really never slipped. He never did nothing. He just threw a lot of straight punches. But he made the trainer win by him winning. And there's a lot of other trainers like that also. You know, I know I could help somebody. I know I could help them. Things like that. But, you know, he, he was upset with me too. He was upset with me. If he knew you like I knew you. If he knew you like I knew you, he'd give you a kiss. It's all love. He knows it's all. He'll he'll know eventually. He, you guys will hook up at a legends meeting, and um, you know nothing but nothing but love. You know how it is, man. Yeah. No. Well, I went. I, I tried to walk up to him and um, Freddie Roach, and he turned away from me to give him a hug and say hi, and he turned away from me. So that was about five, ten, five, five to seven years ago. I forgot where we were. Maybe I was in Vegas. Um, but you know, I love the brother. It's okay. We 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 part of. He made his thing boxing. I made mine mine boxing. I just you can say what you want to say about me. I'm gonna say, well, brother, you right. Give you a hug. You know, I think Freddie was Freddie is a nice person, but I do believe that um, the boxer made him really famous, really famous. But there's other people talking. About it. He's not the only subject. There's a whole lot of different things. I don't know. I just brought it up because we're sitting there bored waiting. No, we're just talking about skills. There's other trainers. That's how, about, how about Eddie Futch? Somebody's asking you about Eddie Futch as a trainer. Well, Eddie, first, Freddie, Eddie Futch was with a lot of top boxers. Um, my trainer never really talked negative about him. Um, I never really witnessed uh, him really giving directions to anybody. All I did was hearing them saying things to people. So I did doubt some things because I every time I was around them, I was like trying to figure out what, you know, if he could do that. But I've never seen him deliver any like messages in terms of showing somebody as a turn. But I heard from other trainers that he he was um he was really intelligent. But I'm serious, I never seen him physically. So okay. other trainers was giving them respect, and I'm gonna give them respect too. The main um, the main event is getting ready to start here. Jared Anderson, Riyad Murray. Riyad Murray's only five eleven. Jared Anderson is six four. Wow. Jared Miller, I'm sorry. So I that guess, guy is that he's heavy and he's five eleven. Yeah. He he looks like a, a Tyson shot. Joe Frazier knew what to do. Joe Joe kept his hands up high when he was rolling. Anderson is Anderson's coming forward behind the jab. They fighting Anderson. already. Yeah, they're fighting. Anderson's going downstairs, man. He's he's working the body, shooting the right hand, quick combination. I don't know. I don't know if this one's going to last very long. How, how much the other guy weigh? The other guy, I I don't know. I didn't catch his weight. Maybe they get Anderson a win. So get Anderson. Ready. Anderson is moving forward behind the uh, behind the jab. Okay. Boom. Combination. This kid's not backing up though. He's just keeping okay. his, his high, moving forward behind a high guard, trying to get inside. I don't think he's he, he's having a lot of trouble even even throwing a, even connecting with the jab because every time he every time he opens himself up, um, the big baby. Uh, gets gets a combination in there. Big Baby's just punching the jab, circling to his left. Miss with a combination. He's he's throwing up ninety nine percent of the punches in here. Larry's just coming up. Who is that? Oh, big right hand by Anderson. Couple, pokes him with a couple of jabs to the body. 
nice nice couple one nice one two upstairs uppercut to the jaw right hand after that down to the body he's chasing all over the place oh big anderson chasing him big anderson is definitely okay chasing. so they they if it's if what i'm feeling is that they got him somebody he can knock out or give him a little bit of trouble but he's still gonna knock him out to get him ready for the next fight yeah and and um and uh in 34 fights Murray's only been stopped once, so he's got himself uh, he's got himself a dependable chin, but uh, he's getting nailed and he's on his back foot. And it looks like too much of a size discrepancy here. Okay. Anderson shooting a right hand, reaching a little bit with the right hand. Looks like it could be dangerous. I know what's going on. I know what's going on. When did when did um. He, he fought in December, so um, so Murray's been kind of active. It's not like it's not like they pulled him out of mothballs. And he had um, he had two fights last year. Beat, he had a he had a um, he beat Tony Yoka, mm. who kinda, everybody kind of beats Tony Yoka now. <laughs> Who's two two forty? Ascended Master says two forty. So oh, that's okay. a. Uh, that's that's a wide guy, 5'11", 240. That's true, yeah. That's uh a lot of beef on that on that frame. Let me put the um uh, who is that? Who's that? Somebody saying customado. Oh, oh, that's the radio. Oh. I, 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 I was hoping it wouldn't be, it wouldn't go over the over the line, but it did, and uh, I got to be careful because that's where they'll, that's where they knock you down, something like that. But they're showing the, uh, you know, the first round is in the books. I think it's obviously a, a, a ten, nine, ten nine round for Anderson. Okay. And once again, there. Exchanging jabs in the center of the ring, and you can see the uh, a, little, a little extra flab on the on the belly of um of Mary. Anderson still pumping that jab, looking for an open for the right hand. Just shot it, nice counter right by Murray, but. Anderson is uh, Anderson still walking. It's still moving forward that jab. Murray is trying to trying to time that jab with a with a left hook. Yeah, all Murray got to do is block it. Bam, bam. That's all. Bam. You see a hook coming? Go this way and catch it. Anderson is, Anderson's shooting that jab out. Yeah, Murray, Murray's, Murray's blocking. Murray's. Murray's getting hit upstairs, downstairs. He's he's trying to block him. I don't think he's gotten hit with any any seriously solid shots yet. Maybe you know not too many of them. Well, Anderson and them should be in good shape. Yeah, Anderson looks like he's been in. He, he, there's no fat on his body. He looks like he's ripped. He got so much to lose if he come in messed up. Shooting that shooting that jab out there. Keeping, keeping is, he keeping his right hand, is he keeping his right hand up? He's keeping his right hand up. Yes, he is. In, in fact, he's 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 uh, he's just overworking that left hand right now. Is he bending his knees or is he straight up and down? Yeah, he, he kind he kind of looks a little bit like Carla Truth Williams. He really does. Oh, he's he's straight up in the air. Yeah, he's straight up. Okay. No, he just went downstairs. He need to bend. He need to bend his knees. Keep his defense tight. Use his jab. And that and that could turn in other combinations with no problem. Keep his defense tight. Bend his knees. Don't lock your legs in because you want to be able to maneuver around the ring. So bend your knees. That'll help. Um, just just nailed him. Just nailed Murray with a nice right hand. Okay. Got him on the ropes. 
He looks like he's got a slight bend to those knees. Not okay. not as not as stiff as Williams. Yeah, I understand. That's at the end of the round, but he's uh, I mean he's just uh, he's dominating, dominating as far as the uh, punches are going. Yeah, he's right for this fight. He's right. He's ready for this fight. They got the right guy for him. Um, I think, and um, let's hope. Well, let's see if there's other competition that's that's stronger or just as strong and can, um, you know, box or, you know, make it smart fight. Keep his hands up, block just like him. Let's see how he do against a boxer like that. Somebody that, that can keep their deep, know how to block punches, deliver punches. If there's somebody out there, uh, Bruce. If there's somebody's out there with with the uh, with the you know the ways that they should be, you know, um, operating when the bell rang. So this guy was short. He was he's shorter. He's getting he's getting um hit a lot, I guess. And he's he's putting up he's he's putting the pressure on him, right? He's not. Uh, Anderson's putting the pressure on. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's absolutely keeping the pressure on, keeping the pressure on Murray. Okay, so they're boxing now. They're boxing now. The start of round number three. Okay. Anderson, Anderson's easily ahead two to nothing. Okay. And once again, he's popping that jab. Murray looks like he's trying to he's trying to counter that jab with his right hand, but um, Anderson's bringing it back too fast. Right. So what he's going to have to do is keep his defense tight and move in. You know, because uh, Anderson is not effective when his opponent is shorter and in close all the time, like Joe Frazier would be in close with a guy with longer arms. So, by yeah, having if, if, if this guy had Joe Frazier in him, he'd be moving forward behind hooks, yeah. leaving him bombing. But now he's keeping his hands he's, up. He's he's standing straight up and he's boxing with Anderson and he's getting beat to the beaten to the yeah. punch, and he's just uh, he's just not uh, he's not committing himself. Keeping the keeping his hands up really high, not throwing punches. I think you know he's ta he's tasted that hard right hand. He's tasted that jab, and uh, I think he I don't think he wants to leave himself open. He's against the ropes now. Anderson is target practice right here. Okay, this is where the short guy need uh, somebody that's uh, experienced enough and in his corner that so he can when he's in trouble know how to deal with it. When he's out of trouble, know how to do it. So, it's just a situation, Bruce, where um, they probably know he's in. They know Anderson going to win, but this is gonna be a hard fight for him, you know. But the opponent can surprise them if they he had a better guy. They oh yeah, this guy we could beat him. But if that short guy would have had somebody that really shown stuff, he'd do a lot better. So he's a former world champion, you know. He's gonna have. Uh, oh, he's former champ. Yeah, he was a WBA cruiserweight champ. WBA. WBA. The, What's his name? His name is his name is Ryan Murray. Okay. Okay. So and once again, like once again, he, Anderson's got him against the ropes. Anderson is just chasing him all around the ring. Okay. He's, he's answering. He's not answering with any punches. He's uh. Now, Anderson, oh, Anderson's starting to open up now. They knew what they was doing, the management, the promotions. They oh, knew yeah. what they was doing. To get him a guy that's to stand there for a little bit, but then uh, Anderson, because the bigger fight is down the road. So they know exactly what they're doing. Um, they ain't underestimating. They knew that Anderson would probably wear him down um, like the fight is going now. They're not going to take no chances because they're looking at the bigger money, Bruce. Serious. They're looking at the bigger money. They're not going to oh, get him. Somebody. They know he's going to win. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. You know he's going to be watching the big fight that's going on over in over in Saudi in a, in another month, man. The uh, the Fury and the um who the, Derek that guy the Ennis guy, what's his name? Which one? You talking about the guy? What's his name? No, no, I'm talking about the, the undisputed heavyweight championship fight that's going on there in another well, few weeks. Fury and um Usyk, yeah. Usyk, yeah. Because because Bob Arum, Bob Arum controls um he controls uh Anderson. And if he can oh, and, he'll uh, be on the undercard probably. Uh, that that that'd be interesting to see him uh, to see him fighting on fighting some uh better competition 
and, and bring them to Saudi, man. That seems like okay. that's the haven for the heavyweights. Okay. You, know, you, got, you got a lot of heavyweights out there. A lot, a lot of fighters. I seen him on his last, and he didn't, not before this one, he didn't do as good in, in, as he did in the past. Um, is this the same fight? You know, he did. He looked a little awkward. The guy made him look a little. Yeah, awkward. yeah. He fought, he fought Charles Martin. He fought yeah. Charles Martin, and he yeah. didn't look that good. He didn't look good. Right. So he, he, they, they, they're bringing this fight. They're bringing uh Murray in here for him to shine, for him to showcase. Okay, yeah. So right. they can get that money from overseas if they can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, you, you got it, brother. You got it. You know it, man. And um. This is what he's got to do. He's got to shut on now, Bruce? What's going on now? Uh, right now, Anderson is, is pumping that jab. He's still got him on his back foot. Trying, fully trying confident. To, he's fully he's, confident. He's fully confident. He's trying to snap that jab. He's trying to make an offensive weapon out of it. He's trying to he's trying to snap it in there, and he's got that right hand cocked and ready to, ready to throw a big oh, right hand. There you go. There you go. He got the right ammunition ready to fire. <laughs> I want, we, want, we want to see if Murray can handle some of the, can handle some of the bombs because uh Anderson, he's gonna shine out over here. This is his chance. He's in the main event, ESPN fight. The world is watching Saturday night. This is what this is what everybody in boxing has got their eye on. They want to see if he's the goods. And then here we go. And right now he's got Riyadh in the corner, shooting that jab out there. Like I said, you know, um, I would like to help a lot of these guys out. I don't got to be in the corner. Anderson. You know, stuff that I was taught. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no. I'm, I'm, I'm watching him shoot that jab. I'm uh, I'm just waiting for him to, to, to hit him with a right hand full power and see how. how uh, yeah, but see, how you're, you're, look, you're fighting the shorter guy. The main thing is to throw stuff fire up high because you know they're going down. But your next shot is going to be uppercuts. So really, through the whole fight, he should be trying to take his head off with stuff upstairs because that's going to make a shorter guy go down all the time. But really, in your mind, the shot you want to really hit him with is the one when you go down. So force him to go down by throwing fire up here and keep him doing that, and then he's just going to be keep doing this. But really, in your mind, you're thinking about throwing uppercuts. Do that make sense? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Throw fire this way. So your opponent could go down a lot, but in your mind you know that uppercut or them uppercuts or those, those butts is going to hit, is going to catch him, and that's what's going to happen. Because he can miss these, keep coming in. He can miss these and go down, but it'll be harder for him to miss the ones when he go down. It'll be harder for them to miss it. So keep throwing these. You might catch him. You might catch him with the straights, but in your mind you're thinking about this. That's what you think. Oh, about. Riyad just, Riyad just shot a combination, but the bell rang a little, okay. too, a little too late. But no, I, I can see that happening. I can see him yeah. backing up and catching him with that uppercut coming in, man. Yeah. That okay. could that could end this fight. That could end the, that could end the fight. The decoy is the punches you throwing up because you know you're gonna go down. A shorter guy, and what's on your mind is you should be thinking about bringing them punches up. Keep them, keep them going down like this. Cause you're throwing stuff this way, and it's gonna be easy to bring them uppercuts or side this way or throw it this way or you know this way jab. Cause you're gonna go down. Cause you're tall and he's shorter than you, and they train them to probably keep the sand and go down. But that's where you're gonna get him when you when he go down. So all right, let's see what he do. That'll be an easy fight, really, uh, Bruce. Because the shorter guys are being trained to go down, and the taller fighters are trained. I don't know during this day, but when I was there, they trained to, when you go down, bring uppercuts or force them to go down so you could throw uppercuts. Nowadays, I don't know what they're saying to them. Uh, we are, the fifth round just started. Murray's starting to throw some shots at the beginning of the round. Maybe he hit, maybe he hit Anderson before the bell rang. Got landed a few shots. Maybe he's a little they more told confident. Him that he got to pick it up. They told yeah, him to pick it up. He, he, he's absolutely picking this up, man. Yeah. He has, this is the most active he started around in. Okay. Anderson is Anderson's looking to try to get inside those uh, those offensive flurries. Boom. Inside, he's tall. He's, he's tall. Uh, uh, 
I mean, I, I, I mean to, to, to drop his punches inside there, to, to split to split that guard. Oh, okay. I got to know what type of guard he has. He's keeping it high. Anderson just went downstairs. He's pumping. He's pumping that jab nicely because you know he's staying on the outside. He's using that that height height advantage, the reach advantage. M Mary just tried to come in with a combination going downstairs, but Anderson just backs away. All he got to do is back away a, a foot, and he's totally okay. out of range. Yep. Anderson got to get him to start going down so he can hit him with shots like that. It even get fake him, and if you go down, you can hit him with an uppercut or something. Just fake him. He'll go down probably, you know, or throw stuff. And once he go down, pick the shot that you're going to hit him with. And if you hurt him, take him out. Anderson is definitely using the uh, – he's using that jab to his full advantage. Okay. He should jab him in the arm instead of the head. Would you see the jab he landing at? I see it. I, he's shooting it to the head. Okay. He should be jabbing him to the body so he can forget about the head. But if the head lands, it's cool. He should be hitting him to the body because that's a bigger piece of, of, of meat that he can hit. That's easier to hit. Hit him to the body. He'll know where he at all the time. He could drop the right hand in right in. But if you try to hit him to the head, that's easy for his opponent to get out of the way of the punch. But the he's body doing a, lot, he's doing a lot of head hunting right now, man. Yeah. So he should hit him on the shoulder, hit him on the arms, hit him every time that little guy move, hit him to the closest thing that that's to him. See, I know what to do. Hit him to the closest thing to you. If you turn this way, hit him to the closest thing. That give your mind confidence. Oh, yeah, I'm still touching him. He right there. Then you could drop that right hand on him. Or oh, that's bam. That's the way it is, Bruce. I hear you, brother. You ain't got to hit him in the head. That's going to be hard. Hit him to the shoulder. Hit him to the elbow. Hit him to the stomach. Hit him to the hip. Keep doing that. He'll forget about the head. And that's when you're going to that's when you're going to dismantle his ass after that. <laughs> yep. Oh, he just, the round just ended. Anderson got a couple of nice shots in at the end of the at the end okay. of the round on the bell. Headshots, headshots. Uh yes, he landed a couple of headshots. All all headshots. I haven't seen any, I haven't seen much much body work at all in here. Anderson's pumping him once in a while, but most mostly headshots going on. His trainer is a guy named Derry Riley. Have you ever heard of him? Nah, never heard of him. And uh, let's see, Cutman is Jacob Stitch Duran. He's he, it's the only guy I've ever heard of in there. But yeah, that's yeah, Anderson. I'm from a different era. <laughs> I don't know these <laughs> guys, but you know, when in terms of yeah, you had you had you had the best cut man in the world patching you up, man. Eddie the Clot Eliano. He was the best. That Eddie was the best. knew how to keep your breathing, get your breathing right. Mm -hmm. He knew how to get you comfortable and relax before the next bell run. That was that's very important when you got a boxer. You got to get his breathing together first, get and, him relaxed, and, and, and then you. give him information. Okay, here we go, man. The start of round number six. Okay. A 10-round fight. Boom. Anderson's using that jab at long range. He's Anderson's a switch hitter. He, he switches from left to right. You notice that? Notice not um, about it. I would, I would, I would, if I was training him, I'll make him stay on one side. No, he's he get rich, then he can switch. I will make him stay on one side um, instead of switching back and forth. He's um, predominantly staying orthodox, but every once in a while, you switch to southpaw. Yeah. There's certain punches you can deliver when you switch to southpaw from an orthodox, but you only do them at certain times. So, um, I can see him doing, but I don't think his trainer is. I'm not down on him. I don't think he's smart enough to uh, have Anderson switch and and throwing the punch while he's switching. That's he's what you do. when you switch. You hit. You throw the punch behind it. On his on your feet, the ball of your feet. You swing around and you can swing the right hand when you turn it from rec, like orthodox to southpaw. I would have to have to show everybody. Anderson is just pumping that right jab. He is he is keeping right it. jab or left? Right jab. Uh so he's fighting southpaw. 
Swing, swing Southpaw right now. Oh, so now he's just showboating because he's a right hand fighter. Do it look like he's showboating? No, nah, he, he he looks like he's he's serious about this right now. Yeah, I would keep I would keep the boxer on one side so he can so he can really be confident in one side. I uh, was believe was lead me to believe that reason why he's going on the other side, they figure he could pick it up on the other side. But I do believe that if he stayed on one side and and conquer that, um, that would be one of the things that he need to do when he boxed. So he's switching on the other side because the other side is not working. It's not working like they wanted to. Yeah, so I would stay on one side. Eventually, you'll get it done if you get in the right directions. Well, right now he's got he's got Murray in the corner, and he okay. just tried to land that uppercut. Now he's got him against so the road. Like Southpaw now, right? Yeah, he's fighting Southpaw. So that's confusing his opponent a little bit. But he got to be effective with the Southpaw. He got to get rid of this guy. Take his time, but get rid of, of, of him. He's got what he what he gotta do is really put a explanation point on this fight. Get this get this kid out of here, man. Yeah. He's got he's gotta steal the show. He's gotta let him know he was the best best heavyweight in the card tonight. And he's he's starting to get a little cocky in there. He's dancing oh, yeah. around. Got, yes. Keep going back and forth. Uh, now he's right-handed, then he left-handed. I guess you just got to be really, you know, on one side, let him know where you're coming from. Why do you switch on the other side? Because you feel that it's not working on the left. Let's go on the right side. Oh, the right not working good. Let's go on the left. Get that left side together so you know for a fact that you can get the job done. You know, then so that's what I think Bruce it is. He's switching to one side because it's not working on the other side. Hey, Rascalot says shout out to Tim and shout out to me and shout out to Rascalot out there, bro. I, I missed you. He did a live last night, but it was only on for a few minutes, man. I I, I went on there, I got the notification, and it was, and the show live was over. Okay. So uh, shout out to my brother Rascalot out there, man. Hope you're enjoying these fights tonight, cause uh, I got the champ on here. I had Razor Relic on here a little while ago. I got Shania Witherspoon, the champ's daughter, soon to be a boxer. So keep your eye on her in the future. And of course, man, my main man, two-time heavyweight champ, terrible Tim Witherspoon out here. And here we go, man. Starting the seventh round. We got a, a heavyweight heavyweights over here, man. So how tall is the other guy again? The other guy's 5'11". Wow. You throw fire upstairs and make him go down, and then uppercut. Six, six, four, five. J Jared Anderson's got him by four and a half inches. Wow. So that's um, but he doesn't look like it because Jared's Jared's bent down now. Jared's got his knees bent. He's uh, okay. he's fighting down to the size of of, of Miri. Yeah, he's I think using, that's a good move in him bending down. Yeah, he's not using that height advantage. You, you think you should bend down and get in, get underneath him, try to try to work that body? You no, know, he need to bend his knees for power and and use his jab to make his opponent go go down. So so really, uh, use his jab. Try try to like my jab is good, and that'll force him down. And then you work on the shots coming up. So he would have to real quick. He would have to develop that kid. That jab, so he can go down. He'd be doing like this away from the jab, but really, your punches the uppercuts. You know, so make sure the jab is make sure the jab is here, so he can go down. And once he go down, that's when you think and you want to get him to go down. So when he Boom. go down, that's when you throw your power. One motion. Doing this is he, he'll probably go down. But that's really where you want him to go is go down, so you can bring mm -hmm. the. You, you throw you throw a good uppercut. You put your leg into it. You put everything into that punch. You put. Yeah, the, you bend your knees. It's like lifting weights. When you bend down and you gotta lift the weights, it's like that. And you come up with it. You come up. Yeah, those are pretty. They're pretty good. You gotta bend your knees in order to get a good uppercut. Um, and you gotta practice on them. Just like you throw right hands and left hook, you gotta practice on the uppercuts. I, I'm almost sure he would have took this guy out of here. If they were to practice a whole lot on those just the uppercuts. Cause it don't seem like it did, because there's most of his punches up high. 
you didn't see him throwing a lot of uppercuts, right? Uh, only on occasion. He yeah. Was, he, he was scarring. He was uh, scarring when he did throw him, but now he's just kind of dancing around throwing that jab. Um, you know, he doesn't look like he has any urgency. He doesn't look like he wants to shine in this fight. And this is a showcase, man. Yeah, Main well, event is top rank on a Saturday his night. His management, his management, and the people that's handling this business should try to go for a knockout. Keep your defense tight. Go for a knockout. Why you want to get a decision? Why you want to win? You can get a decision, but let's go for the knockout. Could, you know, work on the fight. Get your schedule together and jab them good, right hands, and be in good shape. Work on that knockout. This is going to, that's going to make you look better. The guy five, what, 11? Come on, man. Work on your jab. Work on these things so you can get him out of there. Get him out of there so we can build it up for a big money fight. Now this guy, what, 5'11", and he let, and he going the distance with him. Now he might make that money for the, for the next fight, but if he take this guy out, it will be a lot better. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I think he, I think I uh, somebody put in there he's almost 250 pounds. Who? Well, Rasclaw says he's 5'9". Let me see. Let me go in and see what... 5'9"? Oh, let's see, man. No, five, it says... In, in box rec, it says 5'11 and a half. Okay. But, but let me go over to... um, Let me go over to uh, to, to, to another site that, 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 we have, that would have his height on here. Because, man, we're, we got the internet at our disposal, so we got... Let's see. No, 5'11", they got him listed at, man. So he's a he's a stocky bro. That's all you can say about him, man. He's a stocky kid. Anderson should get him out of here. He's he's uh he's staying around too long. People are starting to yawn in the audience, man. This isn't what they want to see. Okay. Just have a reaction. Oh, that's all mm -hmm. I wanted to hear. I understand, yo. No, you can keep talking. I'm just saying, okay. Yeah, yeah you know it, brother. You know it, man. Yeah, he's right now. More. He's he's Anderson. He's a big young six foot two, tall guy. He's gonna have to start getting these guys out of here. He's gonna have to start looking better, like controlling the fight. He's he's got to start doing that so the money can, can go up. Just winning this against this guy is not gonna really boost his money up. But if he win, he's gonna have to do something else too to make it really a big money fight. But if he do fight the next fight. And they build it as a big fight. He could make money. He could make good money. Who's the next fight supposed to be, Bruce? I don't know, man. Okay. Tomorrow, that's going, to, that's going to be the hot topic on the internet. Everybody's okay. going to talk about where does he go from here? Okay. Where does he go from here? Hey, tomorrow night, man. Maybe you want to come over. We're going to do the old. We're going to do the old timer show. You know, okay. the uh, Sunday nights. Maybe you can join us. For, okay. For, um, okay. You, know, you, got so, you know, we got to talk about the Raiders of boxing too. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, I told you, have those, guys, have those guys call me up. Just send me the email addresses, and, and, and we'll get them on here just like we did tonight. We put a show together. Okay, I'll see if Mike can come on. Mike is the, the businessman part of us. Oh, there we go, man. They're, 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 they're exchanging leather and center ring right here, man. We, we're, we're, we're in the eighth round of this, this fight. It's passing pretty quickly, I must say. But Anderson's moving forward. Now he's kind of on his side. He's uh he's still he's still boxing from the soft paw stance. He's still shooting out that right jab. Yeah. Right cross, trying to lead he, right he up. He needs a trainer. He needs a trainer. I mean, I love his trainer. I love his trainer. I love everybody. He needs somebody to direct him. He should stay on that right hand side and stop switching until he learned. Until he learned. This kid just came off with a combination. Excuse me. Late for me. I'm yawning. Sorry. <laughs> I, I, I usually go to bed at midnight. My body is telling me. But boxing, man, we stay awake a little longer. I got to give it credit, though. Those guys in Ireland and stuff, it's like 5 o'clock in the morning they're watching this. Those guys are out of their minds. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, this guy's, that's my, that's one of my second homes, England and Ireland. There you go, man. There we got him in here watching the fight. I love them all. I love all them drunk Irishmen. Wait a minute. Why don't you say? Why don't you say something, man? I do. I know people over there. Well, shout out to him, man. Tell him. Yep. Go right so ahead, man. All my Ireland. I used to be in Belfast. All over there, man. There was some really 
tough boxers. Um, they got pride. I love it there too. You know, me. I brought Shania. Me and my daughter was over there. Then I was over there. I was training with them, man. And I was with I was with Tyson Fury and the Gypsies. They have a really tight uh, thing, you know, within each other. You know, uh, the Gypsies. And they don't ask the English for no help. They work, do their own thing. They do their own thing. So from what I saw, you know, they ain't going to ask the queen for nothing. They do it on their own. And I was cool with the queen people. It says, in the beginning of the fight, uh, man, I'm watching the all the fights upcoming. There's so much action coming up. Bivol and Baturbiev. Uh, we got Lomachenko and Cambosos. I mean, it's like one, one fight after another, one weekend after another. And there's Joe, Joe the Irishman out there. He's out there. He's still Joe. What time is it out there right now? Five o'clock in the morning. Five thirty in the oh, morning. Oh yeah, that's see Joe. Joe's the man, bro. Smart as a whip. He he ate that. It was a it was a tough contest last night. The drunk is the drunk Irishman, Joe, and my friend traveling fools. Oh, oh yeah. Well, look what he's saying. Who's this uh Ras uh Raskala. Yeah, who's he have winning? I have who? He's got he's got Bivol beating Baturbiev by decision. Who is that? That's the light heavyweight, big big light heavyweight fight coming up. Oh, uh, Arthur Baturbiev. In fact, you, your your boy John Scully trains him. Oh, I can't watch that one. Yeah, you can. No, I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go. I messed up. John is my man too. John. Yeah, really good. yeah. John, John Scully tr trains Baturbiev. And um, if and, anybody and, and ever go for being a president, Coach Chading, Chi salute, Chai oh. Ding. I'm sorry, man. I'm terrible pronoun pronouncing pronouncing names. Anybody, I would I would want to be president of an organization that was um that would that loved the people, loved the organization, and would work would be John Scully. He is a true gentleman and would look out for the boxers. I've been around him enough. To realize that he, if there was a union or something, I would have him up in the high on a level up there. Uh, somebody else might say something different, but I really trust him. I look in the mail and there's a check in there from him. Take care of your family. And then he sent checks to other people. Then he'll sell gloves. He'll do this. And I like that kind of movement, um, um, Bruce. John's a, John's a saint yeah. in this world. Absolutely, man. Yeah, Big really so like John, brother. man. But what? My, shout out to my friend Big Say So, the man who wrote my theme. He, tri, tri, he does the theme song over here. Oh, Thank Coach you. Green, man. Thank shout you, out so. my Coach Green. Thank you, Say So. <laughs> he, 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 he did my theme song, man. Sent it to me. I play it every time I open my show. You know, hit a boost gas. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> man, we're, 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 we're tuning down at the, the ninth round of this, this heavyweight fight, man. It's been, it's been kind of a snorer, if you ask me, man. I just saw Anderson with the right hand to the body. You know, he, not, now he's switching back to orthodox. He's shooting the left jab out there now for after going right-handed for, for and a while. And Coach, Ch Coach Chating, he said his name is what? Coach Green, my name. Oh, I know Coach Green. Yeah, I saw it out there, man. <laughs> Shout out to my brother, Coach Green. He, he goes to – he, he, he's on the show with, you, with your son, Tim Jr., on Sunday nights a lot. I would like to do an exhibition with Tony Tubbs. Set it up. You see that? You see that, Bruce? Bruce yeah. Tubbs exhibition. I, 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 I think, Tim, I, I think it's all the knowledge you got. That's, that's what you belong doing right now. Exhibition, nice, but these guys got to call you. You got to, you got, you got, you got, yeah, 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 you and Razor Reddick for sure, but these guys, they want to get you on tour. They want, they, they want you fighting three times a year. You got to, you got to, you got to, you gotta give that knowledge. That's beneficial, though. That's beneficial, Bruce. That'll keep me. that keep me looking young and keep me in shape and out of trouble. <laughs> All right, hey. You know I'm with you, champ. Whichever, whatever you be doing. Wait my a brother. minute. So what's going on now? What's going on that's with the fight? The tenth and final round is just starting. Okay. Let's see if they, let's see if they touch gloves. Because this is, uh, I mean, it's a, it's a one-sided fight, in my in my opinion. Yeah. It's, it's, it's going to be a shutout. I couldn't give one round to um, to Murray. Let me ask you this, Bruce. Uh, when uh, Coach Chad Ding says what, 
He said, Mr. Tim, he's doing a Oliver McCall. What do you mean by that? Well, Oliver McCall broke down in the ring. You know, he didn't fight oh. back. He had the big down against Lennox Lewis. You remember oh, that? So what's going on? What's going on? I don't know. I I I don't know. You know, Oliver McCall. That was a sad thing to see. I remember that. that. I remember that. So what what that got to do with this? I don't know. I don't know. People say people say all kind of things in the chat, and sometimes yeah, you know. <laughs> It, sometimes it's hard to get you, to get your point across in the chat. That's why we're, we're, we're lucky we're up here that you know we can we can just talk. With that. But, I, but I know how it is, man. Oh, he's not fighting back. There you go. Absolutely, he's not fighting back. Who's not fighting back? M Murray. Okay. You know he's throwing an occasional an occasional punch, an occasional hook or a, or a jab. Yes, or so I believe I believe that his opponent. What's his opponent name? His opponent's name is Big Baby Anderson. No, like Big Baby Anderson would have put pressure on them. This fight would have ended. Oh yeah. Well, that's what that's what Lennox Lewis did. He put the pressure on Oliver McCall, and the referee had no choice but to stop the fight. No, Oliver was mental. I was, you know, they we sparred each other for a while, and Oliver was mental. Oliver, if something was wrong with him, he wasn't in the right hand, and him and Lennox Lewis, who's a brilliant boxer. Took advantage of it, but if Oliver mine was in the right situation, he was hard to spar with. I sparred with him. I sparred with Bert Cooper. There was some hard days sparring. I'm gonna tell you something. Oliver got punch. So mentally, mentally, Oliver was messed up. You see what he did in the fight. You see what he did. He was like just letting Lennox just load up on him. Something was wrong with him. Something was wrong with him, and 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 so that's what led to him looking like that. But other they than say, that, he was they tough. Say that, they say he had the one of the baddest chins of all time. Yeah, I used to, used to be we used to spar each other all the time at Don King's camp. You know, and yeah. it was it was hard to, to hurt him, and he was strong. But I you had ever, the skills, the maneuver through all the the situation. You, 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 you ever nail him with the big with the spoon right hand? Well, I hit him, but he could take a punch. You see, Lennox Lewis let it go on him and didn't do nothing to him. He really Definitely. didn't do nothing to Oliver. He hit Oliver. Oliver was like, oh, Oliver could take a punch and he could throw a punch. I think he, he was in good shape a lot of times. But if he had a – I think Slim was trying to show him things. Oh. If he listened to somebody, he would have been – woo. He would have, Oliver McCall. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no. I'm I, I'm watching a fight. I'm hoping beyond hope that something happens. The okay, fight's over. Go with the fight. Oh, let's God, go. it, it, it's over. Unanimous decision. I don't even have to watch the score. Uh, somebody mentioned put put Anderson and Effie Ajaba in the ring together, and um, Effie Ajaba will win. Anderson will win. Anderson will win. Well, we, we'll to, they're, they're both on the top rank. Bill, let's see if Bob Arum does it, man. Bob Arum got the power. Um, I think that, right? I think that Anderson should fight somebody up more. Now they could put that fight on that those two guys. But I think Anderson should fight, go on and try to fight somebody bigger than, what's his name? Anderson fight bigger than Ajagwa? Ajagwa. Anderson should go ahead on and fight for the title instead of fighting Ajagwa, unless they can get the right money for that fight, you know? Coach Green says Jay Prince not letting that happen. Not See, I don't, I, don't, I, I don't know the business of boxing. These guys know it more than I do. Jay Prince, Top Rank, PBC. I, I don't know how all that works, but you know. Anderson but, need to go forward instead of trying to fight um, a guy, whoever's name I keep forgetting. He need to now. If that fight is a big fight between a guy that just won, huh? Yeah, they're in the they're in the same gym. Coach Green says. Oh, uh, that they sparred each other probably. You know, I think that Anderson just go on and, and try to reach the top, and then they got another guy, that guy that just he just that just fought him to come behind him. I don't think the fight would be big enough, uh, Bruce. Him okay. And that guy. I don't think it'd be big enough. Hey, let me let me shout out my brother, Mr. Johnson's boxing talking more, Mike Johnson. Hell of a guy. I watch him almost every day. He does a live out there, man. So shout out to Mike Johnson, Mr. Johnson, boxing talking more. But yeah, baby. Hey, Tim. 
let's let's stick around. We're gonna we're gonna catch the the, the score of this fight. Make sure it was a unanimous decision, like yeah. I thought it would be. And then I'm gonna let you go to bed, my brother. You you gave me four and a half hours of your time tonight. It was an awesome. That awesome was four experience. hours. That was four. Four and a half hours. We've been on here for. Yo, man, that's messed up. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get that and then. I'm gonna do hey, it. I'm gonna I'm gonna take that because that was perfect. I gotta that's wash messed the up. That's definitely definitely messed I gotta up. Wash the dishes and everything, and then I'm gonna lay down. Whew. I you was cooking. I was wash cooking. the dishes. It's it's midnight. It's freaking twelve thirty. Wow. <laughs> what time did you I, think it I was? I didn't even realize it. What time did you think it was, brother? Whoa. It's twelve thirty. <laughs> I'm, saying, this, I'm saying this guy's gonna wash the dishes at 12 30. No, what, <laughs> what are you, Mary Poppins or something? I, crazy no I didn't think it was that late. Well, where, where, where Rascalot is, he must be out in the uh, in the uh, the west coast, 9 35. Man, wow. it's uh, that's and, and 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 those cats in England, it's still in the morning over there, but anyway, they. They're, they're going to announce the fight here. We're going to see. We're going to see him officially get his hand raised, and I'm going to sign off. Hey, it's it's been a killer show, man. It's been it's yes. been a great time on here. I had a great yes. time. Thank you. I'm I'm glad I was came on, and I had me a, I had me a little bit of juice here to have me a little, <laughs> <laughs> you know. And um, we're just looking forward to the next one. Um, and I got to talk to you about tomorrow. Tomorrow I call you, or whatever, and we talk about. Um, there's other guys, so we can do little things, like little I, I things. Got, you definitely, I got, I got you on my speed answering, bro. So you call me up anytime, day or night. But yeah, okay. unanimous decision. Jared Anderson was a, I mean, the best, the best fight of the night was the Ajagba and Vanello. It was a, um, a, a split decision win for Ajagba. Okay. And uh, great, great boxing here, man. I'm gonna cut out Bruce Gas boxing jazz and more. Thank you all for joining great. me. Bruce, um, I just want to I'll just let you know that I want to get the guys together. Maybe we could do a short one either tomorrow or Monday, no later than Monday, and get all the Raiders of boxing so we could do a short one, okay? No no problem, champ. Okay. No problem. All right. All right. All right. All right. Thank you. I'll God bless you. Guys. All right. See you later, Bruce. Thank you. Peace out, everybody. Thanks, for, out. thanks for joining. Thanks for watching us tonight. I'm gone.